Hello. Welcome to the Fanfic Majesty. If you want more content you can follow me on Patreon. I will be uploading more content on there that will be exclusive. The link is in the description. Please support me. 1MDFI. Chapter 1 One Piece World. Summit War. Next chapter. Advertisement. Boom. Kill. The sound of guns and guns rumbled, and the sound of killing shook the sky. Yi Fei slowly opened his eyes. In the air, there is a pungent smell of gunpowder smoke everywhere. The loud noises around him made him dizzy. Who I am? Where am I? Where am I going? Beside, not far away, two groups of people fought together, and the sound of gunfire, artillery, swords, and screams could be heard endlessly. When in doubt, Yi Fei noticed the outfits of a group of people, marine uniform. Warships, forts, titans, pirate flag, and this abstract painting style. Pirate world. Crossed over. I was just at home, and I happened to be reviewing the summit war section. Unknowingly fell asleep. As a result, I didn't want to open my eyes and went directly to another world. Ahead, there is a huge building with the word, Marine, printed on it, which is particularly eye-catching. Yi Fei is very familiar. Now is the battlefield of the Summit War, Naval Headquarters Marineford. I was a little dizzy just now, but now I feel a little better. Calm down, consciousness also wakes up. Unexpectedly, I actually crossed over. Looking at the clothes on his body, it's from the side of the Whitebeard Pirates. Countless information flashed through his mind. Immediately afterwards, Yi Fei began to get acquainted with his identity in One Piece world. At the same time, the memory here is gradually recovering. The identity of Yi Fei, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, and Marco's subordinate. Advertisement. Now under Marco's command, attacking naval headquarters. He looked at his clothes and the weapon in his hand. Why am I such a bastard? The whole body, the most simple clothes, the most ordinary weapons. The standard configuration of miscellaneous fish. Nothing but good looks. Yi Fei couldn't accept this identity at all. You know, in the world of pirates, miscellaneous fish are just for the masters, and they have no tricks at all. However, this time through time, it went directly to the miscellaneous fish. And the name of this miscellaneous fish is also called Yi Fei. Yi Fei, don't dawdle, hurry up, we are going to rescue Ace together with Dad. Just as he was complaining about his identity, beside him, a miscellaneous fish named Jason was about to pull Yi Fei up from the ground. Yi Fei looked him up and down. A complete nonsense role, not only a nonsense, but also a special person. The kind that shows his face and gets killed. This kind of character, in the world of pirates, basically cannot survive five minutes. At this moment, Jason is holding a bazooka in his hand and firing it at the marine in front. Boom. The shells exploded ahead. Yi Fei, let's hurry up. A huge explosion, and the call of the companions beside him. Yi Fei came to his senses and immediately stood up from the ground. Holding an old mace in his head, he began to rush forward. That's right, the mission this time is, follow Papa Whitebeard, attack naval headquarters, and save Ace. For the outcome of this rescue. As a sea fan, Yi Fei knows it very well. In the original pirate book, Fire Fist Ace and Whitebeard died in Marineford. Every time Yi Fei sees this passage, Yi Fei feels very regretful. The ending of the two is indeed a bit tragic. Advertisement. Especially Whitebeard Edward Newgate. With Yi Fei's status in the Whitebeard Pirates, he should be called Daddy. Thinking that he was about to die in this war, but he was helpless. Yi Fei was full of emotion and helpless in his heart. Summit Wars Marineford is like a cloud of masters. As a little trash like myself, I could be instantly killed by my opponent. Not to mention saving people, it is a blessing to be able to save your own life. Thinking about Ace of the Fire Fist is simply a fantasy. Instinctively, Yi Fei's first reaction was to run away, the farther the better. But soon, he calmed down. Now, where can Marineford, which is on an isolated island, escape? Moreover, the Whitebeard Pirates are now almost surrounded by Marines, and there is not even a place to hide on the battlefield, let alone escape. After inner struggle, Yi Fei finally made up his mind. He's going to die anyway, and it's better to fight with honor than to run away. 
At least not so shameful. Besides, the crew of the Whitebeard Pirates are not cowards. Just when Yi Fei made up his mind and prepared to act. Ahead, a huge explosion sounded again. Raising his head, Yi Fei only saw the crew members in front falling down one by one. Intuition told him that there should be a big shot ahead. Sure enough, I only heard the panic and despair of the crew in front shouting. Heavenly Yaksha, Don Quixote da Flamingo, Seven Warlords of the Sea, Joker, everyone run, wow, run for your life, comma, immediately, those who shouted loudly fell to the ground row by row. What? Yi Fei broke out in a cold sweat. Advertisement. Da Flamingo, he is the current Seven Warlords of the Sea, the middleman of the Dark World. Although two years later, he was defeated by Luffy, removed from the world government, and imprisoned in Impel Down. But now his identity is still Shichibukai. This time, they were summoned by the world government to encircle and suppress the Whitebeard Pirate Group. Some at war, in order to deal with the attack of the Whitebeard Pirates. The world government not only allowed naval headquarters to gather 100,000 sailors, a dozen marine vice admirals, and the most powerful three admirals from all over the world. In addition, the seven warlords of the sea, with their catastrophic destructive powers, were forcibly summoned. The world government is very clear, this time Ace was caught and executed. Has thoroughly annoyed the overlord of the new world, the Whitebeard Pirates. You know, Whitebeard Edward Newgate, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, is one of the four sea emperors who aspire to the pirate world. Not only does it have the same combat power as the One Piece King Roger, but it is also the strongest among the four sea emperors. Naturally, the world government dare not underestimate it. This time almost gave Shichibukai a death order. No, no, no. The original Shichibukai member Hexia Jinbei was directly sent to the submarine prison Impel Down because he refused to be compelled to be summoned. This shows the determination of the world government this time, Shichibukai must participate in the war. In the original work of pirates, seven warlords of the sea, four emperors, and naval headquarters are called the three major powers of the Grand Line. In fact, except for a few Shichibukai, the gap between them and the four emperors is very large. Even most Shichibukai, even the four emperors' minions are no match for them. However, in front of this group of ordinary pirate crew members, seven warlords of the sea is already a godlike existence. It was only natural to see them run away. Foo 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 foo, a group of miscellaneous fish, go to hell. A man nearly three meters tall, wearing a pink feather cloak, sunglasses, and dark blonde hair let out a devilish laugh. Just by virtue of his funny walking posture, Yi Fei already knew that this was Da Flamingo. Immediately, Yi Fei felt that something was wrong. Could it be that I, Yi Fei, just came out and met such a character? About to be killed by Shichibukai. Before the soles of his feet were oiled, Da Flamingo had already appeared in front of him. At the same time, the gun in his hand was aimed at Yi Fei's head. Yi Fei broke out in a cold sweat and didn't have time to do anything. Da Flamingo has pulled the trigger. Advertisement. Chapter 2 God Level Selection System, Dragon Fruit. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Bump. Gunshots rang out. Yi Fei fell down at the sound. What's the situation? I just crossed over, and I was killed as a mere fish. This is impossible. I don't want to be a fish. I haven't fought yet, and I don't want to die yet. Never expected, never expected, he was killed as soon as he crossed over. Moreover, it was killed by him with a gun, and Da Flamingo's fruit ability was not seen. It's so sad. At the same time, Ding, Yi Fei, who was lying motionless on the ground, heard a mechanical voice in his mind. Open black lens bracket given that host was killed by Shichibukai close black lens bracket. The system will automatically bind the god level selection system for host. System binding. 0 0.1%. 0.10%. 0 0.50%. Open black lens bracket bind successfully close black lens bracket. Gift packs for beginners are being distributed. Open black lens bracket congratulations to host for gaining self healing ability close black lens bracket. Congratulations to host for obtaining armament hockey. Elementary, 
automatic fusion, fusion success. Congratulations to host for obtaining observation hockey. Primary, automatic fusion, fusion success. Congratulations to host for obtaining conquerors hockey. Elementary, automatic fusion, successful fusion. Open black lens bracket congratulations to host for getting a dragon fruit close black lens bracket. Comma. Yi Fei slowly opened his eyes. I am not dead. I'm really not dead. Also, the system is finally here. Advertisement. As he often reads novels, he naturally knows what's going on with the system. In this regard, Yi Fei does not want to give any explanation. However, this system will not appear until it is killed. Gone. God level selection system. After Yi Fei came to his senses, he murmured to himself. What kind of system is this? Open black lens bracket yes, host close black lens bracket. God level selection system, which can help the host gain powerful abilities. The system mechanically responded to Yi Fei. Oh. Yi Fei responded. Recall the rewards of the system in my mind. Self-healing ability. Yi Fei touched his forehead. It was obvious that he was shot just now. He didn't die, it was just a little pain where he was shot. He touched the bullet wound on his forehead. A bullet was slowly squeezed out, and fell to the ground with a jingle. Picking it up in his hand, Yi Fei looked at it carefully for a while. This is just an ordinary iron bullet, not made by sea stone. Then threw it aside. After being shot, nothing happened. This self-healing ability is not so strong. This time, the novice gift pack actually got three kinds of hockey. Especially conqueror's hockey. In the original book, only one in a million people will use it. Some ordinary people can't get conquerors even if they practice for a lifetime. You know, in the world of pirates, only those who have the appearance of a king will use conquerors, even if ordinary people cultivate to ultimate, there is no way to get it. However, Yi Fei did not expect that this time the system would treat it as a gift package for newbies and issue it directly, and it would be automatically integrated without even learning. Although it is only at the beginning, Yi Fei believes that there is definitely a lot of room for improvement. Advertisement. Dragon Fruit. Yi Fei looked at the golden fruit in his hand. This, is Devil Fruit. Shenlong. Zone. Phantom Beast Species. Yi Fei saw it with his own eyes for the first time. This fruit looks similar to Kaido's Yuyu fruit in shape. But the color is different. Yuyu fruit is dark green. On the contrary, the fruit in Yi Fei's hand was golden yellow. It is rumored that the fruit is worth billions of baileys, but I don't know if it is true. And there is only one fruit, even if you have money, you may not be able to buy it. Kaido of the Beasts, one of the four emperors, seems to be the one with the ability of this fruit. And it's a phantom beast, in the form of a green dragon. I don't know, is the dragon fruit in my hand the same series as Kaido of the Beasts? Could it be that there are two kinds of the same fruit in this world? If you eat it, you will turn into a dragon and fly into the sky. On the battlefield, Yi Fei didn't have time to think about it, so he just picked it up and bit it. According to rumors, devil fruit is very difficult to obtain, especially such a high level fruit. What is free, naturally cannot be wasted. However, it is said that devil fruit is very difficult to eat. Yi Fei really wanted to try it. Damn it, it's really unpalatable. Just after taking a bite, Yi Fei looked disgusted. The rumors are true, devil fruit is not unpalatable, and the original book is not deceiving. However, no matter how unpalatable it was, Yi Fei swallowed it desperately. Immediately, the remaining half was thrown aside. In the world of pirates, regarding the setting of devil fruit, just take a bite, and eat the whole, the effect is the same. Sure enough, the fruit that was thrown to the ground was like an eggplant beaten by frost. Immediately afterwards, the fruit decayed rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye. In the stomach, the fruit Yi Fei ate was quickly dissolved. Advertisement. Open black lens bracket congratulations to host for obtaining the dragon fruit ability close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket host can change its own shape at will close black lens bracket. With a sound from the system. Yi Fei felt a huge change in his body. Originally less than 1.7 meters tall. Directly skyrocketed by 40 centimeters. 
This shocked Yi Fei very much. The shape of the dragon fruit can change the height. Not only have I grown taller, but my whole person feels quite different from before. Could it be that I can still become a dragon? Yi Fei murmured to himself. What the system says is to change form at will, isn't it that you can become a dragon? How handsome is this? Looking at his arms, Yi Fei could feel the tight muscles. Most importantly, Yi Fei looks more handsome than before. Originally, although Yi Fei from One Piece world is handsome, the problem is that he is not tall. In the world of pirates, where 1.8 meters is considered a half degree disability, Yi Fei's original height is a bit overwhelming. Unexpectedly, after eating the dragon fruit, he grew so much taller. Although the height of 2.1 meters is not considered tall in the world of pirates, Yi Fei is very satisfied. Looking in the mirror, at this moment he has completely left the ranks of miscellaneous fish. At the same time, Yi Fei, who has the ability of the dragon fruit, has a surge of prehistoric power in his body, ready to come out. Yi Fei had never experienced this feeling, like being injected with stimulants. In the body, there is a force that is about to move, and there is an urge to immediately go into battle. He clenched his fist and tried it, and the whole arm was surrounded by black air, like steel. Seeing the shiny black form, Yi Fei knew that this was the armament hockey form of One Piece World. Directly rewarded by the system. However, Yi Fei did not expect that his hockey also has surround effects, similar to the emission used by Luffy in Wano Kuni later, but the color is black. Only advanced hockey can have this form. Unexpectedly, Yi Fei, who just got the primary hockey, has it. This novice spree, rich. Advertisement. Chapter 3 singled out Da Flamingo, asking for trouble. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Brother Ming, come out to Laozi quickly. Just shot Laozi. Laozi will fight you. Yi Fei got up from the ground picked up the mace beside him, and shouted excitedly towards the crowd. Just got shot by Doflamingo, Yi Fei has no reason not to take revenge. At this moment, his self-confidence is bursting, and he plans to have a head-to-head -head confrontation with seven warlords of the sea. With the addition of the recovery ability after eating the dragon fruit just now. Plus three kinds of hockey, against Marine Vice Admiral, Yi Fei estimates, there should be no problem. Against Marine Admiral, there is basically no guarantee of winning. As for Shichibukai, Yi Fei is very interested in trying it. At this moment, Yi Fei wanted to defeat Doflamingo. Yi Fei, who has read the original book, is quite clear about string string fruit. In addition to possessing extremely strong attack power and flying in the sky, it can also control other people's actions. Two years later in De Reese Rosa, Doflamingo awakened to fruit power. But in Summit War, Yi Fei really doesn't know, because there is no explanation in the original book. But according to Yi Fei's guess, he should have awakened his ability at this time. After all, Da Flamingo's age is there, and, in the original book, only two years had passed since the De Reese Rosa incident. In any case, Yi Fei still wants to challenge him, after all, the self-healing ability rewarded by the system just now. The bullets are all immune to death, so what are you afraid of? Only, Da Flamingo, is not here at all. He just finished solving this side and left. Around, many Whitebeard crew members saw Yi Fei calling Da Flamingo non-stop. Confused. Who is this person? Look at the clothes, they should be from our side, but why have I never seen them before? Hee <laughs> hee, Da Flamingo, you want to fight Shichibukai one on one, are you courting death? One finger can pinch you to death. Hey, which man, our opponents are just ordinary sailors, and the rest are left to the captains to deal with. Advertisement. Have you been beaten insane? Want to single out seven warlords of the sea? Overwhelmed. People must be self-aware. Young people, rat tail juice, reflect on it. Comma. Everyone talked a lot, thinking that Yi Fei was overreaching. However, in the Whitebeard Pirates, Marco's subordinates quickly recognized Yi Fei. Yi Fei. God, how did you grow taller? Am I not mistaken? F asterisk K, this is really Yi Fei. Why didn't I recognize it just now? I just saw you got shot by Da Flamingo. Why didn't you die? Yi Fei, hey, why is he even more handsome? Damn, 
he's not as handsome as usual. Comma. To this, Yi Fei smiled lightly. In the world of Earth, I am very handsome. Coming here, naturally it can't be too bad. However, even Yi Fei himself did not expect this height. The dragon fruit actually has the effect of increasing height. Ahead, a large number of marines surged up again. This time, Yi Fei didn't care about communicating with his companions, this is the battlefield. At this moment, he didn't intend to run at all, but instead bore the brunt and rushed up first. Armament hockey wide open. Ordinary sailors are not worth mentioning in front of him. Those flying shells, bullets, and swords approached Yi Fei slowly like ants crawling. Yi Fei dodged it easily. This is the predictive ability of observation hockey, which can sense its own threat and avoid it in advance. What he didn't expect was that the elementary observation hockey would have this effect. Not your average cow. At the same time, Yi Fei's reaction became extremely fast, which he never experienced in the original world. Advertisement. The body is as light as a swallow, and it can jump tens of meters high with just a simple jump. It is completely comparable to Moonwalk in Marine 6 styles, and even surpasses Moonwalk a lot. This may have something to do with the ability to eat the fruit. You must know that Kaido in the dragon form can fly. Ha ha. Yi Fei smiled slightly. This is the ability of the dragon fruit. It's really unusual. No time to think about it. Jump into the marine again. Let's go on a killing spree. The mace in his hand is waving, pointing east to west, and the guide to north. Wherever they went, the screams of the sea soldiers continued in an endless stream. Just as Yi Fei knocked down the sea soldiers. In his mind, the system's notification tone kept ringing. Host knocks down an ordinary sailor. Experience plus one. Host knocks down an ordinary sailor. Experience plus one. Host. Chapter 16 Yi Fei wants to kill Papa Whitebeard. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. In the original work of pirates, Whitebeard is different from other pirates. He doesn't like to kill innocent people indiscriminately, and he has always lived in peace on the island he protects. The thing about the Fishmen Island can illustrate. Before this, before Whitebeard, the Fishmen Island had been very chaotic. Since Whitebeard took over, it has been considered a peaceful place, and no pirates dare to attack them. From this point of view, compared with other pirates, Whitebeard and his pirate group can be called a model in the pirate world. Also, Whitebeard's main reason for being a pirate is simply to be with his family, which shows that he is a very temperamental person. On this point, Yi Fei still admires it. He didn't want to see Whitebeard killed on the battlefield at all. Therefore, it is absolutely impossible to let squad sneak attack succeed. Additionally, Luffy now appears on the battlefield. In the original book, Luffy rescued Ace first. Because of the relationship with the protagonist in the original book, the entire battlefield is focused on him, Ace is fine right now. Yi Fei is not worried. So, he stopped walking. Turn to look back at Whitebeard at the bow. Start watching Whitebeard's every move. I saw Whitebeard's tall body standing still at the bow of the ship, looking directly at Marine and Ace, and observing the situation in every corner of the battlefield at the same time. At this moment, he didn't look at Yi Fei. He didn't pay attention to the impending danger behind him. Not far behind Whitebeard, an ugly man about two meters tall, carrying a long knife longer than him, was slowly walking up the steps. Schoolyard, approaching the bow step by step, Whitebeard is facing the marine. In the original book, at this moment, Schoolyard has already started to attack Whitebeard. And Whitebeard knew nothing about it. Before Schoolyard made a sneak attack, the two had a short conversation. Advertisement. Unbeknownst to Whitebeard, Marine had already begun a tactic. In the distance, on the observation platform, a kainu, who was sitting firmly on the admiral chair, suddenly showed a smug smile on his face. He has also left the stage, paying attention to Skuyad's every move from a distance. The moment he was seen approaching Whitebeard, a kainu already knew that Skuyad had been successfully brainwashed by him. Next, it's time to wait for Skuyad to attack Whitebeard. As long as Whitebeard is injured, his combat effectiveness will be greatly weakened. Only Whitebeard's combat effectiveness is weakened. In this way, the Whitebeard pirates are easy to deal with. In Akainu's view, 
Among the Whitebeard pirates, only Whitebeard has real strength. As for the others, there is nothing to worry about. By taking Whitebeard, you basically take the entire battlefield, thereby controlling the entire battlefield situation. However, Akainu did not expect that Yifei, who is familiar with the plot of the original work, would know all of this clearly. Immediately, Yifei smiled crookedly. Now that you have traveled to the world of pirates, of course you can't let Akainu and Marine succeed. Thinking of this, Yifei lifted the mace. Looking to the bow, Skuyard was already standing behind Papa Whitebeard. Regardless of the situation on the battlefield, Yifei ran directly to the Moby Dick. He wasn't heading in Marine's direction, instead, he seemed to be heading in Whitebeard's direction. This strange move of Yifei. It surprised many people. What is Yifei doing? Why don't you run to the Marine's side, instead run back? Oh my god, Yifei must have been frightened. Is it because I saw the Vice Admiral in front of me, so I ran away? Damn, I thought he was very brave when I saw his actions just now, but he was just a coward. Yifei, we can't be cowards, come back to me, we have to rescue Ace, we are Whitebeard's crew, we have to go back to New World. Advertisement. We trust you so much, you actually want to run away. Comma. Many members of the Whitebeard pirates talked about it. Some people even shouted at Yifei in disappointment. They thought that Yifei ran away, and that would be an extremely shameful thing for the entire Whitebeard pirates. Dad's order is to attack, and it's not long since it started, and someone wants to escape. The Whitebeard pirates, but no one has ever escaped. However, they don't know that Yifei's next move will shock everyone even more. Being talked about behind, Yifei didn't pay attention. It's too late to explain to them. Now, it's important to save Papa Whitebeard. At this moment, there was no one to protect Father Whitebeard. Once the Skuyad sneak attack, it will succeed. Failure, the entire Whitebeard pirates will be at a disadvantage. Besides, the captain of the first team, Marco, and the other captains are dealing with Marine in front. There was no way Whitebeard could be considered. It was precisely this opportunity that Skuyard sneaked close to Whitebeard. Soon, the running Yifei began to get close to the bottom of the boat. Seeing this, many crew members already understood that Yifei was heading for Papa Whitebeard. He's going on board. Yifei, what is he going to do? He didn't listen to me, but suddenly wanted to go to the boat. He didn't want to sneak up on dad, did he? Comma. The members of the Whitebeard pirates looked confused. Can't figure out what's going on at all. Hearing someone yelling from behind, Marco, who was in the battle, also turned around quickly. Advertisement. He also felt very strange about Yifei's behavior. Of course, he wasn't the only one who was weird. Whitebeard hadn't thought of that either. Just as he was wondering, Yifei flew up to the bow of the ship with a mace in hand. Stand in front of him. Next, Yifei made an unexpected move. He drew the mace out of his hand and charged directly at Whitebeard. At that moment, everyone was completely dumbfounded. What's going on? Yifei wants to kill Dad. Almost everyone has such an idea. Otherwise, what was he doing? Of course, Whitebeard was shocked too. He didn't expect this. Son to come and kill him. I was planning to make him the captain just now, but unexpectedly. Whitebeard hadn't reacted yet. Dang. Sound. There was a loud noise as the weapons collided. The mace in Yifei's hand directly blocked Skuyad's long knife. Everyone is dumbfounded. Only after everyone saw it clearly did they understand. It turned out that Yifei didn't want to kill Whitebeard. Instead, it stopped Skuyad. What happened? Why did Skuyard stand behind Dad, shouldn't he deal with Marine on the battlefield below? That's right, that guy is in charge of the Bay Head, who told him to go to the boat. Some crew members looked dazed. Chapter 17 Blocking Skuyad and Successfully Intercepting Who? Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Soon, some of the quick response crew members reacted immediately. Have you noticed? Yi Fei's weapon is to block Skuyad's attack. He didn't intend to kill Papa. Instead, he prevented Captain Skuyad from attacking Papa. That's right, Yifei protected Dad with a weapon. He's protecting Papa. Why did Skuyard sneak up on Dad? Skuyard, what are you doing? 
Why is Schoolyard standing behind Dad? Bastard. Shouldn't you be at bay head? Comma. Said so by those crew members who understand the situation. Soon, everyone understood. Meanwhile, Whitebeard looked shocked. Originally, he thought Yi Fei was here to assassinate. Unexpectedly, Yi Fei made a special trip this time to run over from the battlefield to protect himself. What shocked him even more was that the person who wanted to kill him turned out to be his son, Skuyad. One of his most valued captains. Squad. Whitebeard dragged his thick and stern voice, and called Squad's name. He absolutely could not accept that his son wanted to kill him. Skuyard had also challenged him before boarding the ship, but was defeated by him. I thought he would be convinced, but is he still unwilling? Whitebeard didn't understand, and asked again, what are you doing? Whitebeard was furious at being betrayed by his son. It's okay to change it normally, but at the critical moment when you are facing the enemy, you actually want to do such a rebellious thing. Shooting against one's own people, is this what people do? Whitebeard has always regarded all the crew members as his sons. Now, what does it feel like to be assassinated by your son? I'm afraid only Whitebeard himself knows. Quote dot 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 quote. Skiyard didn't react at all. Advertisement. Originally, he sneaked over while Marco was on the battlefield, wanting to carry out a sneak attack. He had everything figured out and approached Whitebeard when no one was around. Unexpectedly, someone has already seen through his plan. Moreover, it blocked him. He was just about to attack, all his attention was on Whitebeard, and he didn't notice someone flying over. At the same time, he was also very surprised. Why is this person Yi Fei? Yi Fei will suddenly appear in front of him. Also, why is Yi Fei so powerful? The Yi Fei he knew before, in his eyes, is just a little fish. At the same time, in his impression, Yi Fei didn't have much strength at all. He is not qualified to compete with him at all. But this time, he was able to easily receive his attack. A series of questions arose in Skuyad's mind. Squad. Whitebeard growled sternly. The voice was extremely angry. Father, he is here to attack you. Yi Fei looked at Skuyard coldly, but did not look at Whitebeard. At this moment, the weapon in his hand was blocking Skuyard's long knife. He didn't want to be distracted lest Skuyard sneak up again. He was well aware that Whitebeard was mentally overwhelmed by his sneak attack. Once a person cannot accept unexpected events, his defensiveness will be greatly weakened. Yi Fei didn't want this opportunity to be found by Skuyad. Squad, is it true? Confronted by Whitebeard. Facing Yi Fei's answer and Whitebeard's questioning, Skuyard knew he couldn't hide it anymore, and finally admitted, That's right, Dad, I'm here to kill you. Whitebeard was stunned, his eyes showed infinite disappointment, loss, frustration. After a long time, Whitebeard was relieved. Skuyard, why did you do this? Whitebeard had just finished asking. Advertisement. Skiyard suddenly looked up to the sky and laughed. Why? The deal you made with Sengoku, don't think I don't know. After speaking, the hatred in Skuyad's chest struck again. He clenched the giant knife even harder with both hands, trying to push Yi Fei away. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't push Yi Fei who was standing in front of Whitebeard. In front of him, Yi Fei was like a gigantic boulder, motionless. Suddenly, I was shocked. Yi Fei's strength is not ordinary. He couldn't move or fly at all. Squad. Captain. I advise you to give up. There was no expression on Yi Fei's face, and there was a hint of contempt in his words. For this idiot, Yi Fei was completely speechless. A few words from others can easily change one's will. This kind of person is really unreliable. However, Yi Fei is not worried. After eating the dragon fruit, I am stronger than Skuyad. With him around, he wouldn't be able to successfully sneak attack. If it wasn't for Whitebeard figuring out what's going on. Yi Fei has already laid a heavy hand on Skuyad. But he doesn't want to break the iron law of killing family members just yet. Everything waits for the father to speak. As long as he speaks, then he can kill him directly. However, Yi Fei understood Whitebeard's mind very well, and it was absolutely impossible for him to issue such an order. Therefore, Yi Fei didn't do anything. Yi Fei, sensible, hurry up and get out, 
Don't delay Laozi's big event, or I will kill you together. Skuyid looked at Yi Fei angrily. Judging from the situation of this fight, he should not be Yi Fei's opponent. But in order to get Yi Fei to leave, Skuyid had to play tough. Advertisement. He tried to scare Yi Fei away, but Yi Fei still refused to let go. Squad. What are you talking about? Whitebeard snapped. He didn't know what his stupid son meant. The sudden accusation left him speechless. He he, stop pretending. You brought us here, didn't you just want us to die? Skiyad sneered, and continued desperately trying to push Yi Fei away. But Yi Fei's resistance couldn't make him move forward half a step. The plan failed, and Skuyard seemed particularly agitated. Dad, Skuyad was bewitched by Marine Admiral Akainu. Akainu fooled him. You made a deal with Marine Marshal Sengoku. Exchange the life of Ace with the life of the pirates of the entire pirate group. As a result, he believed it. Yi Fei replied. At the same time, he looked at Skuyad with contempt. Of course, this plot has been clearly explained in the original work of pirates. Marine Marshal, Sengoku of the Buddha, employs a ruse here. The purpose is to deal with Whitebeard Edward Newgate. At this moment, Whitebeard understood why Skuyard attacked him. It turned out that Skuyard thought that Whitebeard exchanged the price of the entire pirate group for Ace, because Ace is the son of Roger, the pirate king, and is more important than ordinary pirates. Squad, is that so? Asked Whitebeard Edward Newgate sharply. Hum. Skuyard responded coldly. My stupid son. Whitebeard sighed. All the depression in his chest was expressed with a long sigh. Chapter 18 Roger's Son, Framed Whitebeard. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. He didn't know that his love for Ace was the same as that of everyone else. When treating every crew member, Whitebeard treats them equally and regards them as his, sons. HMPH, stop pretending here. I thought you were a great hero in the sea, and I followed you because I admired your wisdom. But I found out that I finally saw the wrong person and now you are disregarding our lives and betraying us. Ace is Roger's son, so you let him be the captain of the second team. Besides, you plan to make him the pirate king. Right. Skuyad's tone was extremely indifferent. At this moment, he didn't believe Whitebeard's words at all. Besides, for Roger, Skuyard has an extreme hatred in his heart. Before joining the Whitebeard pirates, Squad once had his own pirate group. However, this pirate group was destroyed by Roger's group. All the partners were wiped out by Roger, only him remained. As a result, Skuyard hated Roger very much. Tired of houses and crows. Now knowing that Ace is Roger's son, Skuyard naturally hates Ace. There was a lot of resistance in my heart. This time, in Marineford, he accidentally learned from Akainu that Whitebeard was willing to sacrifice their 43 pirates in order to save Whitebeard and his members, and he was even more angry. Anger at Roger, and Whitebeard's unfair treatment of his family, led him to Akainu's way. What? My silly son. Whitebeard looked disappointed, but he didn't expect that this son would see him that way. Advertisement. Just because of a few words from the other party, you have to draw your sword against yourself. At this moment, Marco, who had resolved the battle over there, flew back to the bow again. Pointing at Skiyard with a look of anger. Squad, what the hell are you doing? Don't you put down the knife quickly. He just saw Skuyard shoot Whitebeard. Stopped by Yi Fei. This made him feel very strange. As soon as he came up, he immediately asked Skuyard to put down the weapon in his hand. Skuyard said in a deep voice. Marco. Papa betrayed us. Ace is Roger's son. He made a deal with Sengoku to give Ace back with our lives. That's why Dad brought us to this hellish Marineford. After Skuyad finished speaking, he looked back at the battlefield. At this moment, the Marine Fort at Wantu has already aimed at their 43 pirate regiments. The Whitebeard headquarters pirate group was not under any attack. This situation made Skuyad hysterical. At this moment, he believed Akainu's words even more, it was right. At the same time, many members of the surrounding Whitebeard pirates also heard it. Immediately, the entire Whitebeard pirate group was completely infected by Skuyard. What? Did I hear you right? Father, is this true? Father, 
Are our lives so worthless? Advertisement. That's right. These marines are really only targeting us. Their cannons are not aimed at dad's boat. Obviously, dad made a deal with marine. Dad, do you really only care about ace? Comma. Those pirates who were attacked were completely disappointed. You know, right now, they've taken all the hits, and Whitebeard's Moby Dick is safe and sound. Obviously, Whitebeard most likely reached a deal with Marine Marshal Sengoku. However, what they didn't expect was that all of this was really Marine Marshal Sengoku's tactics. Ace is Roger's son, how is this possible? Roger was executed 22 years ago, but Ace was only 20 years old and was born two years ago. 20 months pregnant, how is it possible? Rumors, absolute rumors, I don't believe it. Skiyad, where did you hear these rumors? Are you going to take action against dad? Comma, some unidentified pirate members are absolutely unwilling to believe this fact. The summit war has just started, and Whitebeard has not yet reached Marineford. Marshal Sengoku has already announced it in front of the whole world. But the Whitebeard pirates, with many members, are only just getting to know them. Whitebeard had always treated them like family. But this time, Whitebeard actually brought them to this hellish Marineford for Ace. Of course they can't accept it. Some crew members, at this time, have collapsed and burst into tears. Marineford, for ordinary pirates, this place is simply a nightmare within a nightmare. You know, this is naval headquarters, where Marine's strongest combat power is here, as well as seven warlords of the sea, and pacifists. However, some crew members expressed doubts. Ace's age and Roger's death couldn't be matched at all. Ace is Roger's son. Advertisement. His mother, in order to avoid Marine surveillance, gave birth to him almost a year late on purpose. You've all seen, Marine only attack us, Whitebeard's ship, nothing at all. Schoolyard argued loudly. At first, he was unwilling to believe it. But that's what it is. Irrefutable fact. As soon as this remark came out, the entire Whitebeard pirates were completely shocked. Also, there is such a thing. Ace is Roger's son. Father, is this true? Comma. The members of the Whitebeard pirates immediately became agitated. They began to question Whitebeard as the captain. Yes. Ace is Roger's son. Whitebeard finally confirmed. Originally, he didn't want everyone to know about it. But now that it has been made public, he naturally has nothing to do. At this moment, he didn't want to hide it from everyone. With those words, the Whitebeard pirates immediately exploded. So, Dad, Schoolyard is right, isn't he? Dad, why are you doing this to me? Let's come here from New World to die. Woo. It turns out that we are just a bargaining chip. Wow. Comma. Chapter 19 Yi Fei tells the truth. Whitebeard's response. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. At this point, most of the crew members have already begun to collapse. You know, this is naval headquarters, where all the elite forces gather. Coming here, risking their lives, they all know very well in their hearts. This time I came with Whitebeard to save lives. But it was traded like a bargaining chip. The feeling of being cheated can be imagined. These crew members were extremely disappointed. Immediately, the fighting consciousness was greatly reduced, and some people even put down their weapons and prepared to surrender. And all of this, Marco sees it all. Ace was Whitebeard's son's business, and Whitebeard had spoken to him privately. I also hope that he can keep it secret. The purpose is just to hope that Ace will not be specifically targeted by Marine. But how did Schoolyard know about this? Marco was very curious. Could it be that there are traitors in the pirate ship? However, at this moment, the most important thing is to stabilize the morale of the army. Marco didn't have time to think about it. Squad, Daddy won't betray us. He has always treated us like his sons. We have been with Dad for so many years, do we still have to doubt this? Marco shouted down the boat. He didn't want to see his crew just let it go. Marco's words naturally carry a lot of weight. After all, he and all the crew members went through life and death, and he was always at the forefront every time. Soon, some crew members who lost their weapons picked up their weapons again. Skiyad, hurry up and put down your weapon, kneel down and apologize to daddy. 
Marco looked at Skuyad coldly and reprimanded him severely. Pointing a knife at family members has already committed the biggest taboo on board. Advertisement. Moreover, he still pointed the knife at Dad. You know, Dad is the backbone of the Whitebeard Pirates. Squad is really a heinous person. Even so, Skuyad still did not stop. Let me go, it's impossible. Marco, you should know about this in advance. Skuyard was very emotional. For a while, he couldn't accept this fact. At the same time, with the knife in his hand, he desperately wanted to push Yi Fei away. But no matter how hard he tried, Yi Fei still stood motionless in front of him. Who did you hear that from? Marco asked angrily. Marine Admiral, Akainu. In desperation, Yi Fei blurted out. Squad fell silent. Faced with what Yi Fei said, he seemed quite puzzled. I also wondered in my heart. Does this kid know too much? Is not it? Marco asked angrily. Seeing this, Skuyad could only silently nod his head. However, he was still a little curious that Yi Fei knew about it. How did he know? When Akainu talked to him, there was no one around. Where did this kid get the news from? Moreover, he blocked his long knife so accurately. Skuyad, can you believe Akainu's words? His purpose, obviously, is to make you attack Dad. Daddy is the strongest fighter on our ship. Advertisement. He's injured, Marine will beat us straight away. This must be Marine's tactic, don't you even think of this question. Although he despised Skuyad very much, Marco patiently explained to him. You know, Whitebeard is known as the strongest man in the world. The 100,000 Marine soldiers here couldn't withstand a few waves of his attacks. Once he is injured or dies, then the opponent's chances of winning become great. This is exactly what Sengoku and Akainu are for. Using tactics, attack the 43 pirate groups under the Whitebeard pirate group instead of attacking his own ship, and then let Akainu use Skiyad to carry out a sneak attack. In this way, the illusion is created that there seems to be some kind of agreement between Whitebeard and Marine. At all costs to engage in conspiracy, the purpose is to deal with the strongest combat power. Obviously, this is most likely the idea of Marshal Sengoku. You know, he is in the Marine, but he has the title of, the Resourceful General. Such a simple truth, Skuya did not think of it. Marco was already scolding him in his heart. This kind of person is not worthy of being a captain. After being told by Marco, Skuyad finally used his brain. However, he was still a little angry. Ace is Roger's son thing, it's never going to change. Also, they only attack our ships. Skuyard argued. After a moment of silence, Whitebeard walked towards Skuyard. Suddenly stretched out that huge arm, and hugged Skuyard straight. At the same time, Yi Fei also put down the mace in his hand. My son, I have lied to you for a long time. That's why I didn't tell you. But the mistakes made by the father, do you need the son to bear it? Roger is sorry for you, but Ace is not wrong. You forget fighting alongside Ace, defeating your opponent by sword and gunfire, and when you all sipped wine together. At that time, you were like family. Advertisement. All I can tell you is that I feel the same about Ace as you do. All my sons. I will not abandon any of my family. I haven't made any deals with anyone. This is the first time in his life that he explained something to others. For a long time, the purpose of his going to sea is to hope to be with his family. Roger's goal is to be the one piece. The purpose of Whitebeard going to sea is simply to be with his family. When Whitebeard was young, whenever he was asked about his dreams, he simply said that he wanted a family. This kind of extremely simple dream will always make everyone laugh. Therefore, he broke away from the original pirate group and took in those teenagers to form the pirate group. He hated Blackbeard for betraying the owner. Therefore, when Ace was the first to go out to seek revenge on Blackbeard, Whitebeard was very moved. How is it possible that he betrayed the entire pirate group? Ace was about Roger's son, and Whitebeard wasn't going to tell Skiyard about it. Because he knew Skuyard hated Roger. Worried that he would suspect Ace because of this, he didn't say anything. But now that the matter is out of the way, Whitebeard feels relieved and doesn't have to worry about everything. At this moment, several Whitebeard pirate team leaders who were fighting below also returned to the bow. They who learned what happened. 
They began to accuse Skuyad one after another. Damn Marine for using such dirty tricks. Such a low-level trick can fool you. Stupid. We don't believe that dad will betray us. If he really betrayed us, Akainu should only deal with us, but now, his purpose is obviously to deal with dad, which shows that dad didn't betray us at all. Otherwise Akainu would not treat him like this. He just wanted you to sneak up on dad, so he told you this on purpose. Squad, you are so stupid. Fool, hurry up and give up your weapon, kneel down and apologize to dad. Comma. Chapter 20 The Truth Comes Out, Whitebeard Safety. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Facing the accusations of the captains. Skiyard suddenly realized that he had made a serious mistake. At the same time, he slowly recalled his various experiences with Ace. At that moment, he gradually remembered. Ace has always treated him like a family member, never had any ill intentions towards him, and regarded him as his best friend. And Whitebeard is that parent. Thinking of this, Skuyad gradually put down the long knife in his hand. Skuyard finally remembered. Ding ding. The long knife in his hand fell, and Skuyad immediately fell to his knees. Immediately afterwards, he began to cry bitterly. Dad, I was wrong. I actually believed the enemy's words and almost killed you. I have committed a serious crime. Skuyad is willing to punish. Father, you kill me. At this moment, Skuyard knew that his father was almost injured because of his impulsiveness. While regretting, he finally remembered Yi Fei in front of him. Skuyard looked at Yi Fei gratefully at the same time. If it wasn't for Yi Fei's actions, then he has made a big mistake. Whitebeard looked down at Skuyard. Then, he said slowly. My silly son, even so, I still love you. In the words, the meaning is profound. At that moment, Skuyard was stunned. This is dad, Whitebeard Edward Newgate. It never occurred to Skuyard that his father didn't blame him at all. Moreover, they still regard him as family. Advertisement. Immediately, the nose was sour, and then, wept loudly. This is the famous man. Daddy. Me. At that moment, Skuyard understood. The strongest man in the world has such an open mind. Such a person would betray his family. Skuyard. Now you know. Marco looked at Skuyad with a look of disdain. Skuyard nodded, wiping away tears. Marco sighed. I also feel a little helpless for Skuyad's stupidity. Sixteen captains, and so many captains of the pirate group, Akainu chose him as the brainwashing target. It can be seen that this person's IQ is really worrying. Skuyard, do you know what we should do now? Marco looked at him calmly. Fortunately, things didn't turn out to be the worst. Otherwise, there is really no way to end it. Only killing the enemy can relieve the hatred in my heart. Skuyard burst into tears. If you just succeeded, wouldn't you have to blame yourself for the rest of your life? Akainu of Dog Day. Skuyad stared angrily at Akainu who was far away on the stage. Immediately, holding the long knife in his hand, he jumped into the battlefield. At the same time, on the execution platform, Akainu noticed this side. When he saw someone crotch Skuyard, he already knew that the plan to attack Whitebeard had failed. Idiot. Akainu cursed secretly, he was so angry that he failed to achieve his goal. Almost got it, just a little bit. Advertisement. Why at this time? If it hadn't been stopped by that person, the plan would have succeeded. By the way, who is that young man? While Akainu was angry, he also had some doubts in his heart. He had never seen this young man before. This kid is quite capable of resisting Skuyad's attack. Also, why did he suddenly appear? Moby Dick, Bo. The rest of the crew had jumped off the ice and into battle. Only Whitebeard, Yi Fei, Marco and others are left at the bow. Yi Fei, thank you, just saved dad. If it wasn't for you, maybe Skuyad would have succeeded just now. Marco patted Yi Fei on the shoulder. Just now. He suspected that Yi Fei was going to sneak up on dad, but he didn't expect that it was protected by the past. He was very satisfied with Yi Fei's performance. Then look him up and down. In his memory, Yi Fei is not that tall. Before, Yi Fei was much shorter than him, but now, he was almost on the same level as him. Why did he grow so much taller and more handsome all of a sudden? 
Marco was full of questions. Captain, this is what I should do. Yi Fei smiled lightly. Then, he stared at Marco. Both familiar and strange. Familiar, because I have seen him many times, whether it is the original work or his identity in this world. Strange, it is the first time standing by my side. Also, Marco's face is indeed enough for passers-by. Advertisement. At the same time, he could tell from Marco's face that he was very surprised. By the way, Yi Fei, how did you know that Skuyad would sneak up on Dad? Marco asked. He didn't even know about this news. And Yi Fei, where did he get this news? As soon as Marco asked, Whitebeard Edward Newgate also looked at Yi Fei suspiciously. He wanted to ask just now, but because of the presence of other people, he didn't ask. Captain, when I was fighting below, I saw a Kainu sneaking to Wantu. I was curious, so I followed. See him beat Captain Skuyard, but not kill him. It was very strange, so I stopped there to hear what they had to say. Overheard a conversation between Akainu and Captain Squad. Akainu wants to use him to sneak up on Papa. Yi Fei replied unhurriedly. Of course, Yi Fei couldn't tell him directly that he had read the original book. You can only find a suitable reason, as long as it makes sense. Anyway, no one would pay attention to where he was at the beginning. Yi Fei's reason for this. Whitebeard and Marco are convinced of this. If not, then how does Yi Fei know? It must be so. Cool la 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 la. It seems that he is really anxious and wants to take my head. Cool la 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 la. Sengoku, your tactics are good, you know how to use Skyad's weakness against me, but, I have a good son. Whitebeard suddenly let out a hearty laugh. Looking at Yi Fei, he was very relieved. A reckless man like Akainu would never have thought of such a tactic, only Sengoku known as, the resourceful general, could. Then he looked at Yi Fei, if it wasn't for Yi Fei, then Skuyad would definitely succeed in sneak attack. Whitebeard has always believed in his family and will never be defensive about Skuyard. Chapter 21 From now on, take Saki's place. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Yi Fei looked bewildered. This old man is quite interesting. When others want to kill him, he still laughs so happily. Probably because of my own reasons. Yi Fei, you are doing well. How old are you? Whitebeard looked at Yi Fei with affection. Judging by his age, he looks about 20 years old. For a long time, he did not pay much attention to the previous Yi Fei. After all, there are more than a thousand crew members in this department. It is impossible for him to know everything about everyone. 20. Yi Fei replied. Carefully recall the memories here. He was from the town of East Blue Rog, and two years ago, at the age of 18, he desperately demanded that Marco let him come aboard. Same age as Ace. This age is the beginning of the best time in life. Whitebeard's eyes lit up. I can't help sighing, recalling the time when I was young and frivolous, those people I met. So far away, yet so close. Then, he raised his head and looked not far away at Fire Fist Ace kneeling on the execution platform. Roger's son, I must stay. On the side, Marco suddenly stretched out his hand and put it on Yi Fei's shoulder. Put your face in front of Yi Fei. Picking out those dead fish eyes, he looked at Yi Fei strangely. Lowering his voice, he asked Yi Fei in a low voice. Yi Fei, you have to tell me something. Facing the intrusion, Yi Fei became a little nervous, worried that his secret would be found out. Captain, what do you want to ask? Advertisement. Yi Fei was full of embarrassment. Tell me, why did you suddenly grow so much taller? Also, isn't your strength hidden a lot? Marco asked strangely. What happened to Yi Fei? He still doesn't believe it until now. You know, Skuyad, it's not so easy to deal with. Being able to block him easily, it was obvious that Yi Fei had extraordinary strength. Moreover, with Yi Fei's performance on the battlefield just now, Marco had every reason to be skeptical. Team leader. You saw it, but I really don't hide my strength, and I don't know the specific reason. Yi Fei smiled awkwardly, and then spread his hands. Naturally, I cannot say that I have traveled through time. But this kind of thing is really hard to explain. So, just pretend to be confused. All I can say is, 
If you can, let's pretend. I can't pretend anymore. Anyway, they must have seen it just now. Neither admit nor deny. Yi Fei, tell me the truth. Why hide your strength from us? Marco didn't give up, and still thought that Yi Fei boarded the boat because of his hidden strength. For Yi Fei, there is no need to do this at all, even if he is powerful, as long as he thinks about the Whitebeard Pirates, no one will say anything. Yi Fei was stunned for a while, his mind spinning rapidly, hoping to find a reasonable explanation as soon as possible. Captain Marco, I don't know what's going on myself. Naturally, Yi Fei couldn't say anything about borrowing the body. They probably won't believe it either. Forehead. Marco was speechless in surprise. Advertisement. Yi Fei's answer left him speechless. Originally, I just thought he was handsome, but I didn't expect Yi Fei to be so cunning. Still want to hide it. You little brat, you actually hid so deeply. Before Marco could continue to answer, Yi Fei smiled deeply. Captain, there may be more things you didn't think of. Maybe I will surprise you. The strength has been revealed. Cannot be retracted again. Yi Fei is very clear. This time, I believe that many people have noticed him, and it has become less important to hide his strength. Besides, it doesn't fit Yi Fei's character to hide and hide. The most important thing now is to save Ace. If you want to save Ace, you have to fight those big men. The rest Yi Fei didn't want to think about it. Now I already have the ability of two fruits. And you can constantly improve yourself in battle. Who wins and who loses, no one knows. Cool la 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 la. Whitebeard laughed, although he also felt very strange about Yi Fei's strength. But as long as he doesn't endanger the Whitebeard pirates, he has nothing to worry about. After all, everyone has their own secrets. If he insisted on knowing other people's secrets, it might be a bad thing, and he didn't want to know too much. All he knew was that Yi Fei saved him at all costs just now. Marco looked dull and didn't understand what Whitebeard was laughing at, so he looked at him. Daddy. Whitebeard looked at Yi Fei. Yi Fei, from now on, you are the captain of the fourth team. Suddenly, Marco and Yi Fei were surprised at the same time. Father. Yi Fei hesitated to speak, and suddenly felt indescribable. Advertisement. Let yourself take the place of the dead Sachi. It was indeed beyond my expectations. I remembered that I was just an ordinary crew member on the ship, and was suddenly promoted to captain. Yi Fei really didn't think about it. After all, it was not long after time traveling. It was really uncomfortable to be promoted to captain all of a sudden. Sage is dead, and someone always needs to take his place. Don't live in the past forever. Whitebeard Edward Newgate sighed. He has fought hard in the sea all his life, and he has seen many companions buried in the sea, with regrets and tears. No matter when, what result you face, sometimes, you have to admit it. Sack's death cannot be changed. Whitebeard had to bring himself to admit that fact. Since Yi Fei has this strength, making him a good choice. You know, Yi Fei has made the first major contribution just now. Otherwise, maybe he has been successfully attacked by Skuyad. From this point of view, making Yi Fei the captain is a matter of course. Yi Fei. Marco patted Yi Fei on the shoulder. Congratulations. Marco is still very happy. Since coming on board, he has been very supportive of any decision Whitebeard makes. Originally, he thought that Dad would announce the result after the battle. After all, the position of Whitebeard pirate team leader is very important. But I didn't expect it to be so fast. It seems that the old man seems to value this kid very much. As his former subordinate, now he is the captain, Marco is still happy for Yi Fei. At the same time, I couldn't help but sigh in my heart. Is this the person I wanted to reject at the beginning? Now he's the captain. That's the senior officer of the Whitebeard Pirates. Chapter 22 Seven Warlords of the Sea, you will soon be gone. Daddy. Yi Fei felt a little helpless, so he nodded at Whitebeard. As one of the members of the Whitebeard Pirates, he is now the captain, so naturally he will not refuse. This also shows that Whitebeard Papa recognized himself. Cool la 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 la. Whitebeard laughed. Today, I gained a high-level combat power. In this way, the chances of winning will increase. Thinking of this, 
Whitebeard excitedly stepped onto the bow. Facing the entire battlefield, he suddenly shouted. Sons, from now on, Yi Fei will be the captain of your fourth team. Let's save Ace together. Whitebeard's voice was like a bell, resounding from every corner of the battlefield. After the battle, all the pirates turned around. At the same time, all the sailors in the bay and the square were dumbfounded. They don't even know what Whitebeard means. But the cheers that came immediately made them completely confused. Woohoo! In an instant, cheers erupted from the pirates. The pirates who heard the news raised their weapons and started cheering. Of course, some of them were very confused. However, most people still noticed Yi Fei's strength. In addition, Plus just rescued the old man. Moreover, this position was announced by the father himself. The position of captain, Yi Fei does his part. Whitebeard, who received the response from the crew, smiled slightly, and his white teeth were crescent-shaped, very proud. Marine, lousy as Whitebeard, you want to take my head, come and get it now. Whitebeard looked towards the scaffold. On the opposite side, several high-level fighters were staring blankly, not knowing what happened. Bump. Advertisement. Whitebeard stuck the weapon in his hand, the Supreme Sharp Knife 12 Crafts Kong Yunchi, into the bow of the boat. Now, it is necessary to give them some color. Whitebeard held out his right hand and clenched his fist. Immediately, Yi Fei felt a strong sense of oppression in the air. Yi Fei sighed secretly. The big move is about to come out. For him who is familiar with the original work, he naturally knows that Whitebeard will activate the ability of shock fruit. It is worthy of the four emperors level, but the coercion is frightening. Yi Fei had to sigh. Bang. Whitebeard's fist dropped. The air suddenly condensed, and then, it seemed to shatter. Make a loud noise. Pass down, and the ice begins to crack rapidly towards the naval headquarters. The shock wave of shock fruit blasted towards naval headquarters. What followed was that a group of marine soldiers were overturned in the air. There was a flurry of dancing, and the screams of marine soldiers were endless. Only a few cadre level marines were not affected by the shockwave. At the same time, the fruit's ability blasted out, naval headquarters, the original cracks, and a few more. A gust of wind howled past, and the shock wave gradually dissipated. Kazaru. Nani. This doesn't look like a 70-year-old man. Akainu. HMPH, Whitebeard, how much time do you have left to waste like this? Aokiji. Just after the shock wave, many marines fell to the ground. Covered in wounds. Next, many marines got up from the ground. Meet the pirates coming again. Seeing this result, Yi Fei smiled slightly. Now, it's time to go down and collect experience points. Do whatever you want, I'm number one. Father, I'm going down. After all, Yi Fei picked up the mace, stepped onto the bow, and jumped off the Moby Dick. I'm really anxious. Advertisement. Marco smiled. I just became the captain, and now I am so anxious to perform. Sure enough, it is worthy of the three fires of the new official's appointment. It is common sense to be eager to express yourself. However, what he didn't know was that Yi Fei was going down to collect experience points. Marco, have you noticed that this kid's strength is not simple? Whitebeard's gaze followed Yi Fei's movement. Marco nodded immediately. I only found out today that this kid is pretty good. Father, I know, I won't let him die. In Marco's view, although Yi Fei has shown his strength, but it wasn't so powerful that it was so terrifying. At this time, he can't let him die easily. Take care of him for me. He has a lot of potential and it would be a big loss to us if he died. Whitebeard has sharp eyes. From his feeling, he knew that Yi Fei was not easy. The Whitebeard pirates are in great need of someone like this right now. Just appointed Yi Fei as the captain of Division 4. I don't want him to die so easily. You know, Saki, who was in the fourth team before, has already caused him enough pain. Now, he hopes Yi Fei is okay. After all, the opponent this time is extremely powerful. Yes, dad, comma, in the bay, on the battlefield. Yi Fei just dealt with some sailors, including some low-level marine cadres. The experience has been rewarding. Stopping, Yi Fei noticed that Luffy had led the revolutionary army cadre Ivankov to the forefront. 
Of course, Yi Fei never forgot the main task this time, saving Ace. Thinking of this, Yi Fei ran directly to Luffy. Help him deal with opponents who stand in his way along the way. Advertisement. Hey he he. A tall figure suddenly appeared in front of Yi Fei. Yi Fei looked up. Seven warlords of the sea, Gecko Moria. Are you trying to get in my way? Yi Fei stopped, put the mace on his shoulder, and asked coldly. Hey he he. Kid, I've noticed you a long time ago. Your skills are not bad. Gecko Moria held out her hands and gave a weird grin. Gecko Moria has noticed Yi Fei since he defeated a group of low level marine cadres. What? You want to take my shadow? Yi Fei smiled lightly. For Gecko Moria, Yi Fei is quite clear. Shadow Fruit Ability User. The scissors in your hand can cut the shadow of others. After eating the shadow, his strength will become stronger. At the same time, you can use shadows to transform various forms, such as weapons. Moreover, it is also possible to place shadows inside corpses to make zombies. So as to control the zombies and deal with the enemy. He he he, you're right. In front of me, Shichibukai, please surrender obediently. Gecko Moria laughed. At the same time, behind him, a group of zombie soldiers slowly rushed up. Oh, Shichibukai. Yi Fei pretended to be surprised, and then mocked. You won't be any more. In the original book, after the summit war ended, Gecko Moria's title of Seven Warlords of the Sea was immediately abolished. Because it's too weak to reach Shichibukai's B rank. World government does not allow him to exist. You bastard boy, dare to talk nonsense to me, Shichibukai. Your shadow, I will accept it. Gecko Moria yelled angrily. Advertisement. Chapter 23 Musket, Ace's Ability. Excessively agitated, with a mouth full of fangs exposed. He naturally didn't know that he would be removed from the world government next. But at the moment, Yi Fei didn't want to tell him so much. Moria, why did you become shorter? Jinbei's slap was not light. Last time, did you learn from Luffy? There was a hint of irony in Yi Fei's words. There is no rush to start fighting with him. Just now, Moonlight Magic Duck received a big move from Shichibukai Jinbei. Gecko Moria spit out quite a few shadows. It made him flinch a lot. You are abominable. Gecko Moria was too angry to speak. Just now I did suffer from Jinbei's Murloc Karate move, 5000 tiles, and a lot of shadows in my stomach ran away, and now I need to add new shadows. This was aimed at Yi Fei. With the shadow of such a powerful person, the ability to recover is not a problem. Maybe it will increase a lot. Zombie soldier, give it to me. Gecko Moria gave the order. Behind him, dozens of zombie soldiers with weapons rushed over as if they were drunk. Yi Fei wanted to laugh a little. The pace of these soldiers is very similar to the zombies in Plants vs. Zombies. Of course, Yi Fei didn't want to talk nonsense with these zombies either. Holding the weapon in his hand, he directly hit one of them. Bump. The zombie soldier was shot more than 10 meters away by Yi Fei. Originally, Yi Fei thought that the zombie would be killed directly. However, after the zombie soldier was knocked to the ground, he quickly stood up and rushed towards Yi Fei again. Advertisement. Almost forgot. Yi Fei patted his head. Zombies are hard to die. But they are afraid of salt and fire. Salt. Just use seawater. Just now, Diamond Joes dug a large chunk of ice out of the ice and threw it towards naval headquarters. In the cave, there is a lot of sea water. For these zombie soldiers, just some sea water will do. But Yi Fei didn't intend to do that. Because he has better ideas. Not long ago, he gained the ability to burn fruit. Just reduce them to ashes. Now, just in time to come in handy. Guns. Yi Fei stretched out his hands raised his thumbs, closed his index and middle fingers, and closed his ring and little fingers, gesturing in a pistol pose. The flame ability was activated, and a small flame popped out from the fingertips. Whoosh whoosh. Countless muskets were fired, hitting more than half of the zombie soldiers in an instant. Although Yi Fei has successfully integrated the ability to burn fruit, it is the first time to use this ability. Yi Fei is not very smooth yet. Even, Many places are missed. It seems that more practice is needed. At the same time, 
Yi Fei quickly recalled the original work in Yi Fei's mind, the way Ace used fire. Next, these zombie soldiers fell to the ground and burned. Soon, black shadows jumped out of their bodies one by one. Sure enough, the zombie fell, and the shadow fled like flying. Yi Fei smiled lightly. Host knocks down zombie soldiers, experience value plus 10. Host knocks down zombie soldiers, experience value plus 10. Host knocks down zombie soldiers, experience value plus 10. Advertisement. Host knocks down zombie soldiers, experience value plus 10. Comma. System prompts kept ringing in Yi Fei's mind. Unexpectedly, there are rewards for knocking down zombie soldiers. Yi Fei laughed secretly. Originally, Yi Fei thought that only by defeating Marine would it be possible. However, 10 experience points are indeed too shabby. How many will it take to take down Gecko Moria? At the same time, seeing his zombie soldiers being burned one by one in front of him. Gecko Moria panicked. Beads of sweat on his forehead covered his forehead unconsciously. You, you, how can you use the ability of fire? Gecko Moria opened his mouth wide in disbelief. You know, in the world of pirates, no two people have ever had the ability to have the same fruit. Unless, one of them died. After the fruit regenerates, it is possible to use the same ability. But what's going on now? These burned zombie soldiers. Obviously it is the ability to burn fruit. Gecko Moria was sure he was right. Why does the young man in front of him have it? Ha ha. Yi Fei smiled coldly. The pistol was already aimed at Gecko Moria. Whoosh whoosh. Riding Gecko Moria has not yet reacted. Yi Fei took the lead in launching the raid. Huge body, which makes Gecko Moria's speed can't keep up. Advertisement. The flame bullets from the musket hit Gecko Moria's thick body one after another. Ah, ah. Moonlight suddenly felt a pain in his chest. The feeling of being hit by this musket is the same as the feeling of being hit by a real gun. What's worse, his body also burned up. Gecko Moria rolled on the ground in pain. In desperation, he remembered that there was ice below. Immediately, the whole person turned over and lay directly on the ice. Puff zip. The flame on his body clung to the ice before extinguishing it. Gecko Moria breathed a sigh of relief. Looking at his belly, suddenly, there were a few more bullet holes. This damn flame bomb actually has the effect of a bullet. The pain is exactly the same. Damn it. Gecko Moria cursed secretly. Then turned over, just about to stand up. Yi Fei had already jumped into the air. Yang Yan. Yi Fei gave a loud shout. A surging force gushed out of his chest. Then the whole arm turned into a flame and shot out from the palm. An orange-red pillar of fire smashed down on Gecko Moria from top to bottom. Gecko Moria, who had no time to react, was directly hit by Yi Fei. What? The intense pressure of the flame. Squeezed directly on Gecko Moria's chest. Gecko Moria instinctively opened his mouth. Just as he opened his mouth and yelled, shadows kept escaping from his mouth. The figure shrinks again. Advertisement. Chapter 24 Yang Yan defeating Gecko Moria. Gecko Moria wanted to escape, but the strong pressure of the flame made him unable to turn over at all, so he had to let the flame burn. Bursts of stinging pain came, and the sound of screams was endless. The whole body, the whole body is covered in flames. The whole person burned together. Yi Fei fell down and stood on the ice. He stared blankly at the burning Gecko Moria in front of him. Facing the painful screams of the enemy in front of him, Yi Fei didn't feel any waves in his heart. At this moment, Yi Fei didn't want to give him any chance to breathe at all. If a person with shadow fruit ability is cut off by this guy, it will be troublesome. Plus, for every enemy missing on the battlefield right now, the chances of rescuing an ace are better. Who the hell are you? Ah, Gecko Moria rolled on the ground, trying to extinguish the flames on his body. But this time, it seems that it is not so easy. This fire is more powerful than the musket just now. He couldn't figure out how Yi Fei had this ability. All I could do was scream loudly. Facing Gecko Moria's screams, Yi Fei showed no sympathy. There was no answer either. Before the flame on his body went out again, Yi Fei used Yang Yan again. 
The pillar of fire hit Gekko Moria again. The flame on his body that was about to be extinguished, Gekko Moria is already covered with scars. I haven't caught my breath yet. As a result, unexpectedly, Yi Fei used the same trick again. This, the ability of flames. Mara Mara Fruit. Advertisement. Isn't this the ability of Fire Fist Ace? Why does Yi Fei have it too? This is Yang Yan, Ace's move. Did Yi Fei eat Ace's Mara Mara Fruit? Impossible. There is only one burning fruit in this world, and it is absolutely impossible for a second one to appear. Kama. A member of the Whitebeard Pirates, with a dazed look on his face. Yi Fei actually used Ace's ability. Even Whitebeard and Marco couldn't figure out why Yi Fei would use the ability of fire. This thing is just out of the ordinary. The flame burns on Gekko Moria until it goes out. Look at Gekko Moria again. The body became smaller again, and this time spit out a lot of shadows. At the same time, Gekko Moria was burned all over and was pitch black. From the point of view of body shape, Gekko Moria's body shape is like a wine bottle, or a wine gourd. This looks like a black wine bottle, Gujing Tribute wine bottle. Yi Fei smiled, that kind of black wine bottle. The flames were extinguished and Gekko Moria lay motionless on the ice like a corpse. High intensity burning flames. Make Gekko Moria pass out. Completely lost combat effectiveness. This is seven warlords of the sea. No wonder it will be delisted by the world government. Yi Fei contemptuously said, just use two tricks of, Yang Yan. I didn't expect him to play so hard, it doesn't feel much better than Marine Vice Admiral. Yi Fei felt comfortable beating Gekko Moria. This caused Yi Fei to have an illusion, could it be that he has surpassed seven warlords of the sea at this moment? Yi Fei shook his head. It should be attacked by Jinbei just now, and Gekko Moria itself is not very strong. Among so many Shichibukai, the overall strength is very poor. Advertisement. Yi Fei thought to himself. Ding. The sound of the system rang in Yi Fei's ears again. Open black lens bracket congratulations to host for defeating seven warlords of the sea Gekko Moria close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket host gain experience value plus 30,000 close black lens bracket. Looking at the system panel, 30,000 experience points have already arrived. Yi Fei was a little surprised. He didn't expect that the experience value of defeating Gekko Moria would be so high. The reward for defeating Shichibukai is really extraordinary, it is still Shichibukai incense. Look inside the system, what good skills are there? Yi Fei muttered to himself. The so-called skills do not overwhelm the body. Learn more skills. Very important for building strength. Especially in this very moment. Just when Yi Fei was looking at the system panel alone. Many people have already followed him. You know, the pillar of fire that soared to the sky just now. But it was seen by many people. Shocked at the same time. They also realize. Yi Fei does not seem to be an easy opponent. To defeat the seven warlords of the sea is not something ordinary people can do. Who is this person? Quickly check for me. Even Marine Marshal Sengoku noticed Yi Fei. He felt a little strange about Yi Fei's strength. In the Whitebeard Pirates, famous people were all on the reward list, but he had never seen this face before. Where did it come from? Could it be the foreign aid invited by the Whitebeard Pirates? Advertisement. Soon, Sengoku was debriefed. Report to Marshal, we just checked. This pirate is a subordinate of Marco, the first team of the Whitebeard Pirates. A marine soldier ran over in a panic. What? Marco's men. Ordinary crew. He just beat the seven warlords of the sea. Sengoku felt a little weird. The miscellaneous fish soldiers under Whitebeard are actually so powerful. Although Gekko Moria's strength is weak, he is still the seven warlords of the sea recognized by the world government, and the general vice admiral is not necessarily his opponent. Did the investigation go wrong? Report. Absolutely true. Comma. After pondering for a moment, Sengoku then looked at Garp. This person has the ability of the fire element, who do you think is better to send down? However, at this moment, Garp's attention is not on Yi Fei at all, but on his grandson, Monkey D. Luffy. At the moment, Luffy is fighting with the surrounding marine soldiers. Watching his grandson fighting with his subordinates, he had an indescribable feeling. 
Seeing this situation, Sengoku's face suddenly fell down, and he shouted loudly, Garp, don't forget your identity. He is a pirate now. As a sailor, you must not act emotionally, we must uphold the dignity of justice. Garp came back to his senses. Sengoku, what were you talking about just now? He was so focused that he had no idea what Sengoku was talking about. Sengoku angrily told him again. An ability user of the fire element. Garp finally reacted. Immediately began to observe Yi Fei's body movements. Yes, this is very similar to the ability of Ace Mara Mara Fruit. Sengoku replied, staring at Yi Fei intently. With the action of awe, the ability he used just now. Exactly the same as Fire Fist Ace. Advertisement. Chapter 25 Shichibukai, Bartholomew the Great Bear. Sengoku read it right, Yi Fei used the same fire ability as Ace. Is there such a thing? Garp also looked rather surprised. In the pirate world, everyone can only eat one devil fruit, he knows it better than anyone else. Has the same ability as Ace. How can that be? Sengoku nodded. That's right. Sengoku, maybe we're all old. Now the world is the world of young people. Garp replied blankly. Immediately, he looked helplessly at Ace on the execution platform, and sighed heavily. Ace originally had a strong development ability. Before he was 20 years old, the world government was going to give him the title of Seven Warlords of the Sea, but he refused. So, in this world, nothing is impossible. As the hero Garp, he has a very familiar experience. He has seen too many strange things and strange people. Many things have become familiar. Who do you think is better to go down and deal with him? Sengoku asked coldly, his tone seemed a little impatient. Watching Yi Fei knock down another marine commodore. Sengoku's eyelids twitched angrily. Ability to fire. Garp dragged his jaw in thought. Although the marine vice admiral has a large number of people, there are really not many who use the ability of the water system. It's better to have abilities of the water system. Advertisement. Jinbei should be able to deal with it, as a murlocky is good at using water. Garp's voice just fell. Sengoku finally couldn't take it anymore. Garp, what are you talking about? Jinbei is no longer Shichibukai, and now you are helping your grandson. Sengoku looked at him angrily. As a high Sha Jinbei from the Fishmen Island, he can freely shuttle in the sea, and he will naturally use the ability of the water system. There should be no problem countering Yi Fei's fire ability. But Jinbei objected to going to war with Whitebeard, and refused to obey the Marine's mandatory call. This was sent to the submarine prison Impel Down. It can be said that the current him has completely broken with Marine and completely betrayed Marine. Let him deal with Yi Fei. Garp, what on earth are you thinking? You still want to command Jinbei? Is your head showing off? No wonder Sengoku is angry. If not, then there are only three admirals left. Garp responded coldly. At this moment, he stared at Yi Fei intently. When fighting, his stature is agile and he can deal with opponents with ease. He is extremely strong, so it is natural to see that Yi Fei didn't use his full strength, but he was able to finish off his opponent in a very short time. Clearly, this man could be more than expected. Sakazuki's lava lava fruit is much stronger than the fire element. Kuzan's frozen fruit can also counter fire. Pelusolino's flashing fruit has extremely fast speed and destructive power, and the flames can't keep up with it, but they can also deal with it. Could it be that to deal with a mere nameless pirate, I need to let Marine's strongest combat power take action? Advertisement. Sengoku was very angry. Admiral against a bad fish, who has never heard of a name. Doesn't this make people laugh out loud? Vice Admiral level. I don't think anyone can match him. Garp responded calmly. Garp can tell just by Yi Fei's figure and movements. The strength of this young man is definitely not weaker than that of Fire Fist Ace. Quote dot 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 quote. Garp's words left Sengoku speechless. However, after some careful observation, Sengoku quickly confirmed Garp's words. The little known pirate in front of him has extraordinary strength, and it hasn't been fully revealed yet. But to deal with a mere pirate, it is really a bit of a fuss to let three admirals take action. And it's easy to think that Marine's talent is dying. Where is the face of justice? Notify Big Bear, 
Let him deal with that kid with fire ability as soon as possible. Sengoku gave the order. Big Bear. Bartholomew Big Bear. Nicknamed. Tyrant. Meatball Fruit Ability User. Although he is tall, he is extremely fast. Sabayati landed on the island, and in a very short period of time, he sent Luffy and his group flying all over the world. And it still maintains a cool look. This also has to show his strength. Additionally, Big Bear has recently been transformed by the world government to use Admiral Kazaru's lasers in addition to his own abilities. Using him to deal with Yi Fei, I have to say, Sengoku's vision is quite vicious. Your Majesty Tyrant, the Marshal orders you to attack Yi Fei, a person with fire abilities. Advertisement. The Marine orderly ran behind Big Bear and said tremblingly. You know, the Big Bear at this moment has completely become a machine. Completely lost human memory. Who knows, will a sudden attack be launched? As soon as the messenger finished speaking, Big Bear turned his head slowly. Auto scan. Naval Headquarters Herald. Safe. The scanner in Big Bear's eyes scanned the entire body of the messenger. After confirming that he is not an opponent, he put away the scan. Order received. Big Bear responded mechanically. He just knocked out Oz from Whitebeard's One Piece, and now he's taking on Ivankov from the Revolutionary Army. After receiving the instruction, he turned on the scanning mode again. Searched on the battlefield in the bay. Soon, he found Yi Fei. Because, on the battlefield at this moment, only Yi Fei is using the ability of the fire element. Whoosh. In a blink of an eye, Bartholomew Big Bear disappeared instantly. Big Bear. Revolutionary Army Ivankov hadn't had time to cry out yet. As a former friend, Ivankov desperately wants to wake up the memory of Big Bear. After all, Big Bear is also one of the cadres of the Revolutionary Army but for the reason why it will accept the transformation this time. Ivankov couldn't figure it out. Comma. Advertisement. Chapter 26 Take advantage of the opponent's weakness and sneak attack. Pirate Yi Fei. A figure fell behind Yi Fei in an instant. Then start the mechanical sound. So fast. Yi Fei was secretly amazed. Turn around and see. Seven warlords of the sea. Bartholomew Bear. Isn't he a cadre of the Revolutionary Army? Soon, he remembered that the Big Bear at this moment was already a human weapon transformed by Vegapunk, a scientist of the world government. Moreover, the pacifist of the world government was transformed according to his figure. At this moment, the Big Bear has no human consciousness. However, he is still agile. Unexpectedly, Shichibukai, who is as powerful as Da Shang, noticed it so quickly. Yi Fei began to wonder, could it be because he used the ability to burn fruit? Currently, Yi Fei has two fruit abilities, burning fruit and dragon fruit. Most of the skills of Shenlong fruit are in the form of Shenlong, except for the S level Thunder 8 trigrams. Yi Fei didn't really want to use this trick. After all, if you try to become a Shenlong, the attention of the entire battlefield will be focused on him. Because he was afraid of being too eye catching, he chose to burn the fruit. Unexpectedly, it was still noticed by so many people. Immediately, Yi Fei was very helpless. What Yi Fei didn't even know was that he had already been noticed by Sengoku, and that the big bear was sent by him. Find Yi Fei and kill him immediately. As soon as big bear finished speaking, he immediately began to take off his gloves. The moment Yi Fei saw the meatball on his bear paw, Yi Fei was extremely alert. As a meatball fruit capable user, Big Bear cannot be underestimated. It was this hand that sent Luffy and the others flying. Thinking of this, the sweat on Yi Fei's forehead broke out unconsciously. You know, this is Naval Headquarters, Marine Ford. I haven't rescued Ace yet, once I was hit by him, wouldn't I have to fly thousands of kilometers? Then I still get AP in Marine Ford. Yi Fei focused all his attention on Big Bear, and opened up Observation Hockey. Yi Fei never dared to be careless against this kind of opponent. Advertisement. Whoosh. Bartholomew, the big bear, flashed directly behind Yi Fei. Hoo hoo. Observation Hockey, keenly felt that there was a big hand on his back attacking him. Immediately, Yi Fei jumped. Jump out tens of meters directly. The big bear's palm fell, and it was empty. Catch failed. 
A mechanical sound came out of Big Bear's mouth. At the same time, he raised his head and looked up at Yi Fei in midair. Yi Fei broke out in a cold sweat. Stare at the fleshy ball above the opponent's palm. If he hadn't reacted quickly, if he had been hit just now, he might have been thousands of miles away by now. So close. Yi Fei murmured to himself. At this moment, I kept thinking about countermeasures in my mind. At the same time, keep a certain distance from the big bear. And set observation hockey to max. Facing this kind of opponent, Yi Fei didn't dare to be careless in the slightest. The big bear who is also the seven warlords of the sea is not at the same level as Gecko Moria. Tall, agile, and extremely destructive. How to do how to do. In desperation, Yi Fei's mind spun rapidly. Carefully recall every detail of the original work. In order to find the weakness of the big bear. When reading the original work, during the summit war period, each attack of the transformed bear has a characteristic. That is, when the laser is activated, it cannot move. You can only attack while standing still. In this regard, it is much worse than Kazaru. You know, when Kazaru is moving, he can still shoot lasers. This should be the robot's weakness. Compared with the original Big Bear, at this moment, he has become a cold machine. Not only will they lose their personality, but even their instinctive reactions will disappear. Compared with humans, machines are much worse in this respect. Advertisement. Thinking of this suddenly, Yi Fei was a little excited. In response, Yi Fei decided to try the idea. Bear, you can't take pictures of me. Show me your strongest attack. After avoiding the big bear's attack several times in a row, Yi Fei said deliberately. The big bear can shock wave, but Yi Fei just hopes that the big bear can attack himself with laser light. Then, as long as he doesn't move, Yi Fei can launch a sneak attack. If this continues, sooner or later he will be beaten out. Lock Yi Fei. After the sound of the big bear mechanical version, two eyes looked through the scanner, locked on Yi Fei, and then opened his mouth. After losing several times in a row to Yi Fei, big bear finally changed his tactics. Beep beep. The laser is about to fire. Yi Fei smiled slightly and murmured to himself. It really works. It takes a certain amount of time for the laser to launch from start to finish. And within this time, the big bear has no way to move fast. At this moment, Yi Fei must grasp it in time. If he can't be defeated, then maybe he will be killed directly. While holding the mace tightly, Yi Fei adjusted his body to the ultimate state. Quickly get behind the big bear. Thunder 8 trigrams. Yi Fei shouted loudly and jumped up. The black stone mace attached to armament hockey, accompanied by the electric current effect, directly hit the big bear's neck. Unexpectedly, at this moment, big bear's entire body suddenly tilted over. Bump. This move thundered eight trigrams and didn't hit the neck directly. Instead, hit part of the side. Damn it, that's bad. Yi Fei's heart sank, and he missed it. What happened? Drop the chain at this critical time. If he is not hit this time, then he will be shot flying directly. Advertisement. However, what happened next surprised Yi Fei even more. The missed Bartholomew bear fell straight down. What happened? Yi Fei looked confused. Seeing the big bear lying on the ground, Yi Fei stopped and didn't intend to come forward. Seeing that he didn't move, Yi Fei immediately stepped forward. However, after seeing the situation of big bear, Yi Fei smiled. It turned out that the blow just now had hit him in the neck, and some parts on the neck had already been broken by himself. The intermittent electric current is sizzling. There's a little puff of black smoke coming out. Sure enough, it has become a machine. Yi Fei muttered to himself. The big bear that has undergone transformation has now become a real machine. Some of the original consciousness was also lost. It is estimated that he has already forgotten his identity in the revolutionary army, so he shot Ivankov. Yi Fei didn't understand why he accepted the transformation of the world government. However, even at this moment, Yi Fei did not dare to take things lightly. You know, this is seven warlords of the sea. He must be completely incapacitated. Yi Fei stepped forward, raised the mace in front of the fallen bear, and hit him on the head again. In an instant, Big Bear hit Yi Fei hard on the forehead with a mace. 
The parts of the head were scattered all over the place. Yi Fei's idea is simple. Since he is Shichibukai, he must be completely disabled. As for whether he is on the side of the revolutionary army now, it doesn't matter now. Ding. Open black lens bracket host knocks down seven warlords of the sea. Bartholomew Big Bear close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket reward host express plus 30,000 close black lens bracket. The system beep sounded again. Yi Fei finally defeated him. Knocked out another Shichibukai. Sure enough, the experience value of Shichibukai level combat power is 30,000 points. But it is much more difficult to beat Big Bear than Gekko Moria. If it is not for sneak attacks, it is estimated that it will be difficult to defeat him. Fortunately, the return is gratifying. It can be exchanged for many things. Advertisement. Chapter 27 Kaido's Way. Admiral Kazaru appears. Not far away, Yi Fei's actions made Akainu, who is Marine Admiral, also have to pay attention to him. You know, he has seen the move of Thunder 8 Trigrams before. This is the trick of the Four Emperors Kaido of the Beasts. Why had this never been seen, and he would, too? Could there be any connection between him and Kaido? For a moment, Akainu was very puzzled. At the same time, on the execution platform, Marshal Sengoku was itching with anger. Originally, he thought that Big Bear would easily deal with Yi Fei. But he never expected that this young man would actually defeat Big Bear. In Seven Warlords of the Sea, Big Bear is considered a top-notch existence. In less than half a quarter of an hour, this person was beaten into parts, which really insulted Shichibukai's name. In other words, is the Big Bear too weak, or is the opponent too strong? Sengoku didn't understand for a while. Ever since Big Bear was transformed by the world government, his behavior has become no different from that of a machine. However, except for no one's reaction, all his moves have not changed, and they are even much stronger than before. Losing so quickly, could it be said that this young man may have surpassed seven warlords of the sea? Sengoku couldn't believe it. Looks like Whitebeard has another warrior. Garp sighed. Sengoku reprimanded. Garp, stop making sarcastic remarks here. I haven't settled with you about your grandson, so take care of your family first. Although it was reprimand, Sengoku knew better that Garp was telling the truth. However, Garp ignored him and said to himself, It seems that this kid can not only use the ability of fire. Even Kaido's moves, he can. Advertisement. The mace with the lightning effect was swung at high speed, and the body shape and movements were exactly the same. As Kaido, one of the four emperors, Garp is very familiar with it. The two have known each other for decades. And Kaido has challenged the entire marine many times alone. Although it ended in failure. But the marine and world government have nothing to do with him. Because no one has ever been able to kill him. Most of Marines' high-level combat powers are very familiar with Kaido's moves. Seeing the same trick again, it is naturally no stranger. But strange, why Yi Fei also has. Could there be any connection between him and Kaido? In this regard, Garp's and Akainu's observations are similar. Garp's explanation did not discourage Sengoku. I know what you said, his style is very similar to Kaido's. Moreover, not only that, but Sengoku can see that Yi Fei is not a soft-hearted person. This point can be seen from his making up the knife against the big bear, this person is more ruthless. Once shot, it will be fatal. You won't stop until you put your opponent to death. This kind of character, keeping it must be a disaster, must be obliterated. Porosalino, deal with this kid. Sengoku finally couldn't help it anymore, picked up the golden phone bug, and said to Kazaru. If Yi Fei is allowed to continue like this. So, where is Marine's face? Where is the face of justice? At this moment, he seems to have decided to use Admiral Kazaru to completely solve Yi Fei. Sengoku kun, what about the pirate Luffy? Kazaru spread his hands and lazily replied to the golden phone bug. At this moment, Luffy and Jinbei have already attacked not far from the execution platform. As Admiral, isn't the first priority to prevent Ace from being taken away. Advertisement. That's just an ordinary pirate. The opponent in front of me must be eliminated. Go down and deal with him immediately. Sengoku ordered. 
In his opinion, Yi Fei is more dangerous than Luffy. Moreover, this person's means may be extremely cruel. For such a person, Marine must not let it go. Yes, Sengoku Kun. Kazaru hangs up the bug. Then, the figure turned into a golden shining light. Fly towards Yi Fei. Great. Admiral down. Quick. Run. Comma. When the pirates saw Kazaru flying towards the bay, they were frightened out of their wits, dropped their weapons, and were about to run away. You know, Marine Admiral is known as the strongest combat power. And Admiral Kazaru, not only has extremely strong attack power, but also stands at the top of Marine in terms of speed. In front of him, if you don't run away, you are courting death. Marco. Hurry up. Bayhead. Moby Dick. Whitebeard also noticed Kazaru's action. He noticed that Kazaru was flying towards Yi Fei. His target is definitely Yi Fei. That's when Marco was called. As the four emperors, he knew the strength of the Admiral Wasteland. Although Yi Fei beat Shichibukai, Admiral must be difficult to deal with. But at this moment, Kazaru has landed in front of Yi Fei. Little ghost head, not bad, can beat Shichibukai. Kazaru had a lazy expression on his face. Then, he slowly raised his right hand and stretched out his index finger. Advertisement. Casually pointing to Yi Fei. A golden cross light illuminated the entire Marineford. The dazzling light made everyone cover their eyes unconsciously. Is this the Marine Admiral? Yi Fei knew that this was the legendary laser beam. Not only can it penetrate the human body, but where the laser hits, it will cause a big explosion. When reading the original book, Yi Fei didn't feel very powerful. But on the battlefield, Yi Fei's keen premonition, Admiral Kazaru's great momentum and his sparkling fruit ability. This may have something to do with observation hockey's advanced prediction. Dodging the speed of Admiral's lasers is a bit difficult. Since you can't hide, let's go head to head. Anyway, I have the most powerful recovery ability. Yi Fei has already made up his mind. At the same time, the mace in his hand has switched to the armed color form. Just wait for Kazaru's laser to come over. Right now. A light blue flame drifted past. In the flames, Marco, the captain of Whitebeard Pirates, kicked him flying. Marco's foot fell, and Kazaru flew out, hitting the marine wall. Boom. There was a huge impact sound. The wall of naval headquarters collapsed in an instant. Crane Claw. Yi Fei murmured to himself. The move of the crane claw is a high-intensity kick using the inertia of high-speed flight. This trick, Yi Fei has only seen it in the original book. It did kick Kazaru away. Chapter 28 Aokiji in the crotch, fighting side by side with Luffy. However, at that time, it was Kazaru who was about to attack Whitebeard and was kicked away by Marco. Now, instead, he is saving himself. Thinking of this, Yi Fei secretly felt a little funny. Yi Fei, be careful. In midair, Marco's phoenix spread its wings, which remained unchanged. The dark blue wings look like a big shiny bird. This is the form of the phoenix fruit. Even if it is hit by an enemy, it can recover quickly. This is the biggest advantage of the bird fruit. After Marco finished speaking, he flew forward again. Yi Fei nodded silently. Then look at Kazaru. At this moment, he has been buried under the rubble. With Kazaru's strength, Marco couldn't cause him any substantial damage at all. But throughout Summit War, Kazaru's fights always seemed a bit slack. He didn't try to defeat the pirates like Akainu did. Yi Fei was also very surprised by this point. But at this moment, Yi Fei didn't think about the reason. Instead, look forward. At this moment, Straw Hat Luffy, with Jinbei, has rushed to the forefront. They had just broken through a group of marine soldiers and were about to move forward. Shichibukai, Mahawk, suddenly stood in front of them. Straw Hat Luffy, you don't go any further. Hawkeye Mahawk, pointed the big sharp knife in his hand at Luffy who was running. The supreme sharp knife in his hand, Yi, was already aimed at Yi Fei. Don't stop me, Luffy shouted excitedly, but he was still very clear about the number one strength in the world and Zoro had suffered a lot from him. But no matter how strong Hawkeye is, he can't stop his determination to save Ace. Luffy, you go first, leave this to me. Straight Jinbei suddenly stood in front of Luffy, 
ready to fight. Although the two are both seven warlords of the sea. Advertisement. But Jinbei's strength, compared with Hakai Mahak, is not only a star and a half behind. Hakai's swordsmanship is not necessarily worse than Shanks. You know, the name of the world's number one swordsman is not for nothing. Jinbei is well aware of the gap in strength between the two. But this time the situation is different. He has to help Luffy. Even if he knew that he was no match for Hawkeye. Thanks. Someone crotch Mahawk, Luffy said instinctively. He ran forward without looking back. In front of Luffy, two marine admirals, Akainu and Aokiji have been waiting for Luffy for a long time. Akainu, son of the revolutionary dragon, must be obliterated. Aokiji, it's really not easy, I can hit here. Kama. The plot at this moment has progressed much faster than the original. Along the way, Yi Fei also helped Luffy solve many opponents. This allowed Luffy to arrive at the square under the execution platform ahead of schedule. At the same time, Whitebeard has brought the ship from the surrounding walls of the Marine to the square of Marineford. A group of Marines were already flying all over the sky by shock fruit's ability. Absolute justice must be upheld. Stay here and watch over the son of the dragon. Akainu, who is admiral, couldn't stand Marines losing streak. If these pirates are allowed to mess around. So, what else do they need to do? In his opinion, the real trouble now is Whitebeard, so he has been watching Whitebeard's every move. For him, Whitebeard is his most important opponent right now. Defeat Whitebeard, none of them can escape, let alone Ace of the Firefist, and Son of the Dragon, they must die here. Lava Lava Fruit ability activated. The billowing magma slowly fell from his arm, dripping onto the stone slabs of the square, and black smoke was everywhere. Advertisement. Around him, everyone felt the scorching heat. Luffy, although I was taken care of by your grandpa. But you shouldn't have come this time. Aokiji heaved a long sigh, and there was a hint of coldness in what he said. The ability of frozen fruit is also activated along with Akainu. All along, Garp has taken great care of Aokiji. Last time, when no one was around, there was nothing to say about letting him go. But this time, Luffy actually came to naval headquarters. As Marine Admiral, he naturally couldn't let Luffy mess around. Get out of the way. Luffy yelled excitedly. Ace is close at hand. At this time, it is absolutely impossible for him to give up. At this time, Luffy doesn't care if the opponent is Marine Admiral or what. All he knew was that if he didn't save Ace now, he would be killed. Second gear. Luffy engaged second gear, his whole face flushed. At the same time, the whole person's skin was red and steam was coming out. Puff puff. Ice age. Aokiji's ability activates. Everything around, the stone slabs and walls, was instantly covered by thick ice. At the same time, Aokiji's whole body has turned into ice. And Luffy has already jumped in the air. Rubber machine gun. In the air, countless pairs of fists hit Aokiji at the same time. Crackling. The Iceman that Aokiji turned into was completely smashed to pieces by Luffy. But it's not easy to defeat Aokiji. Advertisement. Also, Luffy from Summit War. It is simply impossible. Above the square, Yifei could see clearly. Right now. The ice cubes on the ground melted quickly. Soon, Aokiji's appearance immediately recovered. At the same time, there was an extra weapon in his hand. Ice cubes turned into knives. Ice knives. In the original book, Luffy was stabbed by Aokiji's skate. But now Yi Fei is here. Naturally, Aokiji cannot be allowed to succeed. That's when Aokiji was about to stab Luffy. Yi Fei suddenly appeared in front of Luffy. When, after a crisp sound, the mace in Yi Fei's hand has blocked Aokiji's skate. Quote dot 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 quote. Aokiji froze. He didn't expect that this trick was easily accepted by someone. Immediately, not only secretly exclaimed. You know, he hasn't seen many opponents who can be his ice skates. Yi Fei just happened to block him. Luffy, hurry up and save Ace. In midair, Yi Fei shouted. Now, only Luffy can save Firefist Ace. You know. Ace is now locked by Seastone. Only Luffy has the key. That's what Boa Hancock had just given him. This point, Yi Fei is very clear. 
Advertisement. Chapter 29 Water Admiral, Aokiji. Now just try to block Aokiji and Kazaru. Luffy will have a way to unlock the sea stone key. At this moment, Kazaru has been kicked over by Marco. While Kazaru and Aokiji are distracted, let Luffy go quickly. Quote dot 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 quote. Luffy froze for a moment. Just now, he hadn't noticed Aokiji's skate attack at all. But he didn't expect to be blocked by a person of his age. He didn't know the person in front of him who looked not much older than him, but he blocked Aokiji's attack for him. Looking back, Luffy didn't think too much about it. There is not much time left for him. On the execution platform, the executioners have already put the knife on Ace's neck. The fool may cut off Ace's head at any time. Thank you. Luffy said something hastily. Immediately, jumped down. Meanwhile, Ivankov, already waiting for him with a Mizuna lightning. Marine Admiral Kuzan, it's time for me to meet you. Yi Fei said calmly. Next, don't worry too much about Luffy. Akainu is already fighting Papa Whitebeard, Kazaru has just been thrown into ruins, and he is dealing with Aokiji. You know, next, Luffy is facing Garp. As a grandfather, Garp naturally couldn't bear to shoot Luffy. But Luffy will definitely shoot Garp in order to save Ace. Now, just focus on Aokiji and... At this moment, Yi Fei really wanted to test Admiral's strength to see if he would be crushed. Until now, Yi Fei still doesn't know what's going on with him. Advertisement. How big is the gap between myself and Admiral? Thinking of this, Yi Fei pressed the mace down hard. Aokiji's skate broke instantly. The two landed on the square. Neither of them started fighting immediately, but entered into a stalemate. But what Yi Fei did just now? But it scared many members of the Whitebeard Pirates. You know, Aokiji is one of the three top fighters in Marine. Legend has it that on the sea, as long as you meet Admiral. There are only two ways, either be killed or be caught. Yi Fei is going to fight Marine Admiral. Admiral Aokiji, I rely on. Yi Fei, there is danger. Yi Fei, what are you doing, why don't you run? In front of Admiral, wherever you can run, you will die wherever you run. Captain Marco, please help Captain Yi Fei, he is too young to be an opponent at all. Aokiji's fruit ability is really pervert. Comma. The members of the Whitebeard Pirates are all worried. In their view, although Yi Fei is strong, if he wants to fight against Marine Admiral, it is obvious that he can only be crushed. A lot of people are already calling for Marco, who they just saw, has fought off Marine Admiral Kazaru. As long as Marco comes over, then, it should be possible to defeat Aokiji. However, Marco is not free right now. He has been entangled by several Marine Vice Admirals, and he can't get away. Not to mention Whitebeard's side. At the moment, he is fighting Akainu fiercely. I can't move my hands at all. Advertisement. Just when everyone thought Yi Fei was about to escape. Instead, Yi Fei looked at Aokiji calmly. Not the slightest bit of fear. This really surprised Aokiji. After a while of silence. Ah la la, little ghost. I see you just used the ability of fire. What kind of fruit did you eat? Aokiji was not surprised that the weapon in his hand was broken by Yi Fei. He has just seen Yi Fei's strength. The ability of the fire element is only available in Ace. You have seen it all, and you still ask. Yi Fei smiled slightly, but did not answer directly. The words were said with a smile, but Yi Fei's eyes never left Aokiji. For Admiral Aokiji, Yi Fei didn't dare to be careless at all. After all, that is Marine Admiral, the strongest combat power. Meanwhile, Aokiji immediately understood. Yi Fei's words were already telling him. What he ate should be the same Mara Mara fruit as Ace. But why have the same fruit? Or is there a similar fruit? See you for the first time as Aokiji of Admiral. What the hell is your relationship with Ace? Also, what's your relationship with Luffy? Aokiji asked suspiciously, could it be that this person in front of him grew up with Ace? Two people ate the same Mara Mara fruit at the same time. But which will work? Impossible. Also, in front of me, desperately protecting Luffy, the relationship with him must be not easy. Advertisement. Hehe, <laughs> Ace is our partner on the ship. Luffy is Ace's younger brother, 
so naturally he is my partner. Yi Fei laughed softly. In the original book, Aokiji seems to be indifferent to everything. But Yi Fei knew. As Marine Admiral, Aokiji also had his own dreams and insisted on his own justice. But after seeing Akainu's incident in Ohara, seeing Akainu's excesses, he expressed his doubts about Marine's justice. The temperament of the whole person also changed accordingly. So I have always shown people with a lazy attitude. Compared with Akainu, Yifei appreciates Aokiji somewhat. Ah la la, little ghost, in order to save others, you are willing to risk your own life. Aokiji smiled after a long absence. The Yifei in front of him made him feel very interesting. Yifei was taken aback. In the original book, Yifei had never seen Aokiji smile. But now I saw that this abnormal behavior surprised Yifei. He he, don't you do the same, put water on Luffy. Yifei said deliberately, throughout the summit war. Admiral Aokiji, most of them are just fishing. No serious fighting at all. If he gets serious, presumably, if Luffy wants to rescue Ace, the difficulty will increase in a straight line. After all, that was the one who fought Akainu for ten days and ten nights. You know, after Whitebeard's death in the original book, no one under him can stop Akainu, including Marco. From this point, it can be explained that Aokiji's ability is not much worse than Akainu. If the difference is too large, the outcome will be decided long ago, Punk Hazard, there is no need to fight fiercely for 10 days and 10 nights. Advertisement. Chapter 30. Battle against Aokiji, the frozen Yifei. Hearing the word, release water, Aokiji's face was slightly displeased. Frankly speaking, he really didn't plan to pay too much attention to this war. And, for Luffy, he's a little bit off. The reason, first, is just to repay Garp's kindness. In Marine, he stayed for 30 years, from an unknown sailor to admiral, and Garp gave him a lot of help. Second, unlike Akainu, he doesn't want to kill Luffy. It made Aokiji feel strange. Why would Yi Fei find this out? What I said just now really felt a bit like someone was prying into my mind. That's right, he definitely didn't pay much attention to this battle. But Aokiji naturally refused to admit what Yi Fei said. Little devil, what are you talking about? It's really not a good feeling to be penetrated into the psychology. It's even worse to be seen by someone who doesn't know him well. Is not it? Yi Fei asked back. Of course, these words were intended for Aokiji. However, his attitude is worth pondering. Of course not. Aokiji still doesn't want to admit it. At naval headquarters, admitting to letting Luffy go, was out of the question. If someone finds out, wouldn't it be true? I'm Marine Admiral, how can it be possible to release water on pirates? Well, Admiral Aokiji's ability, I want to see it. Yi Fei didn't want to continue entanglement, but waved the mace in his hand. At this moment, he is ready to fight. At the same time, it can also hold Aokiji and create favorable conditions for Luffy to rescue Ace. Advertisement. From the original book, Yi Fei already knew Aokiji's abilities. Frozen fruit can directly make ice cubes where there is no water, even the sea can freeze. Apart from fire, there is nothing in this world that he cannot freeze. Moreover, Aokiji's fruit ability, Yi Fei guessed, may have been awakened earlier. Ah la la, Aokiji let out a breath of white air. The ability was activated, and the ice on the ground quickly spread towards Yi Fei. Fire punch. Yi Fei jumped up, and the flames burst out from his fist, smashing to the ground. A fusion of ice and fire. Originally, the frozen ground was burned by the flames, and instantly turned into streams of water vapor. White mist filled the air. Around the two of them, a white fog barrier gradually rose. The people around couldn't see clearly inside. The white mist gradually dissipated. Ice time. A blast of cold air quickly hit Yi Fei. In an instant, it directly reached Yi Fei's feet. Before making any movements, Yi Fei's feet were already frozen. Within a few seconds, Yi Fei's whole body was frozen into a block of ice. Under the sunlight, the whole body of Yi Fei who was frozen was shining brightly. Standing there motionless, this terrified many members of the Whitebeard Pirates. It was just frozen for a moment. Sure enough, 
The gap between Yi Fei and Admiral is too big. I told him to run a long time ago, but he just didn't run away. This is bad luck. It is estimated that if you don't die this time, you will have to lose your skin. Captain Marco, can you save Yi Fei? He has just taken the position of the dead Sarge, we can't let him die like this. People frozen by Admiral Aokiji must be thawed slowly with warm water. Advertisement. Where the hell is there time to find warm water now? Comma. Yi Fei was frozen, and for a while, many members of the Whitebeard Pirates were anxious. Everyone sweated for him. After all, Yi Fei had just become the captain of the fourth squad. He can also be regarded as a senior cadre of the Whitebeard Pirates. That's less than half an hour. Want a dog leash? Too unreasonable. Some members have started calling Marco. Yi Fei. At the same time, Marco was extremely worried when he was fighting. But he couldn't get away at all. I had to watch Yi Fei being frozen. But couldn't move forward. Moreover, Yi Fei is now frozen. Even in the past, it will not help. You know, once you touch Yi Fei's body, it is very likely that he will shatter like glass. He has just acquired such a powerful subordinate, and he will be killed immediately. Marco laments his own powerlessness a bit. The Whitebeard pirates are very worried about Yi Fei. At the same time, Admiral Aokiji's face was extremely serious. See the frozen Yi Fei. There was no slack on Aokiji's face. Tell him directly that the young man in front of him doesn't seem to be so easily defeated. Ice skates. Aokiji's ability was activated, and an ice skate appeared in his hand again. Now, as long as the frozen Yi Fei is crushed, then he is defeated. Meanwhile, Yi Fei was sealed in ice. Consciousness is very clear. Advertisement. However, the body is extremely cold. And, can't move. Ding. Open black lens bracket host is frozen by frozen fruit ability close black lens bracket. Yi Fei frozen in ice. In my mind, the voice of the system sounded. I see. Yi Fei shivered unconsciously. The ability of frozen fruit is really extraordinary. Originally, Yi Fei already felt that he was very powerful. Unexpectedly, he was sealed in the ice and could not move. This is the strength of Admiral. At the same time, the cold air of frozen fruit has already hit Yi Fei's heart. Yi Fei only felt that the beating of his heart began to slow down. It won't work if it goes on like this. Yi Fei has realized the seriousness of the problem. If this continues, I am afraid that the heart will stop. I don't know if I can save Ace. Whether he can live or not has become a problem. System. Start self-repair. Yi Fei ordered immediately. Ding. Open black lens bracket host is affected by frozen fruit ability close black lens bracket. Currently unable to start the repair. Depend on. The ability of frozen fruit actually affects the automatic repair. Yi Fei cursed secretly. Since it cannot be repaired automatically. So. The only way now is to lift the ice on your body. Immediately, activate the fire ability in the body. Advertisement. Chapter 31 Ice Storm Pheasant Mouth vs. Mirror Flame. The burning fruit ability has just been activated, and the body that was originally extremely cold has gradually returned to warmth. Creak. Boom. The ice on Yi Fei's body shattered like glass. Look at Yi Fei again, still intact. Moreover, his whole body was already on fire. This is exactly the same form as Ace. At this scene, many members of the Whitebeard Pirates were amazed. You know, once it is frozen, it is basically a dead end. But Yi Fei easily dispelled it. His strength is indeed terrifying. It's freezing cold. Yi Fei, good job. This is the captain of our fourth squad. Comma. While the members of the Whitebeard Pirates were relieved, they also had to admire Yi Fei's ability. Ah la la, brat, you're doing well. Aokiji pointed the ice blade at Yi Fei and was ready to fight. As expected of Admiral Aokiji. Yi Fei sighed. If it weren't for the fact that I just used the ability of the fire element in my body. It's probably still frozen. Fortunately, I ate the burning fruit in advance. For other fruits, even if it comes into contact with ice, it is estimated that the body will still have difficulty adapting. Just after the freeze was released, the familiar voice from the system came again. Host's body organs have been affected by frozen fruit's ability, 
and the system has activated the repair ability, helping host to restore. Close black lens bracket. 1%. 5%. The repair is complete, the host body is back to its best condition. Yi Fei touched his chest. Advertisement. The chill completely disappeared, but it felt very warm. Is this the ability to burn fruit? Then he smiled slightly. Sure enough, this self-healing ability is not generally strong. Fixed frostbite for ice. For ordinary people, it may lie in the hospital for several months. Fortunately, the degree of frostbite was not very serious, so it was repaired quickly. This reminded Yi Fei. Original, Punk Hazard Chapter. Aokiji had a match against seven warlords of the sea Doflamingo. Doflamingo has also deflected Aokiji's move. Although in the original work, it did not explain how Doflamingo was released. But it is not difficult to see from the De Reese Rosa chapter. This may have something to do with his string string fruit. Automatically repair the organs in the body. When Doflamingo fights against Luffy, he can also recover quickly, which is indeed related to his fruit. Ah la la, the ice blade in Aokiji's hand turned into a trident. He knew that facing Yi Fei, he couldn't be more casual. A, it seems that there was no randomness in the first place. Double thorn spear. Yi Fei blurted out. In the original book, above the top, Aokiji used this trick against Whitebeard. But crushed by shock fruit's ability. This also shows that frozen weapons are not invincible and can be crushed. It seems that you know me quite well. Aokiji was slightly surprised. He still rarely uses this move. Generally, only when it is serious, it will be taken out. Therefore, very few people can see his move. Unexpectedly, he was spied on by this brat. Hey boy, how the hell do you know? Advertisement. I know a lot more. Yi Fei grinned, he had read the original work of pirates more than once. Most people's moves are clear. Not to mention the tricks used by Admiral Aokiji. Little devil, you are right. This is indeed a double thorn spear. Since you are so familiar with it, let's see if you can take it. The corners of Aokiji's mouth twitched slightly. The double thorn spear quickly pierced towards Yi Fei. When, bump, two voices sounded. The two double thorn spears were immediately interrupted and fell to the ground with a jingle. Aokiji stood there in shock. This was the first time that the double thorn spear was interrupted. You know, the double thorn spear is infused with powerful cold energy. Compared with the ice skates, the hardness of the double thorn spear is several times higher than that of the ice skates. Unexpectedly, the opponent interrupted them with only one move. It is conceivable that the opponent's strength. However, when he saw the weapon in Yi Fei's hand, he was taken aback. It turned out that the mace seemed to have become a flame. At that moment, Aokiji understood. Yi Fei attached the ability of the fire element to the weapon. The extremely high temperature, coupled with the high speed swing, interrupted the double thorn spear. This kid really has a set. Actually injected the ability of the fire element into the weapon. Aokiji had to start admiringly. Ice cube storm pheasant's mouth. A huge ice bird bursting out from Aokiji's right arm, rushed directly at Yi Fei. Yi Fei smirked. Isn't this what Aokiji did to Ace in the original book? Did you use it on yourself so quickly? It seems that Aokiji has really taken it seriously. Advertisement. That move should work. Mirror flame. When Yi Fei activated his ability, the flames burning in his arms immediately formed a huge wall of fire. The huge wall of fire abruptly blocked the ice bird. Ice and fire collide again. White water vapor shot straight into the sky. Like Ace in the original book, Yi Fei launched the mirror flame. The same routine, familiar operation. The only difference is the people. On the side, everyone was dumbfounded. The surrounding marine soldiers and pirates all stood there blankly. They didn't know that Yi Fei's fire was so powerful. Yi Fei, it really is hidden. What a mighty flame. Yi Fei's fire has completely suppressed Aokiji. Bagger, it is our Kuzan admiral who suppressed this pirate, he is not our admiral's opponent at all. Hee <laughs> hee, silly bee, you can't even tell, are you a shrimp? Marine, pirate, the two gangs were arguing, and then fought again. Comma. Meanwhile, Whitebeard just abused Akainu again. He, who was not wounded by Skuyad, 
has not dealt with other enemies today except for Akainu. The physical strength is still well preserved, and it is no problem to fight against Akainu. Sa Yi Fei fighting Aokiji. I also have to sigh. Whitebeard is well aware of Aokiji's abilities. Frozen fruit is activated, even shock fruit is difficult to deal with. But Yi Fei's fire is indeed possible. There may be a restraint relationship between attributes. Moreover, he is very sure about his strength. What he didn't expect was. Yi Fei dared to confront Admiral directly. Advertisement. Chapter 32 The Strongest Move of the Fire Element. Great Flame Jia Yandi. Kula Lala. I worry too much. Worthy of being an East Blue guy. Roger. I found a treasure. If you were here, would you envy me? Whitebeard smiled like a crescent moon, very relieved. Just when facing Kazaru's attack, he was quite worried that Yi Fei would lose to Kazaru, so he asked Marco to help Yi Fei. Thinking about it now, I still underestimated Yi Fei. Sure enough, not ordinary strong. Whitebeard felt instantly slapped in the face. But this kind of face slapping feeling is really cool, I don't know why. Yi Fei, worthy of being my son. Guys, run up to me and save Ace. Whitebeard Edward Newgate gave a loud shout. Kong Yunchi pointed at naval headquarters with the supreme sharp knife in his hand. Nearly seven meters tall, hockey is exposed. Woohoo! Come on! Comma! With the captains shouting, the morale of the Whitebeard pirates was boosted, and they raised their weapons in response. Meanwhile, on the execution platform, Ace is kneeling on it. At this moment, his mood is extremely complicated. Everyone is trying to save him at all costs. He blamed himself and regretted why he was so impulsive at the beginning, and now he has to use everyone to pay for himself. Especially Luffy, and Yi Fei. Both of them rushed to the forefront. Advertisement. Aside from self-blame, Ace was even more surprised by a person, Yi Fei. Although he had a good relationship with Yi Fei before, he always thought that Yi Fei was just an ordinary crew member. Yi Fei has never been found to have such abilities. Even more surprising is why Yi Fei has the same ability as him. From the few fire abilities he just played against Aokiji, Ace can see that Yi Fei's moves are exactly the same as his. This puzzled him. Previously, when I saw Yi Fei on the boat, I didn't see him use the ability of the fire department. Why suddenly? However, at this moment, he couldn't care less about it. Because, Luffy has rushed over. At this moment, he didn't have time to think so much about Yi Fei. Luffy is his younger brother, who rushed to the scaffold at the risk of saving his life. The purpose of being a big brother is to protect the younger brother. Unexpectedly, I need my brother to save my life. Luffy, I. Ace hesitated to speak, not knowing what to do. Under the execution platform, the cadres of the Revolutionary Army double cut Yimizuna's ability to use fruits, and cut a path from the stone slab. Put it directly on the execution platform. Luffy followed the cut path, desperately rushing towards the execution platform. Kuzan, what are you doing? Hurry up and get rid of that brat. On the execution platform, Marshal Sengoku was quite dissatisfied. Of course, it was dissatisfaction with Aokiji. On weekdays, if you release the water, I turn a blind eye and close one eye, and it will pass. At such a critical juncture, you are still dawdling. Treating the enemy so kindly. Is this what Marines are supposed to do? Marshal Sengoku's words made Aokiji look particularly helpless. Advertisement. You know, he was already very serious when he used the trick of violent pheasant's mouth. Unexpectedly, Yi Fei's strength is not weak at all. It's not that easy to beat. Marshal, I really didn't let the water go this time. Aokiji said he was helpless, he had already taken it seriously, but Sengoku called it a release. Suddenly there was a feeling of being ridiculed. He had no choice but to use all his strength again and release his big move. Ice Age. Aokiji raised it, and two icicles fell instantly from his hand. In an instant, the entire city of Marineford was covered with a thick layer of ice. The ice then spread into Marine Bay. The ice in the bay that was originally melted by Akainu is covered with a thick layer of ice again. In just 10 seconds, the entire naval headquarters, as well as the surrounding sea area within tens of kilometers, were all frozen into ice. 
All marine warships and pirate ships were all immobilized and could not move at all. The whole marine ford, in an instant, turned into a frozen world, shining brightly under the sunlight. This is the strength of marine admiral, it seems that Aokiji is angry. Why is it full of ice cubes? I heard that Aokiji's ice cubes take a week to melt. Are we going to stay here for a week? Our ship is frozen, how will we go back later? We have icebreakers. The ice in Aokiji is very thick, it is difficult for icebreakers to break through, and our knives and guns can't move it. It's okay, we have Ace, and Yi Fei, they all use fire abilities, and they will melt ice cubes in no time. Comma. Many members of the pirate group have put all their hopes on Ace and Yi Fei. But Ace has not been rescued yet. Now, Yi Fei is their only support. At this time, Yi Fei had already jumped into the air. Advertisement. Great Flame Precept Emperor Yan. Yi Fei used all his strength. In the sky, huge spiral flames formed one after another. Then, the spiral flames began to gather, and a huge fireball was formed, getting bigger and bigger. Looking up from bottom to top, it looks like a sun approaching the square. The whole of Marineford is illuminated by this, sun. Everyone sighed. The strongest fire move, at the same time. This, sun, seemed to be drying up the entire square. The super high temperature evaporated the ice cubes above the square. Water vapor rises. The entire square was suddenly extremely hot. Just been frozen into a dog, and now it's about to be baked into a hot dog. In the face of the fruit abilities of these super bosses, the most tragic thing is the miscellaneous fish. Soon, there were people below who couldn't stand the heat. They can withstand the tricks of these big shots, so don't be too pervert. It's too hot, it's too hot. No, I have to lie down on the ice in the bay. Let's run away. This is Ace's strongest move, Yandi. Yi Fei's Emperor Yan is much bigger than Ace's. My darling, help, get out of here. Comma. The members of the Whitebeard Pirates were shocked. They have seen Ace use this move, and they know the power of this move. Therefore, they retreated one after another to avoid being hit by the falling Yan Emperor. Meanwhile, Naval Headquarters soldiers, see this sun in the sky. Immediately frightened too. Chapter 33 Admiral Internal Strife, Emperor Yan Falls. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. What would it be like to be hit by this, son? Many people just sat on the ground, not knowing what to do. The rest of the sailors began to flee desperately. As a marine, you must uphold absolute justice. In front of pirates, you are not allowed to retreat. Akainu was furious, facing the marines who were running back, he ordered loudly. Having just been crushed by Whitebeard, he retreated to the square. Suddenly seeing the marine soldiers running away, I couldn't help but feel angry from my heart. But at this moment, those ordinary sailors don't care about Akainu's orders. Seeing that he was about to be burned to death, wouldn't he run for his life? No one heeded Akainu's order. Instead, he retreated directly from his side. This scene aroused Akainu's anger even more. Those who escaped were all marines. They do not deserve justice. In front of everyone, he directly activated the Lava Lava Fruit ability, and directly cremated several marine soldiers on the spot. Execute on the spot, Sakazuki, what are you doing? In front of his own face, killing marine soldiers, Aokiji couldn't help but fly into a rage. Since the Ohara incident, he has been very dissatisfied with Akainu in his heart. On the surface, they are all marines, but they have long been in a state of opposition in private. This time, he actually killed his own people in front of his own face. I have never seen such a vicious person. Kuzan absolutely cannot accept this. As a marine, you are such a coward who runs away from pirates, you are not worthy of being a marine. Akainu didn't even look at Aokiji. He never sympathizes with the weak. Advertisement. In his mind, wants to govern the marine. Absolute justice must be implemented, that is his lifelong philosophy, and it must not be changed. Only by adhering to absolute justice, they will not be afraid when facing pirates on the battlefield. They are all our companions, but they have their own families. If you kill them directly like this, what should their families do? Aokiji argues. Compared with Akainu, 
he treats Marine soldiers much more tolerantly. Therefore, inside Marine, most low-level soldiers welcome Aokiji more. As a Marine, you must strictly follow orders, and you must never back down in the face of the enemy. Don't you understand this truth? Kuzan, are you objecting to me enforcing Marine's military regulations? Akainu glared. All along, he thought he was stronger than Aokiji. So, Aokiji has to listen to him. Aokiji doesn't think so, though. So what? Sakazuki, we seem to have never dealt with it before. Aokiji looked at him coldly. It has become an indisputable fact that the two are fighting openly and secretly in Marine. It doesn't matter whether you turn your face in public or not. While the two were arguing, Yi Fei's ultimate move, Emperor Yan, falling from the sky. Unbiased. Just hit two people. Boom. A huge fireball fell on the square. The entire square seemed to have become a sea of flames. The two admirals were instantly engulfed in flames. Kuzan Admiral. Sakazuki Admiral. Dot 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 dot. Around. A group of marine soldiers shouted to the two admirals at the same time. Advertisement. It never occurred to them. Yi Fei's big move directly hits the two marine admirals. And their two admirals didn't even have any resistance. On the execution platform, seeing Yi Fei rioting in the square, Marshal Sengoku was so angry that his teeth itch. When the hell are you guys still arguing? Is now the time for infighting? It's really not enough to succeed but more to fail. Sengoku was very angry, but he didn't have time to watch the situation below. Because, trouble has come to him. Just now, Luffy punched Garp down. Now, he is close to the fire fist ace of the execution platform. Sengoku knows very well, just rely on the little bit of strength of the straw hat boy. It's impossible to defeat Garp. So, it must be that Garp couldn't bear to do anything to his grandson. Damn it, damn Garp, being soft-hearted at this moment. You are called a marine hero, how could you do such a thing in front of all the marines? Marine Admiral Sengoku said angrily. Putting Garp against Straw Hat Luffy was the wrong choice, terribly wrong. At this moment, the situation on the battlefield is already unfavorable to Marine. On the square, the Whitebeard pirates made a fuss below, and the sailors on the square were beaten back again and again. The Straw Hat Kid has rushed to the execution platform. Firefist Ace is about to be rescued. At the same time, the morale of the Marine soldiers was extremely low. At this point, I can't stand by and watch. Buddha Sengoku just finished speaking. A golden light illuminated the entire Marine Ford. On the execution platform, Marine's strongest combat power, Marshal Sengoku finally activated his fruit ability. In an instant, a huge Buddha shaped figure appeared on the execution platform accompanied by golden light. It's like the coming of the Buddha. Advertisement. Human fruit. Buddha form. This is the fruit ability of Marine's apex character, Marshal Sengoku. The entire naval headquarters, seething. Marine, whose morale was low, finally saw the Marshal make a move. Suddenly, the fear in my heart disappeared suddenly. Marshal Sengoku shot, like the light in the night, gave them great encouragement. Immediately began to cheer, Marshal Sengoku. The supreme coercion, accompanied by the golden light, spread to every corner of the battlefield. Whitebeard. Um, old man, it's finally done. Marco. What a powerful momentum. Doflamingo. It's getting more and more interesting. Clown buggy. Run for your life, why did I come to this damn place, straw hat kid, I hate you, and that ye fey, why don't you die? Comma. A huge Buddha-shaped figure appeared in front of Luffy and Ace. The golden cloak flutters above the naval headquarters, looking extremely solemn. However, all of this was within Yi Fei's expectation. However, seeing it for the first time, even Yi Fei couldn't help but sigh. The figures standing at the apex of Marine have different auras. Just coercion is already frightening and terrifying. Still, the moment you see Luffy make a rubber balloon, Yi Fei already knew that this time, Luffy can definitely rescue Ace from Sengoku. In the original book, Luffy used a rubber balloon when facing Sengoku's attack. Logically speaking, Sengoku should be able to kill them easily. But only to crush the execution platform. It looks like a bug here. 
But Yi Fei guessed that the purpose of Sengoku should be not to destroy Marineford as naval headquarters. You know, his shock wave is not necessarily weaker than Whitebeard. Whitebeard has had enough of this place, if he comes here a few more times. Maybe the naval headquarters will sink to the bottom of the sea for hundreds of years. Chapter 34 Rescue Ace, Yi Fei scolds Akainu. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Thinking of this, Yi Fei showed a smug smile. Since you're not going to go all out, just wait until Luffy rescues Ace. Boom. Buddha's Sengoku, the huge golden palm has been pressed on top of Luffy's distended belly. The wooden execution platform cannot withstand the shock wave of Sengoku at all. Soon, it collapsed directly. All fell off. At this moment, all the guns of Marine's fleet have been directed at these two brothers. Cannon fire blares. Everything here, and the previous original work, has not changed. The only thing that has changed is that Luffy is unlocked with Boya Hancock's key. In the original book, Luffy's key was interrupted by Kazaru's laser, Mr. Three made a candle key. Because, at this moment, Kazaru is in a decisive battle with Marco, and has no time to take care of Luffy. With the fall of the execution platform, Luffy unlocks Ace's Seastone handcuffs. Then, one after another flame channels were opened. Fire Fist Ace ignited his Fire Fist, took Luffy with him, and jumped down. Luffy, you are too messy, I never thought that one day, you will save me. Fire Fist Ace looked at Luffy in embarrassment. I feel very ashamed. When you were a child, you were being chased by others, but every time I saved you. Unexpectedly, this time it was reversed. You made my big brother very embarrassed. Thank you, Luffy. Now that the sea stone is lifted, it's time for us brothers to have a big fight. Ah uh, ha ha. Luffy pursed his lips, showing his white teeth, and made a smug sound in his throat. This seems to be the first time it has been affirmed by Ace. Advertisement. Since he was a child, he has always been criticized by Ace. This time, he finally got Ace's approval. Immediately, there was a feeling of unspeakable happiness in his heart, which was enough to make him proud for a while. At the same time, he is also excited that he rescued Ace. With the help of Luffy, Ace finally escaped. Of course, things would not have gone so smoothly if Yi Fei hadn't held the two Marine Admirals in check. And the development of things is faster than Yi Fei expected. Is it because of me? Yi Fei thought to himself. Of course, the matter is not over, the next step is the most critical. Although Ace escaped from the execution platform. But it didn't escape Marineford. There are also 100,000 Marines, three admirals, seven warlords of the sea, and too many powerful opponents. Yi Fei knew very well that even at this moment, he couldn't guarantee whether Fire Fist Ace would survive or not. As long as there are people like Akainu relentlessly hunting down. What he wanted to survive was a very difficult thing. At this moment, Yi Fei is already thinking about how to change this situation. Whitebeard pirates, there are still such powerful people, the old man is really blind, I really didn't see it. Just as Yi Fei was thinking about countermeasures, a voice came from behind him. The crew of the Whitebeard Pirates were completely shocked. This person is none other than Marine Admiral Akainu. At this moment, lava was dripping all over his body. After eating Yi Fei's strongest fire-type move, Emperor Yan, he was able to stand up intact. As that human being, Admiral's ability is really too powerful, Yi Fei's fire is useless to him at all. Yi Fei, let's run. Yeah, we've got Ace, we can go now. Comma. Many crew members of Whitebeard have already begun to persuade Yi Fei to retreat. Advertisement. At this moment, Yi Fei also wanted to run away, after all, the opponent was Marine Admiral. As a pirate, he knows that his strength may be difficult to fight against Akainu. However, Yi Fei knew better that Marine's people would not let them go so easily. There is only one way to solve it. You can only fight with them to the end. General Marine is easier. But at the admiral level, it is not an easy task for Yi Fei to defeat them now. Yi Fei knew that the move of Emperor Yan just now would not cause them any harm at all, and the fact proved that. In the original book, it can be seen from the battle between Ace and Akainu that Akainu can easily crush him. 
The reason why the Whitebeard pirates are so powerful. All because of Whitebeard Edward Newgate. This 70-year-old man, after more than half a century of sailing career, still stands at the top of the pirates. That speaks volumes about his status in the Whitebeard pirates. And the Whitebeard pirates, at present, are completely supported by him alone. Although Marco is powerful, his fruit ability also has strong limitations. He alone cannot support the entire pirate group. The same is true for the current Fire Fist Ace. Although he has unlimited development potential, he can't afford to be the leader of the Whitebeard pirates now. Therefore, in the original book, shortly after Whitebeard's death, the Whitebeard pirates were completely defeated. That's really why, Si Akainu looked at himself coldly. Yi Fei didn't back down. At this moment, if he gets back, then, in terms of momentum, he is already a loser. Besides, this is Marineford, it's hard to escape. Little devil, what's your name? Akainu stared at Yi Fei intently. Since the moment the young man blocked Skuyard's knife, he had already noticed Yi Fei. Moreover, just now on stage, he also noticed Yi Fei's fire ability. Not only can you defeat Big Bear, but you can also fight Aokiji. Whitebeard Pirates, Yi Fei. Advertisement. Yi Fei carried the mace on his shoulders, and said Kaido faintly. As a pirate who knows the plot of the original book, Yi Fei is very aware of Akainu's ability. The destructive ability of lava lava fruit far exceeds that of frozen fruit. Even if you add your own burning fruit to Ace's Mara Mara fruit, you can't restrain it. Otherwise, the big move Yandi just now had already cost him his life. Now that he is intact, it means that the flame has no effect on him. This is just as Akainu himself admitted in the original book, the flame is not worth mentioning in front of his magma. Pirate, do you think you are honored to call yourself a pirate? It's just a group of ants who are chasing profit. For your own benefit, plundering everywhere, and thinking that you are sticking to your dream, it is ridiculous to the extreme. Akainu let out a low-pitched sarcasm. As Marine Admiral, he hates pirates extremely. In my heart, I never want to completely defeat them. Hearing this, Yi Fei sneered. How much honor is there for your absolute justice? In order to achieve his own goals, he can kill his subordinates as enemies, what honor can he talk about? Marine's justice is not for you to wait for the juniors to understand. Your name is Yi Fei, right, if you are willing to quit the Whitebeard pirates now. Join Marine and kill Whitebeard with me. The old man will let you go, and will let you be the old man's right-hand man. Hearing this, Yi Fei's expression changed drastically. Want me to be Marine and kill Whitebeard? Has this person's brain been kicked by a donkey? Ridiculous. After laughing, Yi Fei immediately cursed. Red Dog, what do you think of me, Yi Fei? Red Dog, although I, Yi Fei, have no skills. But I definitely don't have the idea of being a traitor. You scum of the Marine, you are not qualified to submit me. Comma. Chapter 35 The Strongest Man Wants to Escape. Yi Fei's Determination. Yi Fei yelled, and the Marines were stunned. You know, Akainu is their awe inspiring Marine Admiral. No one has ever dared to speak such wild words to awe. Even Sengoku dare not directly scold Akainu like this. What's more, the one named Yi Fei is still eating a red dog, red dog. You nameless pirate, you obviously don't want to live anymore. Facing Yi Fei's scolding, Akainu's face became more and more gloomy. For the first time, I was scolded by someone in front of Red Dog, and in front of all Marines. He was so angry there. But Akainu didn't throw a tantrum as usual. Instead, he looked at Yi Fei with a low tone. Young man, your career as a pirate will end today. It is a pity that you will die in your twenties. I am a very famous Marine at your time. Akainu's raised right hand still turned into hot magma. He has already made up his mind that he must completely erase this young man named Yi Fei from this world. Then try it out. Yi Fei responded, smashing the mace in his hand on the ground, and a crack opened in the square. To deal with Akainu lava lava fruit, it is no longer necessary to use the ability to burn fruit. The death of Ace in the original book has already told Yi Fei. Lava lava fruit that is magma from deep underground, belonging to Logia. The temperature of the fire can never be surpassed. Not only that, 
but even with shock fruit's whitebeard, it's hard to kill a kainu. That's the scary thing about lava lava fruit. Even if it hits, it's useless, and it's a waste of energy. The fire element didn't work for him. Then, only Zone's ability and Kaido's tricks can be used. Thunder 8 Trigrams. This is currently the only S-level move that Yifei has mastered. Against Logia, Yifei with Haki can naturally hit a Kainu. Just now, I used it once when fighting seven warlords of the Sea Bartholomew the Great Bear. Advertisement. But it didn't have the effect Yifei expected. Although I don't know if it will work, Yifei decided to try his luck. Just when the two were about to go to war, on the square not far away, a bell-like voice came again. Sons, our purpose has been achieved, now it is time for us to flee. New world is our world. Whitebeard's voice resounded throughout the battlefield. Hearing this, everyone was taken aback. But soon, all the pirates reacted. Immediately, he raised his weapon in response to Whitebeard's decision. Woohoo! Finally leaving damn Marineford. Father, let's go back to New World, where is our territory? Marine, make way for us. Comma. All the pirates cheered endlessly. One after another, they turned around and ran towards the bay. All the marines were dumbfounded. Escape. How could Whitebeard run away? Is he such a person? That's the man who aspires to the pirate world, how could he say escape from his mouth? That virtue of the so-called strongest man in the world. Rumor has it that Whitebeard never said the word, run away. All the wounds on his body were caused by facing the enemy head on. And on the back, there is no wound. He has always faced the enemy head on and never fled. Advertisement. This time, he acted as a coward. This is something no Marine expected. Of course, Whitebeard had his own agenda. After all, this is Marineford, and Marine's strength is really too strong. Even if he doesn't have to think about himself, he has to think about all the crew members. Ace has been rescued, and now, as long as they return to the base camp of New World, Marine will have nothing to do with them. Although it was to escape in name, in fact, they didn't want the entire pirate group to suffer huge losses. At the same time, Marineford's video phone bug broadcast the escape of the Whitebeard pirates in the entire Summit War to the whole world live. Marine, what are you all doing? Actually let these vicious pirates escape. 100,000 marines, you actually let them escape. Damn, don't let the whitebeard pirates escape. Comma. All the crowd is shouting that the whitebeard pirates cannot escape. Marine Admiral Sengoku was also itchy with anger. Marineford has been the marine headquarters for hundreds of years. He was completely unrecognizable by the whitebeard pirates. Moreover, Ace was rescued by them. This is naval headquarters, come and go if you want. If this spread, wouldn't it make people laugh out loud? 100,000 marines, 3 admirals, 7 warlords of the sea. These are the strongest combat forces in the world at present. Let them escape. Where is the face of the headquarters marine fort? Where is marine's face? What is the face of the world government? Where is the face of justice? It's not that easy. Sailors, never let the pirates escape. Pursue immediately. Advertisement. Sengoku immediately gave the order to pursue. At the same time, Akainu, who was preparing to fight Yifei, also received orders from Sengoku. Son of the great pirate Roger, son of the revolutionary dragon, must be executed. After Akainu said, the lava lava fruit ability was activated. For Akainu, Luffy and Ace are the root of pirate's evil. There is sinful blood flowing in their bodies. Only by killing them all can the pirates in the world be completely deterred. Then he dropped Yifei and flew directly towards Fire Fist Ace and Luffy. In his opinion, Yifei does not need to be eliminated, but the pair of brothers must be executed. Meanwhile, Admiral Aokiji, Admiral Kazaru, have also flown to Whitebeard. The scene in front of him made Yifei feel very nervous. For Yifei, it is both strange and familiar. In the original book, Ace sacrificed himself to save Luffy because of Akainu's pursuit. This is what Yifei is most worried about. I absolutely cannot let this happen again. Yifei secretly made up his mind. Immediately, he raised his mace and followed Akainu. For the first time, Yifei is determined to pursue the extremely powerful Marine Admiral. 
If this was before, it would have been impossible. But this time, Yi Fei is determined to do it. It is impossible for anyone to change his will. At the same time, the members of the Whitebeard Pirates have begun to flee the square one after another, heading towards the bay. There, there are already several icebreakers waiting for everyone. Navigable waterways have been carved out of the ice. Now it's time for everyone to get on board. Whitebeard, Marco is facing off against Admiral Aokiji and Kazaru for a break. Meanwhile, Firefist Ace and Straw Hat Luffy are fighting the Marine soldiers. The entire battlefield fell into fierce fighting again. Chapter 36 Ace's Weakness of Character, Akainu's Shocking Method. Ace, back, Luffy yelled. These people are not our opponents. Ace doesn't think so. At the same time, the fire ability has already been activated, and the whole body is burning with raging flames. I just saw everyone lamenting their own incompetence in order to save themselves. Now that Seastone's handcuffs have been lifted, it's like a beast coming out of the cage, just so that he can show his hands and feet to make up for the guilt in his heart. So, he naturally wanted to make a big fuss. However, just now, Ace has also heard Dad's call. Ace could only carry out his father's orders, and immediately began to quickly deal with the miscellaneous fish around him. Prepare to escape. Under the seamless cooperation of the two brothers. Ace. Luffy solved some of Marine's miscellaneous fish at a very fast speed. Ace, let's run and get back to the boat. Luffy shouted from the front. Today, his mission is to free Ace. This goal, in his view, has been achieved. Now is the best time to escape. Luffy, when did you become so timid? Aren't you going to be the man of one piece, you can't be so timid. Ace scratched his head and responded with a look of disdain. I am a Mara Mara fruit capable user with the power of Shichibukai. Luffy, you underestimate your big brother too. This kid used to always want to be the pirate king in front of him. This is not the case. One piece, I'm determined. Advertisement. Luffy argues, while punching a marine flying. Although Luffy wants to be the one piece, it's really not the time to be a hero, and he doesn't have the strength right now. At this point, Luffy is still very clear that he is not arrogant to that extent. In order to save Ace just now, Luffy can do everything, so it doesn't matter if he sacrifices himself. But now the goal has been achieved, and Ace has been saved by himself. It doesn't make any sense to stay in Marineford and spend time with this group of people. He still has to go to sea. So, Luffy changed his mind. Now, the most important thing is to escape and save your life. Forget it, I won't argue with you. Ace spread his hands and was about to run away with Luffy. At this moment, he seemed to be unaware that danger was approaching him from behind. Marine Admiral Akainu has already led people to catch up. A few streaks of magma passed by, and some members of the Whitebeard Pirates running behind were immediately reduced to ashes. These people didn't even have a chance to shout. As soon as Ace is rescued, you retreat immediately. The Whitebeard Pirates are really a bunch of cowards. From behind, Akainu deliberately taunted Ace Luffy who was running away. You two don't care so much, run quickly. Hexia Jinbei said to the two brothers while running. This is obvious and the simplest method of aggressiveness. At this moment, he was worried that the two of them would be fooled by Akainu. Seeing that Ace didn't look back, Akainu continued to say loudly. The captain is that kind of virtue, and the crew below are not so good. At the end of the day, Whitebeard is nothing more than a loser from a previous era. Akainu deliberately raised his voice. As soon as these words came out, Fire Fist Ace, who was running away, immediately stopped when he heard these words. Loser. Ace replied coldly, with a calm expression, but he couldn't hide the anger in his heart. Before joining the Whitebeard Pirates, Ace challenged Whitebeard several times in order to show his strength and wanted to take off his head. But since contacting Whitebeard, he felt the strength and openness of Whitebeard. Advertisement. Even if he didn't want to kill him all the time, Papa Whitebeard already regarded him as one of his own. From then on, he had the idea of helping Whitebeard become the One Piece. Now, someone actually whispers in their own ears that Papa Whitebeard is a loser. How could he bear this bad breath? Ace categorically never agrees. So, he stopped. Oops. Yi Fei, 
who followed Akainu, felt his heart tighten when he saw this scene. Ace fell for Akainu's tricks. If he's just trying to run away, then, there is still a possibility of escaping. Once stopped, then, Ace will face great danger. Ace. Luffy looked at Ace, at this moment, he wanted to run away with Ace. At this point, Luffy is still very smart. If you know you can't beat it, run away. Yi Fei, who is familiar with the original work, knows it very well. Ace's biggest weakness is that he is too impulsive, and sometimes he even loses his mind because of it. This can be seen from the killing of Sage, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates' fourth team. After getting the news that Sage was killed, Ace, the first time, is going to hunt down Blackbeard Teach in a small boat. Despite Whitebeard's efforts to stop him, Ace is determined to go. This shows that Ace is a very impulsive person. Also, some at war, being told by Akainu, decides to go against him. That means that when he is impulsive, he doesn't think about the opponent's strength at all. Such a person is easy to suffer. This time, a few irrelevant words from Akainu. But it had a fatal effect on Ace. Just hit his weak point. Advertisement. Take back what you just said. Fire Fist Ace has already clenched his fist, glaring at Akainu and said. He stood there motionless. He even ignored Luffy's dissuasion behind him. Take it back. This old man will never take it back. Akainu shook his head triumphantly. Ace didn't run away, just fell for him. He just wants to keep Fire Fist Ace, and Luffy. As long as Ace and Luffy don't leave, then I can kill them. In order to completely piss off Ace, Akainu began a tirade. As the old man wrong, your father Roger conquered the Grand Line, and with his own life, opened the era of great pirates. As Marine's old man, his words are a bit inappropriate, but he is indeed worthy of the title of Pirate King. Compared to him, does Whitebeard have the courage to fight Roger to the death? Hiding in one place, became the king of the mountain, conquered some irrelevant pirates, and then came to be a hero, I really laughed out loud. When Roger was alive, Whitebeard could only live in his shadow, and after his death, he was just a quiet corner. Is this kind of person worthy of being called One Piece? He will never be as good as Roger, will always be a loser. Comma, to shut up, Ace ignited his fiery fist and walked quietly towards Akainu. Whitebeard has always been his god. It cannot be desecrated by anyone. But Akainu insulted dad again and again. He couldn't accept it anyway. Ace, don't talk to him. Akainu is trying to provoke you on purpose. Yes, Ace, as long as we go back, everything will be fine. Chapter 37 Sudden Sneak Attack, Akainu Confused. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Some of the Whitebeard crew, though they can't get used to Akainu's words. But they all knew that it was just Akainu's aggressive method. Of course, they won't be fooled themselves, the only thing they worry about is the Fire Fist Ace. They knew that Ace would never allow anyone to speak ill of Whitebeard. However, their persuasion is not effective for Ace. At this moment, Ace has no way to keep calm. He still walked towards Akainu without hesitation. Did I say something wrong? Akainu spread his hands. Seeing Ace walking towards him, Akainu was overjoyed. My own goal is finally about to be achieved. As long as he comes over. Then, the next thing will be completely under his control. When? Just when Akainu was secretly complacent and was about to continue to provoke Ace. Behind him, a mace hit him directly on the head. After a bang, Akainu was knocked over immediately, flew up into the air, and spun twice in the air before falling to the ground. What? Akainu screamed. On the side, everyone dropped their jaws in shock. Admiral Akainu was actually beaten away. Sakazuki Admiral. The Marines exclaimed. It was hard for them to imagine that their most powerful Marine Admiral would be knocked to the ground. Yi Fei. Woohoo. Well done. It's so cool. Yi Fei. Give him a few more. The members of the Whitebeard Pirates exclaimed. That's right. With the mace, it was Yi Fei who attacked. Just now, he was following Akainu. The stick hit Akainu's head impartially from behind. Although attacking someone from behind is not a hero. Also, the behavior is a bit nasty. However, Yi Fei does not want to be a hero. Advertisement. Besides, 
The person who hit him was still Akainu. Just be happy. Who is attacking this old man? Akainu quickly stood up from the ground. Who the hell did this? Sneak attack from behind. No martial arts. Immediately, he touched his forehead. There, a streak of bright red blood appeared on the palm of his hand. Suddenly, Akainu was a little shocked. I actually bleed. I'm injured. You know, as a Logia lava lava fruit, he is rarely injured by others. In Marine, apart from Sengoku and Garp, no one is his opponent. Just now, in the fight against Whitebeard, it was only a slight injury, and he didn't suffer any substantial damage at all. Now, he was actually beaten out of blood. Me. There was a sneer on the corner of Yi Fei's mouth. The move just now was Thunder 8 Trigrams. It also happened to take advantage of Akainu's attention, all on ace. Only then did he aim at the opportunity and gave him a stick. However, despite Yi Fei's great efforts, it was a pity that he could not be killed directly. But Admiral is so easy to deal with. This point, Yi Fei is naturally very clear. You. There was extreme shock in Akainu's eyes. Just now, he thought Whitebeard was behind the sneak attack. In the end, it turned out to be a young man in his twenties. Soon, Akainu remembered. This is the young man who just attacked him and Aokiji with his fire ability. Also, just now on the Moby Dick, this guy made his plan fail. His name is Yi Fei. Akainu finally remembered. Yes. Yi Fei laughed. Advertisement. Facing Admiral, Yi Fei still had some doubts in his heart. You know, in the Whitebeard Pirates, except for Whitebeard, no one is Akainu's opponent. It is conceivable how powerful this person is. In the sneak attack just now, Yi Fei had almost used his full strength. And Akainu was just knocked to the ground, but not defeated. Little ghost, are you looking for death? Akainu asked with a serious face. However, for this young man who could injure him, he couldn't help but feel a little shocked. It should be that he didn't pay attention just now, and was attacked by him. That's why he got hurt. Because I didn't pay attention at all. However, being injured by a brat made Akainu very embarrassed. To restore his dignity, he must be wiped out. Yi Fei, what are you doing? You don't run fast. As soon as Akainu finished speaking, Ace shouted desperately behind him. Just now on the execution platform, Ace also saw Yi Fei's ability. But want to deal with Akainu. It's not that easy. And, this time, Yi Fei rushed up suddenly. It made Ace feel very guilty. You know, he has already fought many people in order to cooperate with Luffy to save himself. Now it's time to face Akainu again. Ace is very excited. Previously, on the boat, Ace and Yi Fei also often drank together. Although there is a big gap in strength, the two are still like friends. Now, Ace doesn't want to see Yi Fei take risks for himself. Immediately, Akainu's aggressive generals also began to return to some rationality. Now, he started to worry about Yi Fei. Ace, if you don't run, why should I run? Yi Fei smiled slightly and asked back. In fact, he wanted to leave. But if he goes like this, Ace will definitely die. Because Ace will never go. Whether as a pirate or a sea fan, Yi Fei does not want to see this result. Advertisement. So, he stayed. At this moment, Yi Fei wanted to gamble whether his self healing ability would be effective in front of Akainu. Idiot, you're going to die like this. Ace shouted excitedly. Ace knows a little about Akainu's abilities. He just wanted to desperately maintain Whitebeard's dignity. That's why I dare to fight with Akainu. But Yi Fei, what are you doing here? Ace, you underestimate me, I won't die. You take Luffy and hurry away. Yi Fei laughed. From the perspective of strength, Yi Fei knows that there is still a certain gap between himself and Akainu. But the god level selection system has a powerful self healing ability. At this moment, Yi Fei really wants to know if he can survive against Akainu. Yi Fei, if you don't leave, do I have the courage to leave? Ace calmed down slowly. Run away by yourself and let others break the air. Today, Papa Whitebeard brought everyone to save himself. There have been many casualties. Ace already felt very guilty. If it wasn't for my own impulsiveness at the beginning, regardless of the dissuasion of others, I would go to catch Blackbeard Marshall Teach. 
Things didn't develop to this point at all. Now, Yi Fei is left alone to deal with Akainu again. This makes Ace, how dare he escape. Although, he is not a hypocritical person, but as a man, he must not leave. You, Yi Fei felt helpless. Based on what I know about Ace, he won't leave. Ace is a person who is easily dominated by emotion. Under such circumstances, Yi Fei knew that it was impossible for him to leave. Since he didn't want to leave, Yi Fei didn't want to say too much. This is the character of Fire Fist Ace. He has no way to change it. I just feel that Ace is here, and I can't let go. Chapter 38 Dark Hound, Facing the Enemy Head On. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Have you finished talking between you? He actually ignored the existence of the old man. Everyone who was here today, don't leave. Behind the two, a voice suddenly came. It was Marine Admiral Akainu who spoke. At this moment, his whole body has turned into boiling hot magma. He could already hear the conversation between Ace and Yifei clearly. The two of them didn't pay much attention to him. As a Marine Admiral, he was actually ignored by two brats. This feeling is not only a great shame, it is simply a great shame. Akainu was covered with magma dripping. The people around him already felt the scorching heat. Standing beside him is like standing on the crater of a volcano. Sakazuki Admiral is really angry. Seeing this, all the marines backed away in fright. They had seen Akainu activate his strength. To be stained with a drop of that fiery magma would be death or injury. The two young men in front of them have completely touched Akainu's back scales. Dark Hound. Akainu's raised right arm turned into a long arm of magma and hit Yi Fei and Ace directly. Both of you step back. Yi Fei let out a loud cry. Waving the mace in his hand, he was directly ready to meet Akainu's Dark Hound. Boom. The magma was hit by the mace and splashed everywhere. The people around avoided him one after another. Some were only slightly stained by magma, and their bodies immediately burst into flames, and then were directly swallowed by the fire. In the original pirate work, Akainu's big move Dark Hound, in the original comics, once knocked off half of Whitebeard's face. It is conceivable how powerful this trick is. You know, that's Whitebeard. The four emperors who dominate the new world are known as the strongest men in the world. Advertisement. With half of his face knocked off, what a terrifying existence. The hot air waves of magma hit Yi Fei head on. Even Ace and Luffy, who were behind him, retreated instinctively. They can also feel how terrifying this trick is. As expected of an admiral level existence. At that moment, Ace realized how big the gap was between himself and Akainu. There is basically no way to escape against him. At the same time, he marveled at Yi Fei's strength. Young man, with good strength, can block the old man's dark hound. Being blocked by Yi Fei, Akainu was a little surprised. The magma above the arm, like a viscous liquid, slowly fell. Today, it's the second guy besides Whitebeard who can stop him. This young man, the fruit is extraordinary. No wonder why he was able to catch Aokiji's attack just now. Moreover, he can successfully injure himself. Although the injury was not serious, his self-esteem made him unacceptable. You know, it turned twice in the sky. Humph. Yi Fei snorted coldly. The hot magma was less than half a meter away from him. Yi Fei could feel the increasingly strong aura. This is still under the condition that he has the fire ability. Can feel extremely hot. The ability of lava lava fruit is indeed much stronger than the fire element. Soon, the fiery red magma liquid directly submerged the mace in Yi Fei's hand. The whole mace is extremely hot. Yi Fei also felt that he couldn't hold it. This is magma. All of a sudden, Yi Fei understood why in the original book, even if Ace turned his body into an element, it was useless. However, if you want to be the old man's opponent, you are still a little tender. Akainu had an evil smile on his lips. At this moment, he obviously felt that Yi Fei was struggling. Advertisement. Sure enough, it was still too young. After all, the magma on Akainu's arm suddenly magnified several times. Overwhelmingly rushed towards Yi Fei. It has the meaning of completely melting Yi Fei. Fire punch. Behind Yi Fei, Fire Fist Ace finally couldn't stand it anymore. 
If he doesn't make a move again, then, Yi Fei will most likely be burned by magma. The fire fist was punched out, and a huge ball of flames fell from the sky and hit Akainu. Your fire is nothing in front of the old man's magma. The old man's fire is the magma of hell. Akainu stood in the flames and answered dismissively. Ace's fire fist couldn't hurt him at all. Facing Ace's fire fist, he didn't even dodge. Great flame precept Emperor Yan. Ace used his strongest move again. The old man said, you are useless at all. Surrounded by flames, Akainu scolded loudly. He has a feeling of being underestimated by Ace. Canine Red Lotus. In the flames, a blood-red magma dog's head rushed out directly. Attack on Ace. While dealing with Yi Fei, at the same time, dealing with Ace. Akainu is more than capable. Such is the power of Marine Admiral Akainu. Ace, be careful. Resisting the hot Yi Fei, he reminded loudly. At the same time, I have to feel amazed in my heart. Akainu also has the ability to attack Ace when dealing with himself. It is enough to show that his title of admiral is definitely not for nothing. Although Ace's burning fruit is also Logia's. But facing lava lava fruit, his fire ability is basically at the level of kindergarten. Advertisement. Soon, as Yi Fei expected, Akainu's canine red lotus directly swallowed Ace's, Emperor Yan. Ace's move was instantly deciphered. The scarlet magma dog headed straight for Ace. Ace. Luffy yelled. Hateful. Ace was startled into a cold sweat, and it was difficult for him to move his body quickly in midair. It was about to be hit by the red dog's head. A long hand directly grabbed Ace's hand. Luffy suddenly used the ability of rubber fruit. Magma dog heads fly by. Although it didn't hit Ace's vitals directly, the crimson dog-toothed lotus hit Ace's calf. Whoosh. Ace is saved by Luffy. What? Ace fell to the ground. His calf was hit, and the pain was excruciating. I can't help but feel a little surprised. Just now, it was obvious that the body was elementalized. Still got hit. Fortunately, this time Luffy pulled him back. Otherwise, he would be directly hit by the canine tooth red lotus. If you don't die, you probably won't even think about going to sea in this life. Seeing Ace fell to the ground, Luffy quickly helped him up. However, Ace's calf was still hit by Akainu and he was unable to stand up. Luffy had no choice but to hold his arm, looking nervous. It's okay. Luffy asked nervously. Luffy, I. Ace endured the burning pain, not waiting to speak. On the side, Yi Fei suddenly said loudly to Luffy. Luffy, quickly take Ace away. Yi Fei knew very well that if Ace made another move, it would only be Akainu's prey. Chapter 39 Hit the missing Yi Fei. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. So, he wants Luffy to take Ace away immediately. Luffy hesitated for a moment. Although he really doesn't want to leave, and he also really wants to fight with Yi Fei. But their strength is indeed far from Akainu's. Yi Fei can still resist, but the two of them can't at all. Staying here might affect Yi Fei. Yi Fei, thank you. Luffy said gratefully. If Yi Fei doesn't make a move, with Big Brother Ace's temper, he might die here today. At this moment, he just wants to take away Ace who likes to make trouble. Don't talk nonsense, let's go. Yi Fei shouted, don't delay me. Seeing this, Luffy had no choice but to drag Ace forward. Luffy, don't pull me. Yi Fei is still fighting, I can't just leave. Ace wanted to struggle desperately but the injury on his foot was already serious. The calf was severely burned. Couldn't stand at all. Even under such circumstances, Ace didn't want to go at all. Ace. Luffy yelled angrily. Immediately, it didn't matter that Ace was struggling. He picked him up directly and ran back. Son of Roger, son of the dragon. You don't want to escape from the hands of the old man. The flames on the ground dissipated, and Akainu's whole body has turned into a magma form. Great eruption. Akainu stretched out his left and right arms and aimed at the two Ace Luffy brothers. Advertisement. Fiery magma fists hit the two of them directly. It was about to hit the two of them. A light blue wing blocked the back of the two brothers. We managed to rescue Ace, but we can't just let someone kill him. Protecting Ace is also Marco's task. 
The captain of the first team, Marco, saw the timing and activated the ability of the Phoenix to block Akainu's attack. The Phoenix fruit has super recovery ability. Even in this situation, Akainu can only be resisted temporarily, and there is no way to repel him at all. This group of miscellaneous fish keeps popping up. Akainu said impatiently. In his eyes, Marco is just a bastard, and he has no strength to fight against him. At this time, his right hand was still fighting against Yi Fei, and it was really troublesome to deal with two groups of people at the same time. The young man in front of him really annoyed him too much. Immediately, the arm exerted force again. A mountain of magma hit Yi Fei. At this moment, Yi Fei finally couldn't bear the heat anymore. At this moment, his mace was almost scalded red by the magma. If you don't back down, your hands will probably be destroyed soon. Immediately, Yi Fei lifted the mace and jumped into the air. Looking at the mace in his hand again, his head has been burned red. When it comes to the handle, Yi Fei only felt that his palms were hot. Immediately, Yi Fei threw the mace into the air and let it cool down before speaking. After taking the mace again, the temperature has dropped. You can escape from the hands of the old man, Yi Fei, you have some skills. Akainu looked at Yi Fei who jumped into the air and was falling slowly. The corner of his mouth raised slightly. But then, what do you do next? Dark Hound. Akainu, who was standing on the ground, aimed his arm full of magma at Yi Fei who was falling. At this moment, Yi Fei is in the air, there is no way to avoid it. Advertisement. Now is the best time to attack. As soon as Akainu finished speaking, the magma arm turned into a long stream of magma and blasted towards Yi Fei. Everyone was taken aback. There is no foothold in the air, and being aimed at is tantamount to a living target. Yi Fei, the captain of the first team, Marco, was also terrified. At this moment, it is impossible for him to fly over to resist Akainu's Dark Hound. Dark Hound's flying speed is not weaker than him at all. Suddenly, he remembered Papa Whitebeard's words. Be sure to keep Yi Fei alive. But now, he was too late to save Yi Fei. Akainu's dark hound has flown over. Yi Fei should have no way to escape. Suddenly, Marco suddenly felt a burst of sadness. Captain Yi Fei, all the crew members of the Whitebeard pirates shouted from the ground. Meanwhile, Akainu's dark hound has approached Yi Fei. Just when everyone thought Yi Fei was about to be hit. Whoosh. Suddenly, Yi Fei disappeared into the air. Everyone turned pale. How is this possible? Yi Fei is missing. Yi Fei, member of the Whitebeard Pirates, shouted from below. Even Marco, Luffy, and Ace on the side were shocked. A big living person has disappeared. This made no one think of it. Nani, Akainu was secretly taken aback. He really thought that this move would hit Yi Fei directly. Advertisement but he clearly felt that his fist did not hit the opponent. He must have escaped. But how did he escape? Take advantage of Moonwalk. Or shaved. Even with Moonwalk, it can't be that fast. Moreover, Moonwalk is a type of Marine Six Styles. He's just a pirate, so he shouldn't be able to do this kind of trick. Akainu doesn't understand. At this moment, the sky suddenly dimmed. A huge dark cloud covered the sky over naval headquarters. Suddenly, the entire island was shrouded in dark shadows. Garp, it looks like there's a big guy coming up. Marshal Sengoku, looking gravely at the dark clouds in the sky. In the dark clouds, there seems to be a powerful and mysterious force. Um, I saw it. Hero Garp looked up. Standing on the stage, he already felt the extremely strong momentum. Immediately afterwards, in the dark clouds, a bolt of lightning flashed across the clouds, and a huge thunder resounded throughout the naval headquarters. Then, one after another roared in the clouds. Everyone looked up at the sky, and a familiar figure appeared in the sky. That's Yi Fei. Immediately, everyone was stunned. Marshal Sengoku. It's still him. Hero Garp. It seems that we are all abandoned by the times, this world already belongs to young people. Whitebeard. Kuralala, my eyesight is unmistakable. Marco. This kid. Gecko Moria. Kaido. Boa Hancock. Is this guy Luffy's big brother? Admiral Akainu. Too surprised me, this man is much more dangerous than Roger's son, the dragon's son. 
Chapter 40 Activation of Fruit Ability, Dragon Form. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Just as everyone was shocked, Yi Fei, who stayed in midair, smiled slightly and looked down. Look across the square. At that moment, he was almost hit by a kainu. Fortunately, he used the ability of the dragon fruit and flew into the air. Look at the dark clouds overhead. Yi Fei also felt a little puzzled. Could it be that launching the dragon fruit would have this effect? Just when Yi Fei was puzzled, in my mind, the voice of the system came again. Ding. Open black lens bracket host successfully evades Admiral Akainu's trick dark hound close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket host combat ability improvement close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket reward host hockey ability improvement close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket congratulations to host for getting armament hockey. Advanced close black lens bracket. Congratulations to host for obtaining observation hockey. Advanced. Open black lens bracket congratulations to host for obtaining conqueror's hockey. Advanced close black lens bracket. Comma. Immediately, Yi Fei froze there. How long did it take to bind the god level selection system? Three kinds of hockey have been upgraded to advanced level. Moreover, it is still an automatic upgrade. Can auto upgrade in battle. Too awesome. As expected of a god level system, Yi Fei couldn't help admiring it. Seeing the following, everyone's eyes gathered on him. Yi Fei smiled slightly. At this moment, his self confidence is bursting. Three kinds of hockey, all reached advanced state. Well, now, it's time to test my abilities. Red dog, show me a good look. Yi Fei said secretly. Originally, Conqueror's hockey was only intermediate. It's still tough against Akainu. But now that he has been promoted to a senior level, Yi Fei obviously feels a little different from himself just now. Advertisement. As for where, he couldn't say, but the feeling was getting better and better. All of a sudden, Yi Fei felt in control of everything. Conqueror's hockey is in battle, advanced to high rank. So, can you fight it? After all, Yi Fei activated the ability of Dragon Fruit again. As soon as the fruit's ability was activated, Yi Fei felt his body seemed to be stretched. The hands and feet are also changing. I'm going to be a dragon. Am I really going to be a dragon? Yi Fei was indescribably excited. Just when Yi Fei was secretly complacent. In the naval headquarters square, everyone was dumbfounded. They saw with their own eyes that Yi Fei was slowly turning into a dragon. Damn, what a troublesome guy. Sengoku gritted his teeth. At this moment, he realized that the situation had changed dramatically. This opponent, who came out of nowhere, became stronger and more troublesome. Yi Fei is Kaido. Run away, it's really Kaido. Gecko Moria, a pigu, was sitting on the ground, terrified. More than 10 years ago, Gecko Moria had a war with Kaido. All the subordinates were slaughtered by Kaido. And he himself was almost wiped out. That battle was unforgettable for him all his life, and it was also a lingering nightmare in his life. See this dragon in the sky. Gecko Moria, the past is vivid in his mind. Naturally, he was quite frightened. Governor Kaido. Shichibukai. Doflamingo was also taken aback. As the liaison of the Dark World, Doflamingo and Kaido's abilities are relatively familiar. Moreover, recently, people from Kaido have been in contact with him. Hope to increase the production of devil fruit. At present, the two parties have developed a good cooperative relationship. He came to Marineford. No, it's not. Doflamingo shook his head immediately and quickly realized. Advertisement. It can't be Governor Kaido. Kaido's dragon form is a blue dragon. And the dragon in the sky is golden yellow. Very different. Who is this? Who is this? Doflamingo almost broke his head, but couldn't understand it. What he doesn't know is that the dragon is Yi Fei who killed himself with a gun in the first place. Of course, he thought he was just hitting a trash fish. The miscellaneous fish that can't be remembered at all. However, Doflamingo never imagined that that shot would make him regret for the rest of his life. At the same time, Whitebeard was stunned, and after realizing it, he began to laugh triumphantly. He had already seen that Yi Fei was hiding his strength. But I didn't expect to hide so much. Father, what's the matter? 
Marco the Phoenix, jumped to Whitebeard. He looked up at the sky in shock. He couldn't believe that Yi Fei was the dragon in the sky. Yi Fei, my son, you really did not disappoint me. Cool la 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 la. The times have abandoned us old men, and we, the remnants of the old days, have no way to be accepted by the world. This era belongs to young people. Whitebeard laughed. This means that he is old. But he said it with a smile. From the bottom of his heart, he felt very happy. The Whitebeard pirates finally have a successor. This is Whitebeard's greatest comfort. Dad, Yi Fei is really different from before. Did he eat the same fruit as Kaido? Marco looked at the golden dragon in the sky. This is really similar to Kaido's ability. However, Kaido belongs to the blue dragon form. Also, what about the ability of the fire element? Could it be that Yi Fei can imitate all fruit abilities? Or some other reason? Advertisement. That's right. Do you still think he can't be the fourth captain? Whitebeard glanced at Marco standing at his feet, and asked proudly. Compared with Marco's random guess, Whitebeard values Yi Fei more. Dad, don't laugh at me. Marco looked extremely embarrassed. Originally, Dad asked Yi Fei to be the captain of the fourth division, and he was still a little puzzled. But now it seems that Yi Fei's ability is not only qualified for the position of captain. At least he can be the deputy captain. You can set up another mountain. At the same time, Firefist Ace being carried away by Luffy. Also looking at the sky in shock, the two stopped unconsciously. That golden dragon is Yi Fei. Yi Fei. Ace was completely stunned, he already had pain in his leg at this moment. He couldn't even imagine how Yi Fei got the ability. No wonder you are so confident. Let yourself run away. In the sky, Yi Fei transformed into a dragon. Dragon Claw grabbed the clouds and swam in the sky. He who has just transformed is not quite used to this form. You have to get used to it first. Looking at his body, he felt that it was hundreds of meters long. Yi Fei never thought that one day, he would become a dragon. And now, he actually became a dragon. The feeling of being transformed into a dragon is really different. All of a sudden, Yi Fei felt in control of everything. Waving his body and wagging his tail, the gust of wind whizzed past, accompanied by several lightning bolts, stirring up the dark clouds. No wonder Kaido is so arrogant, that's right. All muzzles, aim to the sky. Marshal Sengoku puts the golden phone bug to his mouth and gives the battle order. This dragon is so crazy. After getting the order, above the square, the cannon that was aimed at the pirate ship rose rapidly. Turn the cannon head and point it directly at the golden dragon in the sky. 9%. Chapter 41 Sengoku's Order, Garp is finally going to attack Yi Fei. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Whoosh. 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 Under Sengoku's command, one shell after another blasted towards the golden dragon like a storm. Tornado. Yi Fei in the form of a dragon directly stirred his body. A series of tornadoes stirred around his body. Those approaching shells, just hit the tornado. It was directly stirred up and danced all over the sky. Then, take advantage of the trend and go straight down. Boom. Boom. A shell fell to the ground. Burst. Countless explosions sounded in the square. All of a sudden, people turned their backs on the square. The marine soldiers were completely frightened by this scene. It was originally intended to deal with Yi Fei's shells, but it made them suffer endlessly. Asshole, this guy really likes to make as much noise as Kaido. Sengoku gritted his teeth. This is how Kaido messed around in Marine's territory before. Unexpectedly, this time there was another, Kaido, again. And Akainu, who had just stood there, was also stunned. He didn't expect that Yi Fei could turn into a dragon. Wait until he reacts. The first thought is, that's okay. Meteor Volcano, Akainu yelled, pointing his arms towards the sky. A huge stream of magma sprayed into the sky. In the sky, Yi Fei already felt countless heat waves blasting towards him. Observation Haki activated, twisting his body, avoiding Akainu's Meteor Volcano one by one. Dragon Breath. At the same time, Yi Fei, who turned into a dragon, opened his mouth wide. Advertisement. A golden light blasted towards Akainu on the ground. Boom. After a loud bang, 
a deep pit tens of meters was blown out in the square of naval headquarters. In this move, Yi Fei aimed at Akainu, so he hit Admiral Akainu accurately again. Sakazuki Admiral. The dust dispersed, and a group of marines surrounded the pit, shouting into it. For a long time. Ugh. This is the first time this old man has been hit directly by someone. Akainu, who was knocked down, slowly climbed up from the pit. His body has been covered by magma. Then, slowly restore the original shape. He patted the dust off his body. Then look to the sky. Son of One Piece Roger, son of the Revolutionary Army Dragon, is not important now. This guy, can't let him leave Marineford. Akainu said viciously. Him is Marine Admiral, continuously knocked down by an inexplicable youth. The face has long been lost. If Yi Fei is not dealt with, what face will there be for this Marine Admiral? From now on, you don't need to bring anyone with you. At this moment, Akainu finally realized that the person in front of him was far more dangerous than Ace and Luffy that he wanted to kill. Sakazuki, deal with him first. On the stage, Marshal Sengoku also issued orders at the same time. Although he and Akainu don't get along very well, but on this matter, at this moment, his thoughts are highly consistent with Akainu's. That is, Yi Fei will be more dangerous than Ace and Luffy. For this kind of dangerous role, the best way is to solve it completely. Can't leave future troubles, otherwise, it will be endless disasters. You still need to say. Akainu said disdainfully, walked out of the pit, and stood on the square again. In the sky, Yi Fei also saw Akainu crawling out again. Red dog, it really isn't easy. Yi Fei, who was hovering in the sky, muttered to himself. The ground has collapsed, and the old guy is still alive. Originally, Yi Fei planned to collect Admiral's experience points, but it seems that it is not possible. Advertisement. The dragon's breath was a good move, but it still couldn't kill Akainu. This guy is really tough. Immediately, Yi Fei remembered the original book. Akainu who has been hit by the shock fruit ability many times in a row. Still able to chase Luffy intact. It is conceivable that this marine admiral is really not that easy to deal with. Just when Yi Fei aimed at Akainu and was about to launch the dragon's breath again. In the sky, countless huge magmas are slowly falling. This is exactly the ability of the meteor volcano that Akainu launched just now. It can go deep into the clouds, and then lead to more magma meteor showers. Based on his knowledge, Yi Fei swayed his body and kept avoiding the magma attack. Akainu sneered. Hum. A pirate is a pirate, they just know how to escape. Meteor Volcano. Akainu launches Meteor Volcano again. A series of magma fists hit the air without interruption. Then, the magma fist rained down, breaking through the atmosphere like raindrops. Depend on. Yi Fei cursed secretly. With so many magma fists and such a high density, it is obvious that he does not want to let himself live. Take Yi Fei's body that is hundreds of meters long. It is more difficult to dodge. Fortunately, his observation hockey is advanced. Dodging the magma attack, just so so can handle it. Yi Fei can dodge. However, naval headquarters, in the bay, suffered a disaster. Akainu desperately uses Meteor Volcano. Below, there is already a sea of flames. Countless pirates and marine soldiers were hit by magma and burned. Sengoku, make Sakazuki stop. Aside, Garp couldn't stand it. Fighting pirates, he has nothing to say. But the marine soldiers below me, they are innocent. You know, there are 100,000 marine soldiers here. Advertisement. Their number is double that of pirates. There are so many people, and they all have families. How sad it must be for their families to die on the battlefield. As Garp of Vice Admiral, it is natural that he can't bear it. Garp, we are Marine. Marshal Sengoku hesitated to speak. He also didn't want to see his soldiers get hurt. But if you don't solve the evil guy in the sky, it's harder for him to feel at ease. In the era of great pirates, countless pirates rose up in the four seas. It is already too difficult for naval headquarters to deal with. Now, another such character appeared. For these powerful pirates, if not eliminated, then it cannot deter other pirates. 
Only by eliminating all these big shots can other pirates be effectively deterred. This is the so-called killing chickens to scare monkeys. So, facing Akainu's behavior, Sengoku chose to remain silent. Quote dot 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 quote. As an old friend, Garp has already seen what Sengoku is thinking. There was a struggle in my heart. Although he felt sorry for the ordinary sailors, they still had a bright future. But if that young man is not dealt with thoroughly, Akainu wouldn't stop at all. Well, all marines will suffer. There is only one way left. That is, deal with that young man named Yi Fei. Frankly speaking, from his heart, he hoped that this young man would escape. You know, he just saved Ace and his grandson Luffy. In other words, Yi Fei is considered Luffy's benefactor. And Garp is Luffy's grandfather. Then, Yi Fei can be regarded as Garp's benefactor. But, as he is vice admiral, he is more of a marine soldier. After hesitating for a long time, Garp puffed up his chest and walked slowly to Sengoku. To save everyone in Marine, he can only be sorry to Yi Fei. He has no choice. Chapter 42 Garp makes a move, the shot down Yi Fei. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Boom. There was a loud bang. Garp jumped straight into the air. The powerful momentum caused the ground under his feet to collapse in an instant. The scene in front of me. Shocked all marine soldiers. Vice Admiral Garp has finally made a move, and the sword is not old. This mighty breath, this intimidating hockey, worthy of marine Vice Admiral, Hero Garp. Vice Admiral Garp, worthy of being the man who defeated One Piece Roger. First time seeing Vice Admiral Garp seriously. This is Vice Admiral Garp's moonwalk. Sure enough, it's much stronger than ours. Yi Fei, so what if you become a dragon? See how Vice Admiral Garp deals with you. Comma. A group of marine soldiers cheered when they saw Garp make a move. You know, as Garp of Vice Admiral, his strength is not necessarily worse than Sengoku. If he wants to upgrade, then, his position in Marine will be at least equal to that of Sengoku. You know, they were sailors in the same period, and they made a lot of military achievements. The cheers of the Marine soldiers were not without reason. Garp, but their superhero. In the air, use Moonwalk's Garp to sprint up to Yi Fei. But at this moment, Yi Fei should be busy dealing with Akainu's meteor volcano, and didn't pay much attention. But Observation Hockey vaguely felt that there was a powerful opponent flying towards him. When Yi Fei noticed Garp, he has arrived in front of himself. Pirate, this old man is Marine. Garp yelled. The iron like fist struck quickly. Not good. Yi Fei was secretly amazed. At this moment, it was too late for him to change his form. Garp's speed is really too fast. Advertisement. And, it's powerful, worthy of Garp the fist. Armed color hardening. Yi Fei immediately activated his ability. Concentrate all of armor color hardening on the head to counter Garp's fists. Bump. With a loud noise, Garp's iron fist hit Yi Fei in the dragon form directly on the face. Ah. Yi Fei in the dragon form instinctively let out a scream after being punched by Garp. It was like a wall hitting him directly in the face. This is still under the condition that the head is protected by the armored color hardening. He took a solid punch from Garp. Dazed Yi Fei found that his whole body was waving in the air uncontrollably, and then began to fall down. Woohoo! Vice Admiral Garp, amazing. The sword is not old, it knocked down the big pirate with one punch. Comma. Seeing the dragon fall, all the marines on the square cheered again. In midair, Garp looked serious, his lips tightly shut. There is no honor for him to defeat Yi Fei. After all, he punched while Yi Fei was not paying attention. Yi Fei was knocked down, but Garp was under a lot of psychological pressure. The behavior just now is equivalent to a sneak attack. Also, he just saved his grandson. Just repay him with your fist. Garp couldn't tell. But for Marine, this punch, he had to fight again. So, he is conflicted. After a bang, Yi Fei, in the form of a dragon, fell directly to the ground. It hit the ground and made a loud rumbling noise. Yi Fei. That's Garp's iron fist, he'll be fine. The members of the Whitebeard Pirates immediately surrounded them. Garp, you old guy. Advertisement. 
Whitebeard Edward Newgate gave a scornful look. Is this how you treat my son? Forehead. Lying on the ground, Yi Fei turned into a human form. Yi Fei only felt his eyes dim, and instinctively touched his nose. It seemed to be bleeding. Moreover, the whole face hurts, and there is a feeling of collapse. As expected of Garp the Fist, the title of Marine Hero, it really didn't come for nothing. Yi Fei muttered to himself. If it were an ordinary person, it is estimated that this move would directly kill him. Fortunately, I just used the armed color to harden the head. Otherwise, it is estimated that he is at least unconscious now. Yi Fei wanted to stand up immediately. But Garp's fist was too heavy. This old man is so old, it seems that his strength has not weakened. Is it true that, as the original book says, in the world of pirates, the older you are, the stronger you are? Thinking of this, Yi Fei moved his body desperately. But Yi Fei soon found that he couldn't stand up for a while. At this moment, a group of members of the Whitebeard Pirates had already surrounded them. Captain Yi Fei, are you okay? Everyone still cares about Yi Fei. After all, just now Yi Fei not only showed his strength. Moreover, he rescued Ace in public. This is already a huge credit. At this moment, Yi Fei was still in a daze. There is no way to move the body. After a while, Yi Fei's consciousness became slightly clearer. I'm fine, I just need to rest. Yi Fei smiled awkwardly. Garp's fist was naturally not light. Although Yi Fei currently has no way to stand up. But the god level system gave him a very strong recovery ability. Just take a short break. It will be restored soon. Start resilience. Advertisement. Gradually starting to wake up. Yi Fei gave orders to the system. Ding. Open black lens bracket host was hit hard by Marine Vice Admiral Garp close black lens bracket. System startup automatic recovery ability. Recovery progress 1%, 2%. Comma. Hear the system prompt. Yi Fei suddenly felt a little bad. This time, the recovery of the system seems to be much slower than before. When I was fighting Tashigi just now, I was slashed by a sword. Recovery takes only a few seconds. But this time, after being hit by Garp, the recovery speed was indeed much slower. Soon, Yi Fei was relieved, Tashigi's attack power was not comparable to the hero Garp's at all. Just as Yi Fei was waiting to recover and everyone was about to carry him away, a voice came from behind them. Pirates, let the old man die. All the pirates turned around. Seeing the body covered in magma, everyone's face instantly turned pale. It was Akainu standing behind them. Dangerous pirates must be eliminated. Akainu said viciously. Quick, run, take Captain Yi Fei away. Comma. Members of the Whitebeard pirates immediately messed up. They desperately wanted to escape, but time was running out. Akainu's magma iron fist came roaring. Boom. All the pirates were blown out. Only Yi Fei was left, lying on the ground. Young man, this old man admires your ability. However, as of today, your pirate journey is over. It's not good to be someone, but I want to be a pirate. After Akainu said, without any hesitation, a huge magma fist was already ignited in his right hand. Seeing this situation, Yi Fei was secretly anxious. 9%. Chapter 43 Akainu took advantage of others, Yi Fei died in battle. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. You know, this is Admiral Akainu's Lava Lava Fruit ability. Although he has automatic recovery ability. But under the magma of Akainu, Yi Fei is really not sure. What's worse, Yi Fei just received a heavy punch from Garp. Restoration is not complete yet. The body cannot move at all. Lying on the ground, he is undoubtedly a living target for Akainu. Oops. Marco. Whitebeard broke out in a cold sweat at the same time. They are very familiar with Akainu's abilities. They haven't had time to act yet. Akainu's magma has fallen. Canine Red Lotus. The dog's head magma hit Yi Fei's chest directly, breaking open. Yi Fei. Captain Yi Fei. Comma. The members of the Whitebeard Pirates shouted one after another. At the same time, Ace and Luffy also stopped. They all saw Yi Fei being hit by Akainu. Yi Fei. Ace was stunned, unable to react for a long time. After he reacted, he shouted excitedly, Luffy, put me down. 
I'm going to kill him. Ace's trembling voice, screaming hysterically. Today, the Whitebeard pirates sacrificed many companions because of him. And now, Yi Fei was shot by a Kainu for saving him. He felt extremely guilty. Now, let him escape, he can't do it anymore. Ace. Luffy yelled. Immediately, drop the ace. Advertisement. Ace, who had just been put down, fell directly to the ground. Akainu's magma punch just now has caused his entire leg to be extremely injured. At this moment, he couldn't stand up at all. But even so, he endured the pain in his leg and stood up with all his might. Then, he limped towards Yifei and Akainu. Ace, your injury. Luffy said worriedly. Leave me alone, I'm going to kill him. Lying on the ground Ace cried bitterly. Continue to limp forward. Okay, I'll stay with you. Seeing that Ace was unwilling to leave, Luffy replied directly. He was ready for battle. Today, Yi Fei saved him and Ace, it's time to repay this kindness. Just as the two were advancing, the captain of the 13th Division of the Whitebeard Pirates, Buffalo Atmo stopped them. Ace, don't go anymore, Dad and Marco will deal with it. You are not Akainu's opponents, don't let the Whitebeard Pirates the regiment is taking any losses. Despite Atmos's best efforts to dissuade, but he was directly ignored by the furious ace. Seeing this, Atmos had no choice. He stretched out his big hand and lifted the two of them directly. Atmos, what are you doing? Put me down. Ace shouted excitedly. But Atmos simply ignored it. He knew that letting the two people down at this moment was to send them to die. At the same time, Yi Fei was lying on the ground. Just now Admiral Akainu's dog gnawed red lotus right in his chest. The injured Yi Fei had no way to escape. He also didn't use the fire ability to defend at all, because Yi Fei knew that his own fire had no effect against Akainu's magma. In the chest, a hole was directly smashed by Akainu. In the original book, Ace is exactly the same. The magma was burning his body. Ding. Advertisement. Open black lens bracket host is damaged by lava lava fruit ability close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket lost combat close black lens bracket. Currently the host body is being eroded by the lava lava fruit ability. Unable to activate self healing ability. Comma. Yi Fei didn't hear the system's prompt at all. At this moment, his consciousness has already begun to blur. He could only vaguely hear the voice of the system echoing in his mind. Can't care about anything else. Even if you have the ability of the fire element. And Kaido's abilities, so what? This old man's is the magma of hell. All abilities, in front of this old man, are just playing games. You dangerous pirate, you must be eliminated. Akainu sneered. At this moment, he has knocked Yi Fei down. But he still didn't dare to be careless. Immediately, he raised his magma iron fist again and aimed it at Yi Fei. Akainu's move was seen by all members of the Whitebeard Pirates. Yi Fei is like this, he wants to kill them all. It's too damn not a thing. Red Dog, I will fight with you. Comma. Everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates was outraged. Marco asked blankly. Father, what is he doing? Whitebeard replied angrily. That guy. Just now Akainu was just taking advantage of others. Yi Fei was hit by him because he was injured. Can't get up now. Akainu has to make up for it. Never seen such a brazen person. Except for the people of the Whitebeard Pirates who looked down on them. Even among the Shichibukai there was disdain for Akainu's behavior. Hakai Mahak. This is the justice of Marine. Taking advantage of others. If so, what's the point of staying here? Forget it. I'd better go. Today my mission has been completed. I don't need to stay here. Advertisement. Lock doll. Sure enough, a villain. Boa Hancock. How dare you do this to Luffy's big brother. Comma. For the eyes of others. Akainu was never taken seriously. Yi Fei in front of him is a great threat to him and the entire marine. Must be killed and then quickly. Boom. The huge magma punch hit Yi Fei's chest again. The Whitebeard pirates were completely outraged. They who were fleeing originally turned around and rushed towards Akainu. Come here. The old man will solve it together. Akainu is very proud. You know, today's mission is to eliminate the Whitebeard pirates. They are coming back now, just in line with their own will. Marine, 
Kill them all. Akainu gave an order. The whole marine cheered. They rushed to the Whitebeard pirates again. Right now. Not far away. A loud voice came. Little ones, New World is our territory. Retreat quickly. It was Whitebeard Edward Newgate speaking. At this time, he didn't want to see his crew again, no more casualties. That, for him, is a very painful thing. Dad, Red Dog is too much for Captain Yi Fei. That's right, Dad, we can't just leave like this. We also want to avenge Captain Yi Fei. We want to recover Yi Fei's body. Comma. Many pirates shouted loudly. Yi Fei had just become the captain of the fourth squad, so it was a pity that he was killed so soon. 9%. Chapter 44 Recapture Yi Fei. Self healing ability activated. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. In any case, his body must be snatched back. In their view, there is a high probability that Yi Fei is no longer alive. Even if Yi Fei cannot be revived, Akainu must not let Akainu insult his corpse again. This is a great insult to the Whitebeard Pirates. For the dignity of the Whitebeard Pirates, even if we do everything, we must get him back. Back off, Whitebeard yelled. The sound resounded throughout Marineford. The Whitebeard Pirates stopped in their tracks, and at the same time, the Marine soldiers were too frightened by Whitebeard's strong aura to move forward. Father, I'll go first. Marco turned into a phoenix form. Jump in the air and fly towards Akainu. Phoenix seal. Marco, in phoenix form, unleashes a shockwave that hits Akainu directly. At this time, Akainu has already turned into a magma form. Marco's impact was just to make the magma on his body shoot out. Can't cause any substantial harm to him at all. It was only a symbolic repulsion of a few steps. Your attack is ineffective against the old man. It is said that you are a phoenix. Then let's see if you can take over the old man's tricks. Standing still, Akainu smirked. The magma in his hand was already aimed at Marco. Marco backed away again and again. Akainu's magma punches out. The moment it was about to hit Marco. Behind him, a huge figure jumped over. Advertisement. Little devil playing with fire and lighting candles, your opponent is me. This person is Whitebeard. At the same time, Kong Yunchi in his hand had activated the ability of shock fruit. Directly blocked Akainu's magma punch. Boom. Magma punch and shock fruit collide. The powerful hockey of both sides collided. Within a few hundred meters, some marine soldiers and pirates with weak willpower fell to the ground one after another. Whitebeard's conquerors is strong. This is Admiral versus four emperors. It's really scary. Retreat quickly. Dot 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 dot. The two groups of people withdrew from their aura one after another. Taking advantage of the gap between the two duels. Marco quickly jumped to Yi Fei's side. Yi Fei, I didn't take good care of you. Marco's dead fish eyes looked at Yi Fei who was lying motionless on the ground, full of guilt. As a man, he was sad, but not in tears. Earlier, in front of Papa Whitebeard, he promised to keep Yi Fei alive. But he can't do it now and no one can tell the regret in his heart. On Yi Fei's chest, two magma holes have been opened by Akainu. At this moment, the magma has not dissipated, and it is still eroding Yi Fei's body. Marco fought back the grief in his heart. Immediately, he picked up Yi Fei who was on the ground. The light blue wings spread out, jumped into the air, and flew towards the center of the pirate group. Atmos, take Ace and Luffy aboard immediately. You guys also retreat quickly. Advertisement. In the air, Marco said loudly to Atmos the buffalo while flying back. Atmos carried the struggling two people and did not walk very fast. On the side, Ace and Yi Fei gave up struggling when they saw Marco carrying Yi Fei. At that moment, they knew that it was too late now. Marco. Yi Fei he. Fire fist Ace looked at Yi Fei in Marco's hand, and still couldn't help asking. Now is not the time to talk. Yi Fei, I will take it back for treatment. Go back, Akainu, daddy will help us deal with him. Marco said again, take it back for treatment. That was just words of comfort to Ace. Based on the two big holes in Yi Fei's chest, he knew that Yi Fei would hardly survive. At this moment, Marco couldn't feel any movement of Yi Fei, not even his heartbeat. 
and his body was already stained with the blood dripping from Yi Fei, staining most of his left arm red. Behind them, a Kainu and Whitebeard face off again. Marco took Yi Fei and flew back to the Moby Dick. Then, he was gently placed on the deck. Several crew members with medicine boxes ran forward immediately. Marco pulled Yi Fei's clothes away. Half of the heart had been knocked out, completely beating. Yi Fei, I'm sorry. Marco said something in a deep voice, and unconsciously, his eyes slowly became moist. As the ship's doctor, he knew that at this moment, there was no way to save Yi Fei. This is a partner who has experienced life and death with me for two years. Now, just lie there motionless. Advertisement. At this time, my heart is extremely painful. This time, in order to save Ace, many crew members of the Whitebeard Pirates were sacrificed. Yi Fei has only become the captain of the 4th Division not long ago, so soon, just like Sarge. Thinking of this, Marco felt uncomfortable. Now is not the time, this is still the battlefield. You show me Yi Fei's body, and we will bury him properly after we go back. People died, but the battle wasn't over. Marco left a sentence and flew back to the battlefield again. As the first team leader of the Whitebeard Pirates. He's on a 24-7 mission to protect Papa Whitebeard. The remaining two admirals may make another shot at any time. No matter how powerful Papa Whitebeard is, it is impossible to face three admirals at the same time. Just when Marco returned to the battlefield, the Whitebeard pirates retreated. Yi Fei, who was placed on the Moby Dick, is in a coma. Akainu suffered two big moves in a row. It also made Yi Fei suffer a lot. Fortunately, they did not continue to be attacked. Otherwise, maybe the whole person has turned into fly ash. However, at this moment, the erosive power of Magma Fist was already beginning to weaken. Soon, the wound had stopped. Ding. The erosive ability of Magma Fist disappears. The system helps the host activate the self-healing ability. Open Black Lens Bracket Self-Healing Ability is Recovering Close Black Lens Bracket. Open Black Lens Bracket Heart Repairing. Close Black Lens Bracket. Open Black Lens Bracket 1%, 2%, Close Black Lens Bracket. Percent. Chapter 45 Recovering as Before, Yi Fei Returns to the Battlefield. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The god level system has already begun to help Yi Fei recover. At the same time, two holes in Yi Fei's chest. It is beginning to recover at a speed visible to the naked eye. The sight. He was seen by several people on board who took care of Yi Fei. What's the situation? Didn't he just announce his death? Captain Yi Fei's body is slowly healing. Healed after being punched by a Kainu. That's magma from hell. As this also Captain Yi Fei's ability. Comma. Several crew members couldn't believe it, but it was true. The facts they saw with their own eyes. After a few minutes. In Yi Fei's mind, a familiar voice came again. Ding. 100% repair. Completed. Open black lens bracket host body recovered close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket host's combat ability has been restored close black lens bracket. Comma. Yi Fei opened his eyes. It felt like a short dream just now. Sober up now. Immediately, he sat up from the deck. The first thing, Yi Fei looked at his chest. The two holes had healed, and the scars could no longer be seen, let alone any pain. However, what made Yi Fei feel strange? On his two chests. There are two more golden scale tattoos, which just cover the chests on both sides. There are two tattoos on the body, which are obvious. Advertisement. A Kilin tattoo, or a dragon scale tattoo. Yi Fei murmured to himself. It doesn't matter, it's important to go down. Yi Fei shook his head. At this moment, the body, strength, and combat effectiveness have all recovered. It's time to trouble your opponent a little bit. Just getting ready to stand up. Yi Fei saw several members of the Whitebeard Pirates around him. At this moment, they opened their mouths wide and looked at themselves in shock. Yi Fei was a little confused, what happened to them? How come the mouth is O-shaped? Moreover, it seemed as if someone had given acupuncture points. What are you looking at? Yi Fei looked dazed, and hadn't noticed their existence just now. Yi. Captain Yi Fei. You. 
Several crew members pointed at Yi Fei's chest hesitantly. You know, when Yi Fei was sent aboard by Marco just now. There are obviously two holes in his chest. And now, it's as good as ever. How can that be? No scars at all. Not even Papa Whitebeard could do it. The injury you are talking about. Yi Fei smiled and suddenly understood something. They have never seen their own ability to heal. It's only natural to be shocked by what they see now. Hearing this, several crew members nodded desperately and said, Captain Yi Fei, your strength is simply too terrifying. All right. Yi Fei had no expression on his face, and dropped two words in an ordinary way. Advertisement. Now is not the time to talk to them. Then stand up. Pick up the mace beside you and walk onto the bow. After looking around the battlefield for a moment, he jumped directly. The few remaining crew members were stunned behind. Ahead, the battle between Whitebeard and Akainu is intensifying. Shock fruit. Lava lava fruit launched one after another. The entire naval headquarters Marineford seemed to be unable to withstand the attacks of the two strongest fighters, and was crumbling. Like last time, Akainu couldn't take advantage of an uninjured Whitebeard. Damn, I'm old, but I still have such a strong strength. Marine Marshal Sengoku, standing in front of the destroyed execution platform. Originally, he thought that the old man's combat power would definitely drop sharply after so many Marine combat power consumption but I didn't expect Whitebeard to be able to maintain this state. Korosalino. Marshal Sengoku looks at Kazaru. Kazaru nodded lazily, understanding. Stretch out your finger, and a laser beam burst out. The moment the laser is about to hit Whitebeard. It was blocked by Marco who was far away. It's really a bunch of troublesome guys. Marco. Kazaru, who was planning to sneak attack, spread his hands and couldn't help saying. It's impossible to sneak attack on our king. Marco said with a blank face. Those dead fish eyes were lifeless. He hadn't recovered from the grief he had just suffered. However, the next scene made Marco's dead fish eyes start to shine. At the same time, the whole person was suddenly shocked. Yee. Dot fly. Advertisement. Marco opened his mouth wide for the first time. This always expressionless person finally opened his eyes. For seeing Yi Fei flying towards Whitebeard and Akainu. How is this possible? Did I read it wrong? Marco didn't react for a long time. You know, just now he brought Yi Fei back to the ship with his own hands. Marco shook his head desperately, this is absolutely impossible, could it be that he is dazzled? Moreover, he had noticed just now that Yi Fei had no chance of surviving. The heart was knocked out, and he was basically pronounced dead. How come so fast, like a normal person? However, Yi Fei didn't notice Marco's shocked expression. Fly directly to the most intense place on the battlefield. There, Papa was fighting Akainu. You know, that was a fight with Akainu. If Yi Fei didn't have self-healing ability, then Yi Fei would have been killed by Akainu's attack just now. Therefore, in the face of such an enemy, one must not be careless. Of course, Yi Fei was also worried that something would happen to his father. In the distance, where the two were fighting, hockey scattered in all directions. Just that strong sense of oppression is enough to deter people's minds. Not to mention fighting, even getting close requires a strong psychological quality. It's time for me to play again. This time, Yi Fei came for revenge. P.S. Hello everyone, I am the author of this book. I have seen a lot of comments recently. Let me explain some situations again. 1. Some readers said that this is a harem novel. I can be sure that this is not a harem novel. In my opinion, it should have no heroine or at most a single heroine. 2. The problem of combat power. The protagonist was knocked unconscious by Garp. Some readers said that the protagonist is too weak. What I want to say is that the current protagonist, the three-color high-level hockey, is not the final form. The protagonist is not strong enough to ignore everything. In Kaido's blue dragon form, he was also knocked down from the sky by Luffy, against the original book, so I asked Garp to knock him down here. For a long time, Garp's combat power in Marine has been a mystery, so I gave him a powerful setting. 3. The Problem of Burning Fruit the protagonist has been using burning fruit in the early stage. One of the reasons, 
I have explained in the early stage, is just that I don't want the protagonist to be too eye-catching, but it still attracts the attention of others. Secondly, the protagonist eats it. The burning fruit is also used for later battles with Akainu. The above is my personal opinion, if there is something wrong, please readers forgive me. Chapter 46 Dad, you go back, leave this place to me. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. At the same time, Akainu, who was fighting, had noticed that someone was approaching him rapidly. Observation Haki, also felt a strong and real person. However, this person's speed is too fast. Akainu in battle, it is impossible to tell who it is. Likewise, Whitebeard in battle sensed it. That extremely strong momentum is rapidly approaching. That was something he had never encountered before. His perception ability has already told him that although this person is extremely murderous. No, some big guy has come to Marine again. Whitebeard muttered to himself. Whoosh. Behind Whitebeard, Yi Fei suddenly jumped out. Akainu, who was resisting, opened his mouth and was stunned. Yi Fei, is there such a thing? Before Akainu could react, he let out an instinctive exclamation. The mace in Yi Fei's hand had already turned into an armed form. And, hit Akainu on the forehead again. Bang. Yi Fei's mace hit Akainu firmly on the forehead. What? Akainu let out another scream. And Whitebeard took the opportunity to activate the ability of shock fruit and hit Akainu's chest again. Boom. Akainu's whole body was directly sent flying. Sakazuki Admiral. Marine. Shouted again. Admiral Akainu. Kicked out again. Let them all be shocked. They can't remember clearly. This is the first time. Every time Akainu was knocked into the air, they would yell. Daddy. Looking at Akainu who was on all fours in the distance, Yi Fei put away his mace. Standing there with a sincere face. Advertisement. Quote dot 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 quote. Whitebeard was obviously taken aback, obviously not reacting. The strong momentum just behind is Yi Fei. Originally, he thought it was someone from Marine. I was also worried about whether I would be attacked by surprise. Unexpectedly, it was his own son, Yi Fei. How? Isn't he injured? So soon. Father, go back to the boat and rest. I'm here to deal with it. Yi Fei looked at Whitebeard Edward Newgate. Father Whitebeard, he has played against all three admirals today, so he must be a little tired compared to now. So, Yi Fei decided to let him go back to rest. In the original book, Whitebeard started aboard Marineford. There is no plan to leave. At the end of the summit war, retreat for all members of the pirates. Use Shock Fruit's ability to separate the crew from the Marine. Now, Yi Fei has this strength. Naturally, he didn't want to see Dad sacrifice himself for the sake of all the crew members. You know, once Whitebeard dies, the entire pirate group will collapse immediately. As Yi Fei of the Whitebeard pirates, he naturally doesn't want to see this situation. In addition, the most important point is that Yi Fei wants to make a name for himself in this war. This is Summit War, the focus of the world. People all over the world are watching this war. Can you handle it here? Whitebeard looked puzzled. Well, don't you believe me, Dad? Yi Fei asked lightly. Hula la la. Looks like I'm really old. Whitebeard laughed. He had gone through a lot of battles just now, and his body was already very tired. At this moment, he really wanted to go back and take a rest. At the same time, he also had a hunch that Yi Fei was indeed a powerful combat force. Able to survive Akainu's lava fist. Yi Fei was also the first. Advertisement. Based on this alone, Whitebeard has a strong sense of trust in Yi Fei. Leave it to him here, Whitebeard is quite at ease. All right, Whitebeard finally agrees. However, he didn't leave. Instead, stand where you are. At this moment, most of the crew members of the pirate group are above the pirate square. If he also ran away, then once Marine chased him up. It is not so easy for these crew members to escape. So, he didn't intend to leave. It will not intend to leave until all the crew members are on board. At the same time, Naval Headquarters, was completely shocked by Yi Fei. Who is this person? I've never seen such a character before. It was able to defeat our strongest combat power over and over again. Comma. At this moment, 
Inside the marine, people are already panicking. Even Admiral was knocked out. The remaining Vice Admiral, Commodore and the like, who dare to come forward. Not to mention those ordinary sailors. At this moment, Yi Fei was standing in front of them. No one dared to stand up. At the same time, the video phone bug has broadcast the Marineford battle to the whole world. The news that Akainu was defeated. Immediately, the whole world, and those who watched the impact, were amazed. You know, there are many talents in Marine. And Admiral is the existence of the Vertex in Marine. Just being knocked down by an unknown person. As the world about to fall into chaos again. We thought that Marine could solve Whitebeard, but now that Whitebeard has not solved it, the Whitebeard pirates have such a powerful combat power again. Naval headquarters is so incompetent, even a pirate can't beat it. Aren't we going to be ransacked by pirates again? Forget it, instead of being ransacked, it's better to join the pirate group and become a pirate. Comma. Marine's strongest combat power was defeated, and people all over the world felt fear. At the same time, advertisement. Sanctuary Maria Joy. In a spacious room, five old people, without saying a word, are standing in front of the video phone bug. These five people are the highest leaders of the world government, five elders. They are also paying attention to the trend on the battlefield. They also paid a lot of attention to Yi Fei who suddenly appeared. Akainu was knocked down one after another, making their faces especially ugly. Marine has always been their most powerful weapon to control the world. Meanwhile, Naval Headquarters, Marshal Sengoku, too, was too shocked to speak. Garp, who was originally guilty of Yi Fei, seemed unusually calm at this time. He thought Yi Fei would die, but he was thinking too much. If Yi Fei really died, then he would have a heavy burden on his heart. If it wasn't for his punch, Yi Fei wouldn't have fallen, and Akainu wouldn't have guessed that neutral. Now that he's not dead, Garp is actually relieved. It seems that there will be another powerful pirate on the sea. Garp muttered to himself, just when everyone was amazed that Yi Fei knocked out Akainu. Yi Fei wasn't too proud. He is well aware of Akainu's abilities. Definitely not going to be down for his stick and Whitebeard's ability. The joint attack with Dad just now must not kill him. Plus there is no prompt at all to defeat Akainu. Therefore, Yi Fei knew that he would stand up again. Moreover, he will start crazy revenge again. Yi Fei, it's time for us to run. Not far behind Yi Fei, Marco shouted loudly. Most of the pirate members have already boarded the ship. There is no need to stay here now. However, Yi Fei doesn't think so. Even if you are on a boat, the magma of Akainu will fall, and no boat will be spared. Captain Marco, wait a minute, the matter is not over yet. Yi Fei replied calmly, all attention was focused on where Akainu fell down. If not knock him down completely, then, he will pursue endlessly. As in the original book, he pursues Luffy relentlessly. 10%. Chapter 47 Akainu did not fall so easily, both sides shelled. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Forehead. Marco replied with some embarrassment. However, Yi Fei is now the captain of Division 4. He also called him the captain, which already shows that Yi Fei still respects him very much. Seeing this, Marco is inconvenient to say more. Immediately, fly to Whitebeard. Soon, among the fallen ruins of Akainu, streams of fiery red magma melted the stones on the entire ruins into fiery red. HMPH, it's coming. Yi Fei snorted coldly. Observation Hockey has already sensed the fiery temperature around the ruins. Akainu has activated the ability of lava lava fruit. Boom. After a loud bang, rocks flew up. Immediately afterwards, Akainu, covered in magma, slowly walked out from the ruins. Whitebeard pirates, there are still such talents. It's really amazing. I still underestimate you. Yi Fei, you are the first one to survive from my lava. Akainu stretched out his right hand and started wiping the bloodline on his nose. Just now Yi Fei's mace hit him in the face. A part of his nose was directly collapsed. At this moment, blood is flowing. He who has lava lava fruit. Today, someone bleeds twice in a row. Who? Akainu spat on the ground. Advertisement. In addition to the red magma, 
it was also accompanied by a lot of blood. Then, start to straighten your nose. Whitebeard, are you leaving such a powerful force on the ship just to deal with this old man? Unexpectedly, you are an ordinary pirate. It's amazing to have such a powerful subordinate. Akainu looked at Whitebeard behind Yi Fei. Even when Whitebeard got knocked down, Akainu didn't feel weaker than him. But being beaten to the ground by a young man really didn't occur to him. Candle burning boy, your abilities are no more than that. Hula la la. Whitebeard smiled crescent like smugly again. For Akainu's provocation, Whitebeard is not angry at all, but very happy. This shows that Akainu has recognized Yi Fei's ability. In addition, although it was his own shock fruit that knocked Akainu into the air just now. But he knew, if it wasn't for Yi Fei's hit, it is difficult to achieve this effect by yourself. So, he got a little bit of Yi Fei's light. Facing Whitebeard's sneer, Akainu snorted coldly. You guys are too naive to think he can escape Marineford. This is a good seedling. But you shouldn't have brought him here. This is naval headquarters, not your new world. This world is not as easy as you think. Hearing this, Yi Fei sneered and said, since that's the case, then give it a try, see if you have the ability to keep us. I'd like to see it. After just recovery, Yi Fei is now full of energy and confidence, just time to let go of her hands and feet. Don't worry about hurting yourself. Yi Fei just finished speaking. Akainu turned his head away, and suddenly shouted, Marshal Sengoku, today, we must not let these pirates escape like this. Hearing this, Sengoku nodded silently, and then shouted, raise the surrounding wall, and aim all the cannons at the pirate ship. Advertisement. Get Sengoku's order. Surrounding the wall, it rises again. At the same time, all of Marine's turrets were aimed at the ships in the bay. Little ones, let Marine know who is the king of the sea. Whitebeard waved his arms. Woohoo. War with Marine. Dot 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 dot. In the bay, several ships have fired first. At the same time, at the head of the bay, a number of warships from the Whitebeard pirates have entered the bay to join forces with the ships in the bay. The two sides launched bombardment on this. All of a sudden, gunfire rumbled and smoke billowed. The sea water is bombarded by shells from time to time to stir up waves of tens of meters high. Both sides win and lose each other. Above the square. Yi Fei, do you dare to fight this old man? Akainu asked coldly. He couldn't take advantage of Whitebeard, so he could only think about finding Yi Fei to vent his anger. I have to find a chance to kill him or even lock him up with a sea stone, and send him to impel down to get a taste of it. No problem, I've been waiting for you. Yi Fei nodded. Although just got hit by Akainu's fist. However, that's because of Garp's relationship. If it wasn't for Garp's punch to trap him, he wouldn't be in danger of being taken advantage of by Akainu. Little candle lighter, are you trying to bully my son? I don't agree, Whitebeard asked contemptuously. If you can't beat me, you have to vent your anger on my son. Is this what people do? Then, he planted Kong Yunchi in his hand heavily on the ground. Clenching his fists, he was already ready to activate the fruit ability. Advertisement. However, before he could attack, Yi Fei stood in front of him. Father, you'd better go back to the boat and rest. Yi Fei turned around, looked at Whitebeard, and said confidently. Although the strength of the old man is strong, However, compared to Akainu, the action is still a little bit worse. Also, soon, Blackbeard Teach is coming. Yi Fei doesn't want to see the confrontation between Dad and Teach. He himself and his subordinates are not so easy to deal with. For fighting Akainu, Yi Fei has already made preparations. Papa Whitebeard was around. On the contrary, Yi Fei felt that he couldn't use it well. Besides, if the two teamed up to defeat Akainu, wouldn't it be the credit of two people? Yi Fei also wants to make a name for himself by defeating Akainu. Hula la la. Whitebeard suddenly laughed. The tightly clenched fist immediately loosened. At this moment, an idea suddenly popped up in his mind. That is, I want to see Yi Fei's true strength. From being a nameless kid on a boat to now confronting Marine Admiral head on. This made Whitebeard extremely curious. Today, Yi Fei shocked him too much. All right. After all, 
Whitebeard took Marco and jumped back tens of meters. However, he did not return to the boat, he just stepped back a little. He still has to teach Akainu a lesson anytime. At the same time, he didn't want to see someone suddenly appearing in Marine to harm Yi Fei, so he didn't leave. Father, is Yi Fei okay? Marco walks up to Whitebeard, a worried look on his face. Two holes were opened just now, and they are going to be punched again. Yi Fei, you tell me how to say you are good. However, Marco was extremely excited about Yi Fei's narrow escape. Chapter 48 D. Carl Lilly. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Marco, didn't you notice Yi Fei's injury just now? It seems to have recovered. What is the matter with the two dragon scale tattoos on the chest? It seems that I have never seen it before. Whitebeard asked back. Um, I do not know either. Marco nodded, then spread his hands, looking confused. Until now, he has not figured out what is going on with this matter. Yi Fei was still intact after suffering such a serious injury. As a ship's doctor, he has checked Yi Fei's body just now, and the person whose heart has been knocked out is still alive. It's unbelievable. While he was wondering, Whitebeard suddenly interrupted him. Marco, we have to trust him, today, he is the number one hero of our Whitebeard pirates. Yes, dad. Marco nodded, and did not continue talking. At this moment, the battlefield of Summit War has turned into a duel between two people. Marine soldiers, all behind Akainu. The members of the Whitebeard pirates are already on board. The shelling from both sides has also stopped at this moment. Suddenly, the entire Marine Ford became extremely quiet. Everyone is waiting for this showdown. This has a great relationship with the future trend of the battlefield. The entire battlefield is not only quiet, but also extremely depressing. Everyone felt the hidden aura on the two of them. Everyone held their breath. At the same time, the video phone bug spread the scene of the two people's duel to all over the world. Yi Fei versus Akainu is already making headlines. Advertisement. At the same time, some underground markets in One Piece world. This duel has been wagered. Going head to head against Marine Admiral has already aroused everyone's interest. East Blue, an island, in one of the taverns. People held rum glasses and stared at the rebroadcast of videophone bugs. At the moment, they are watching the battle at Marineford. The air was filled with the aroma of wine. There are also a lot of drunk pirates who are sleeping soundly. First bet on Marine Admiral Akainu, that's Marine's strongest power. Yes, Akainu will definitely win, no one has ever been able to defeat Admiral Akainu, even Whitebeard, there is no way to kill him. The ability of lava lava fruit will be melted by steel directly. Could it be that the young man's body is harder than steel? That's right, he can destroy an entire pirate group with his bare hands. I buy Akainu to win, 100,000 baileys. I can't see it. The young man of the Whitebeard Pirates just survived two attacks by Akainu. This young man may have hidden strength, 50,000 baileys. He's just a fledgling kid. I buy 200,000 Pele Akainu to win. The shot is too small, it's not interesting. I buy 1 million baileys, Akainu will definitely win. Two groups of people expressed different opinions respectively. Comma. The Marineford battle was broadcast through various channels. This tavern is also very lively. Everyone discussed this matter one after another and placed their bets. The vast majority of people are still more optimistic about Akainu. On the contrary, they don't know Yi Fei, although they see that Yi Fei can turn into a dragon. They have never seen Yi Fei's name on the reward order. Can such a person defeat Marine Admiral? They didn't understand Yi Fei's strength. Naturally, I don't believe it. Advertisement. The tavern quickly became one-sided. Akainu and Yi Fei's betting entrustment ratio soon reached 20 to 1. That is to say, if Yi Fei sells 10,000 baileys, as long as Yi Fei wins, he can get 200,000 baileys. On the contrary, if you buy Akainu to win, you can only win 10,000 with the capital of 200,000 baileys. It can be seen from these that most of the people present still believed in Akainu. The strength of the Admiral of Headquarters is not a fiction, it's all real. Otherwise, why are there only three admirals in a marine worth hundreds of thousands? 
I buy five million baileys, Yi Fei wins. In the crowd, a voice came from nowhere. It was the voice of a young woman. When everyone turned their heads, a purple-clothed girl in her early twenties walked forward slowly. Short purple hair, a graceful figure, a delicate face, and big dark blue eyes attracted a lot of attention. However, the young woman didn't care that much. Go straight to the bar. Boss, give me a glass of wine. The young woman put the weapon in her hand by her feet and sat down slowly. A group of pirates immediately surrounded him. Which kid do you buy to win? Ha ha. I laughed so hard, ha ha. It's quite rich. Once you make a move, five million baileys. Do you have that much money? I'm afraid I'll lose everything later, ha ha. That's right, you haven't seen the strength of Admiral Akainu, have you? It's still too young. Girl, I think you look pretty, you might as well get married early, this is not where you should come, ha 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 ha. Comma. In the tavern, the young woman's generosity quickly attracted everyone's roar of laughter. The young woman accepts the bottle of rum offered by the boss. Big eyes, piercingly looking at the video phone bug. She didn't respond to the ridicule of these people in front of her. Advertisement. Five million baileys is not a small amount, do you really know how to press? A sturdy man with a scar on his face walked towards the young woman. He is the initiator of this tavern game. The young woman did not answer, but directly picked up the weapon at her feet. It was a long black knife. A money bag is hanging on the knife. Take off the money bag and put it directly on the bar. Here, five million baileys. Help me all in ye fay to win. The young woman's answer was calm and crisp. The man with the scar stepped forward, picked up the purse, and weighed it, the weight was okay. Then he opened it and counted it, and soon, he confirmed that there were indeed five million baileys inside. You are not allowed to go back on your word. The man with the scar replied. At this moment, he was afraid that the woman in front of him would repent. Betting five million baileys and buying that young man named Yi Fei to win, is there something wrong with his brain? Too much money and no place to spend it. How to squander? The young woman nodded indifferently. At this moment, someone suddenly shouted. Pirate Hunter, D. Carl Lilly. Hearing this, everyone began to pay attention to this young woman. Recently, a powerful pirate hunter appeared in East Blue, and it was a young and beautiful woman. Ambush pirates everywhere. Bring them to the marine branch in exchange for a bounty. F asterisk K, it's really her. Whoa, run. Chapter 49 Akainu's Indiscriminate Attack, A Collection of Big Moves. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Facing this pirate hunter who has been out of the limelight recently. A group of pirates were so frightened that they dropped the wine glasses in their hands and were about to run away. Forehead. The man with the scar was also taken aback. In places where pirates are active, there are hunters who specialize in hunting pirates. Don't worry, I'm not very interested in catching you today, I'm just here to drink. D. Carl Lilly replied contemptuously. Before coming, he had confirmed that they were all low-priced pirates. Not enough for her to shoot. This morning, she caught a pirate with a bounty of 5 million baileys, and she has successfully received the bounty from the marine branch. It was just a random place to drink. Unexpectedly, I saw the Marineford battlefield being broadcast live here. She was very interested in this and decided to join in. D. Carl Lilly's words made the pirates who were about to escape instantly stop in their tracks. Since it's not here to deal with us. Then rest assured. Immediately, they returned to their respective positions, continued to drink, and at the same time, looked at the rebroadcast video. Inside the tavern, the original lively scene was restored again. The tension just now was immediately forgotten by everyone. Look, the duel between the two has already begun. Then, all the pirates began to watch with all their attention. Meanwhile, on the battlefield at Marineford, the battle between Akainu and Yifei has begun. Boom. Boom. Fiery lava and mace duel. Not just a duel in power, but a duel in hockey. At this moment, Yifei's hockey is not necessarily weaker than Akainu. Plus, Yifei has won more conquerors than Akainu. With every collision, hockey will scatter quickly. Within a few hundred meters, 
Those marines with weak willpower were stunned by hockey. Advertisement. For the rest, they had to withdraw from the aura of the two of them. Yi Fei, I remember you. Akainu said coldly. The arms are already in a state of magma. Faced with Yi Fei's resistance, Akainu used the magma to the maximum in an attempt to completely melt Yi Fei. However, Yi Fei is not a vegetarian. Just when Akainu's magma is about to approach, Yi Fei quickly jumped backwards. Accurately avoid Akainu's lava. Dark Hound. Great eruption. Canine Red Lotus. Meteor Volcano. Kama. Akainu threw his ultimate moves at Yi Fei one after another. However, they were avoided one by one by Yi Fei. The magma punch scattered and missed Yi Fei. But it hurt the marine soldiers on the square. One by one, the people who were bombed fell on their backs. But Akainu still didn't stop. Finally, Sengoku couldn't stand it. He knew that if Akainu continued to fight like this, then the soldiers here would be completely lost. All soldiers, return to the safe zone immediately. The marshal ordered that the secret door above the square be opened, and soldiers began to pour into the underground safety area. The battle between the two continued. Yi Fei has never taken the initiative to attack, but has been avoiding Akainu's tricks. This behavior of not confronting him head-on made Akainu completely angry. With such a strong strength, do you only know how to escape? Whitebeard pirates, what's wrong with them? They're all cowards. Such a person is only worthy of being a subordinate forever. Akainu looked at Yi Fei with disdain. Hee hee, you don't have to provoke me. Your trick works for other people, but it doesn't work for me. Advertisement. Speaking of which, is that all you can say? Yi Fei laughed. Unlike Ace, I won't get angry so easily. The reason why Yi Fei didn't take the initiative to attack was because he hoped to temporarily consume Akainu's physical strength. Even Logia cannot be inexhaustible. Of course, for Marine Admiral Akainu. Yi Fei never dared to underestimate. Those who can become Marine Admiral are basically top-notch figures. At the same time, the most important thing is to find loopholes in Akainu's tricks. Soon, Yi Fei discovered some clues. Akainu's moves are considered top-notch in terms of attack power and destructive power. But in terms of speed, this is also much worse than Admiral Kazaru. Lava doesn't even fly as fast as Aokiji's ice. Perhaps Akainu has exploited Lava Lava Fruit's abilities to ultimate. But the speed didn't seem to keep up, so Yi Fei was able to dodge. Marine Admiral's strength is nothing more than that. It seems that there is really no one in Marine. After avoiding Akainu's lava, Yi Fei laughed instead. Yi Fei's words made Akainu furious. Boy, you underestimate Marine. Meteor Volcano. Akainu's ability was activated, and flames wrapped in magma fell from the sky. Yi Fei has thoroughly aroused Akainu's anger. He attempted to restrict Yi Fei's movement through this large scale attack. However, Yi Fei is not as simple as he imagined. After dodging the falling flames quickly, Yi Fei successfully jumped behind Akainu. Condensed hockey on top of the mace. Bump. The mace hit Akainu on the forehead again. Akainu took another solid blow from Yi Fei. What? Advertisement. Akainu, who was beaten to the ground, angrily activated the fruit ability again. The entire ground also began to shatter. Below is fiery red magma. But Yi Fei has already jumped away. After dozens of moves, Akainu still failed to hurt Yi Fei. Like a clown, hide and seek. Akainu said angrily. When confronting Yi Fei, it gave him a very different feeling. Akainu can keep up with Whitebeard's speed. But Yi Fei, he really can't. This may have something to do with his height. Whitebeard's body was simply too big to move quickly. In the distance, Yi Fei laughed loudly and said. Hee hee, since you want to see it, then I'll come face to face. Yi Fei has already figured out the number of Akainu's attacks. Moreover, Yi Fei vaguely felt that Akainu's offense seemed not so strong anymore. Could it be that his strength has been consumed almost? Thinking of this, Yi Fei felt that the opportunity might have come, and he didn't want to continue entanglement with him. Just want a quick fix. Now almost all members of the Whitebeard Pirates have returned to the ship. Only some cadres remained at the rear of the battlefield. Okay, then let's have a real duel. Akainu said. Of course, he didn't want to be dodged by Yi Fei like this. 
He only wanted Yi Fei to fight him head on. After all, he used all his abilities on his right hand. Immediately, his entire right hand was covered with thick magma, and then turned into a huge magma fist. Then, continuously inject magma into the arm. After continuously injecting the magma ability, the magma fist continued to grow bigger, and the entire fist surpassed his body by several times. Meanwhile, Yi Fei is not idle. Seeing this move by Akainu, Yi Fei already knew that Akainu wanted to use this move to completely defeat him, and he also wanted to use this move to completely eliminate himself. 11%. Chapter 50 Big Dark Hound vs. True Thunder 8 Trigrams. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. However, Yi Fei is not so easy to bully. Raising the mace in his hand, injecting physical strength into the mace. The moment Yi Fei used his ability. In the sky, dark clouds gathered again. Then there was lightning. Zizi. 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 The electric current on the mace echoes the lightning in the sky. This is the effect of Thunder 8 trigrams. With this move alone, I am afraid there is no way to knock down a Kainu. However, Yi Fei has a solution. Today, I have eaten two devil fruits. In addition to the dragon fruit Yi Fei, I also have the ability to burn fruits. In order to defeat Akainu, Yi Fei has already made a plan. That is to fuse the abilities of the two fruits. Yi Fei hadn't tried it before, but he was determined to give it a try. Maybe, it can exert greater power. Now, it's time to use the flames. Thinking of this, Yi Fei smiled slightly. Launch the burning fruit ability, and start injecting the fire type ability into the weapon. Immediately, the entire mace was covered with a layer of orange flames. At the same time, because of the activation of the ability, Yi Fei's whole body was covered in flames. Thunder, fire, two attributes, began to be reflected on the top of the mace. In addition to that, Yi Fei will wrap Conqueror's hockey, wrapped around a mace. When Kaido knocked out Luffy, he used Conqueror's hockey, a huge magma iron fist, and a mace with two attributes of lightning and flame. It is particularly eye-catching on the plaza at naval headquarters. Akainu wants to kill Yi Fei with his ult, and likewise, Yi Fei wants to use fusion moves against him. This is Admiral's ultimate trick. Is that dark hound? I think it looks like meteorite lava, it's scary. I've never seen Sakazuki Admiral use such a big lava punch. What kind of weapon is Yi Fei holding? Why are there two attributes? Could it really be fused? Advertisement. That's thunder and fire. They actually use the abilities of two attributes at the same time. However, this should consume a lot of energy. Comma. Everyone was stunned. They had never seen such moves from the two of them. It's really not easy for Yi Fei to integrate the fire ability into the weapon and cover Conqueror's hockey at the same time. Whitebeard Edward Newgate, after seeing the mace wrapped Conquerors, couldn't help letting out a gasp. This kid is worthy of a king. Suddenly, Whitebeard had great confidence in Yi Fei. A crescent like smile appeared again. At the same time, at this moment, everyone knew that the two hoped to use their ultimate moves to defeat their opponents. Little Ghost, let's see if you can accept this old man's move. After Akainu said that, the whole person rushed over first. However, instead of running away this time, Yi Fei ran towards Akainu. Big Dark Hound. Akainu gave a loud shout. Just when the two were about to meet, the big dark hound in Akainu's hand was activated. The super large magma dog head, with billowing smoke, hit Yi Fei directly like a magma meteorite rushing across. Before the fist came, Yi Fei already felt the murderous aura. Just this murderous aura is enough to feel like knocking people down. This is much scarier than the dark hound just now. So strong, is this Akainu's ultimate move? Yi Fei was secretly amazed. Then opened the observation hockey in the body to the maximum. Just as magma fist struck, Yi Fei avoided Akainu's magma in an instant. Bursts of hot magma streaked across Yi Fei's face. So hot, so hot. The extremely high temperature shocked even Yi Fei, who had the ability of the fire element. If this is hit, maybe even the self healing ability can't be helped. Fortunately, he successfully dodged. At the same time, Yi Fei suddenly avoided Akainu's attack. It also shocked Akainu, who is Marine Admiral. Advertisement. 
This move, whether it is strength or speed, is perfect. Unexpectedly, he avoided it. Akainu's eyes widened suddenly, seeing Yi Fei hit him with the mace in his hand. True thunder eight trigrams. Yi Fei exerted all his strength and shouted loudly. The mace with fire and thunder attributes hit Akainu's chest directly. Oops. Akainu was secretly taken aback. At this moment, he has just used the big dark hound, and he has no time to make any response. Yi Fei's speed is really too fast. A flash of lightning flashed, and the mace landed on Akainu's chest in an instant. Bump. The huge collision sound resounded through the entire battlefield. After Haki collided, he wandered across the battlefield. The dragon tooth effect exploded. Within a few kilometers, those marine soldiers who were not determined enough were stunned. In an instant, a huge crack opened in the ground, and the crack spread all the way to the naval headquarters. What? Akainu couldn't bear the huge impact. Whoosh. Flew directly into the air. With his magma smoke, he flew towards the distance, and soon disappeared without a trace. People are missing. Ding. Open black lens bracket host triggers rebound effect close black lens bracket. The current trigger probability is still 10%. Yi Fei felt a little surprised. A 10% chance of triggering the rebound effect unexpectedly reappeared. Akainu was just sent flying, all the marine soldiers looked at the sky at the same time. All they saw was a puff of magma flying into the distance with thick smoke. Everyone didn't respond, what happened? Sakazuki Admiral. Advertisement. Where are people? People seem to be missing. Comma. Suddenly, everyone opened their mouths. Admiral, their marine with the highest combat power, Akainu was beaten and disappeared. Who is this person? Just when all the marines were dumbfounded, the Whitebeard pirates ushered in unprecedented cheers. Woohoo! Yi Fei defeated Marine Admiral. Yi Fei is great. Comma. Whitebeard. Kula Lala. Marco. A. Is this kid too messy? Hawkeye Mahawk. Is there really such a person? Da Flamingo. Hey, hey, is it real or not? Kazaru. Nani, it's amazing. Aokiji. Who the hell is he? How can he be so powerful? Kama. Four emperors, Shichibukai, and Marine Admiral were all shocked. He looked at Yi Fei again, still maintaining that attacking posture. For a long time, he didn't move. Wait until the crowd cheers. Yi Fei suddenly fell down. Marco. Go and see him. Whitebeard was startled, and his expression changed instantly. He also didn't understand what happened to Yi Fei. Could it be that he was also hit by a Kainu just now? Impossible. Probably not. He clearly saw that Yi Fei avoided a Kainu's big move. Yes. Dad. Marco quickly jumped to Yi Fei's side. He saw Yi Fei lying on the ground in a big shape panting heavily. 